we have arrived to book three. We've got we've got red claws ready, ready for fire. This will be the book of of pinks and reds and oranges and yellows. Listen, I love Earth. I love my greens. I love my browns. Do not get me wrong, but my hair is red. Come on, you know I'm excited for this season. Ah yes. Aang's looking a little rough, guys. Mm, poor kid. I mean, gosh. Yeah, we. He just got, like, knocked almost to death. And then Katara saved him. Thankfully, she saved the, the healing water. Very important. Um, Zuko and, and Uncle are, like, having a conflict. It's, there's, it's messy. It's messy, guys. But we're, we're gonna fix it. We're gonna fix it. Momo? <laughs> That's gotta be you. Hey, it's me. <laughs> hey, good to see you back with the living, buddy. Sokka? Uh-oh, somebody catch him, he's gonna... <laughs> Uh-oh, somebody catch him, he's gonna... I feel like my voice sounds so different. I feel like Zach's voice sounds different, too. Oh, this is so weird. I mean, I've watched this before, but I'm, like, really paying attention to it now. And I feel like the voice shifts are are subtle, but like very present if you're paying attention. Like we are, we're getting older. We're getting older. Ah. Stop worrying. Ooh. Ooh. We are starting off book three with some spice. Ooh -hoo. Let's see what today's tea flavor is, shall we? I have hair? Oh. How long was I out? <laughs> I like your hair. All right, Katara. Okay, book three, episode one, The Awakening, UA's Offering. Okay, Tulsi Chrysanthemum Herbal Blend. Tulsi Chrysanthemum, and then Edible Star Glitter. How fun. All right, preparation 212 degrees, five minutes steep. All right, all right, let's take a sniff, shall we? Oh, oh, that smells so good, oh my gosh. Mm. There's a whole flower in here. I believe this is the uh, chrysanthemum. Hello. All right, we're gonna put this in here. I don't know what Tulsi is, but it smells really good. And the chrysanthemum, obviously. Oh boy, we're having trauma flashbacks to the last episode. Wow, you're definitely in the right area there. This is so cool. This kind of like healing Massage moment. Oof! Ow! Ow! Oh! Ooh! This is traumatic to watch. Oh my gosh! I don't know what I did exactly. Mm. You saved me. You need to rest. Yo, this book is already just way more serious than the last two. Oh gosh, this is so intense. Let's go ahead and pour in this water. Same kid. Cry it out. Cry it out. All right. Oh, edible star glitter. Hello. I see a star. Have home. Your These screaming are... twins crack me up. These like screaming twin grannies. Three long years, your prince has returned. Oh boy. Oh, he does not feel happy. He is not happy. Okay, stay down, stay down. Hot, oh my gosh, ha. We've seen a few Fire Nation ships, but none have bothered us. So what now? We've been working on a modified version of the invasion. They've been a little busy. Sokka's in Since the end of, of book two into book three, like they, they, there's been a lot of life. They definitely skipped, I feel like, forward more. Then in between book one and book two? Yeah. I feel like book one to book two is a little more chronological. Like, a lot more happened in between these two books. I guess because Aang was, like, unconscious. So we're kind of viewing this through Aang's perspective, kind of? I don't know. I don't know. The whole world thinks you're dead. Oh! Isn't that great? <laughs> the whole world thinks you're dead. Awesome. Love that. No, it's great. 
it means the Fire Nation won't be hunting us anymore. And even better, they won't be expecting you on the day of Black Sun. Right, right, okay. I forgot that this was kind of like a secret plan of like the Fire Nation thinks he's dead, so they're like not gonna be as prepared. Oh, maybe not quite back yet. Remember, they don't know we're not Fire Nation. Yeah, that's right. Everyone just stay. Put away the air stick. Oh. Whoa, who why are they coming over? What's happening? What's going on here? Hold on. Something's not right. They should have known that. I think this is a captured ship. Just stay quiet until we're safely across the planet. Oh. I heard that baby. Get him. Yes! I'm so happy I can metal bend. That's right, baby. Goodbye. Oh, well, kind of goodbye. Half goodbye. Now that they know the ship is captured, probably everyone's cover is blown, but that's okay. Turtle duck time. Okay, everyone, it's time. What are your favorite animals? If you had to pick one, one favorite animal, what is it? What is it? I'm very torn between uh, turtle ducks and the double fin penguins. Like those penguins are so cute. I don't know who I would choose. Penguin or turtle duck? I don't know. I was dead. Unless you think he somehow miraculously survived. Hmm. This is water from the spirit oasis at the North Pole. Yes. I believe Zuko does think he has survived. Oh no. Not the flaming stink balls again. Ugh. Too many of these things. Nice. 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 <laughs> Solid. Oof. <laughs> Aang is so frustrated. He's like, let me be the avatar. But I like can't be the avatar right now because I'm weak. <laughs> eh. Yo, yo, look at this freaking water bending right now. This could have not happened like 10 episodes ago. Katara has like grown eons. This is so cool. Just stand by and do nothing. Aang, no! <laughs> Aang, bro. You're still hurt and you have to stay secret. Just let us handle this. Fine. <laughs> they survived without you for however long you were fast asleep, my friend. They'll be okay. Things couldn't get much worse. Oh, it's serpent time. Wait, it's serpent time. <laughs> Gosh, once again, I hate this thing. I feel like I've said that a couple times during this show. Oh dear. Thank you, the universe. <laughs> All right, we made it safely. Okay. All is good. All is good. I'm not going out if I can't wear my arrow proudly. Aang, come on, be practical. You guys go ahead without us. We'll catch up with you. <laughs> Toph's like, okay, I want, I want dinner. <laughs> Bye. And I hate the invasion plan too. I don't want you or anyone else risking your lives to fix my mistakes. Oh my gosh. I've always known that I would have to face the fire. Ooh, there's so much anger in Aang. I feel like up until this point, he's been pretty peaceful and like practical. He's so frustrated right now. Is there anything you need? Dinner. I need to redeem myself. And dinner. I need my honor back. And dinner. Dinner. Who else becomes like a raging monster when they're hungry? Anyone? Bueller? Anyone? Because I need food. If I don't have food, it's bad. Ask anyone who knows me. I'm so sorry to those who do. Oh boy. Where's Twinkletoes going? Oh gosh. Ang, just. Just drink some tea, have some rice and heal. Come on, my dude. Like, what are you doing? Welcome home. I hate that guy. Ugh. Everyone needs therapy. Let's, uh, let's go into today's tea description before we take this out and try a sip. This season opens with both Aang and Zuko separately traveling by boat under the full moon. 
which it might be a full moon the night that I'm filming this. I think it's a full moon tonight. Anyway, Aang feels the need to redeem himself to the world, while alternatively, Zuko has redeemed himself in the Fire Lord's eyes. This blend was chosen because Yue, as the moon, watches over both Zuko and Aang. Yue uplifts Aang and helps encourage him to restore faith in himself while providing a light in the darkness that Zuko has found himself in yet again. Because he keeps going against his uncle's wishes and against his own intuition. Come on, boy, when will you learn? He'll learn soon. It's okay. He'll get there. Okay, I'm gonna take this out. Ooh, boy. We're still pretty hot. Let's see, uh, let's see if we can try a sip. Oh, it smells so good. What is Tulsi? Do you guys know what Tulsi is? I should have looked that up beforehand. Oh, well. Mmm. Ooh. Ooh. Mmm. Yes, absolutely. We could be helping him, and I know the world needs him, but doesn't he know how much that we need him too? How can you just leave us behind? Oh my goodness. You're talking about me too, aren't you? How could you leave us, Dad? I mean, I know we had Grand Grand and she loved us, but, but we were just so lost without you. Oh my you. gosh. There are so many feelings in this episode. Gosh, what a way to start a season. I'm so sad and angry and hurt. I love oh you gosh. more than anything. You and your brother are my entire world. Katara sounds older too. I mean, she is, I know, but like... Everyone's older. Everyone's like wizened right now and like feeling things. Oh, it's so good. This tea flavor. I don't know what Tulsi is, but mixed with the chrysanthemum, like this is a very, it's almost like a troubled but refreshing flavor. It's very like kind of deeply complex. There's a lot of like subtleties in, in whatever this flavor profile is. Even though it's relatively simple, there's like only two ingredients. It's very deep. This is a very deep, it's like an emotional tea. This is very fitting for this episode. Oof, Aang, buddy, you gotta rest. Like you are not fit enough for this. Oh gosh. Oh, I'm stressed. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. A little bit of comedic relief for everyone. Ah! A little bit of kite surfing going on. Why did you tell father that I was the one who killed hm. the Avatar? Can't this wait until morning? Can't this wait until morning? What ulterior motive could I have? What could I possibly gain by letting you get all the glory for defeating the Avatar? Unless somehow yes. the Avatar was Unless he's still alive. That's why she did it. Because he paused earlier when she was like, of course the Avatar is dead, you know, there's no way he could still be alive. And Zuko's like, yeah, no way. And then she's like, I'm going to put all of this on him because I don't want the backlash if he is alive. Cut to Twinkletoes struggling in the ocean in the middle of a storm. Not great. Not great. Ugh. Let your friends help you, my dude. Am I saying that to Aang or am I saying that to myself? One will never know. It's both. Yes, you are. Oh, oh, relax. It's gonna be fine. But everyone thinks I'm dead again. They think I've abandoned them. Oof. Deeply troubled tea. Feeling all the feelings. Oh my gosh, so many emotions. Save the world. I don't know. Well, you are destined. Hey, Yue! Fancy seeing you here. But you can't give up. Yeah, and he's like, I don't know about that. It's, you literally right. are destined. Like this is, this is your destiny, just saying. <laughs> Written in history, you're the avatar. This is what avatars do. Come on, you'll figure it out. It's gonna be, it's gonna be great. And Yue's here. Yue's gonna make it all amazing. Oh, the music for this is back to the, uh, like the main theme. Oh, is he just like hanging out on a volcano? What's happening? Oh, this is the, this is that, that crescent island. Momo! Yay! Oh, Appa. We'll join up with my dad in the invasion force on the day of the eclipse. Hey, what? Oh, 
It's your glider. I feel like I got a lot better at enunciating by the third season. Like the first couple episodes, I feel like a lot of my lines were a little like nasally. Like even though I'm blind, like they were just a little, I don't know, warbled. And then in this season, I feel like I'm a little more articulate. Ah, the growth from 12 to 13. Oof. Goodbye, glider. That's it? Oh my gosh. I just spit out my tea. What? No, wait. What, what, what happens next? <laughs> Yo, that went by so quickly. There were so many feelings and so many storms and tears and angry outbursts and conflicts. Gosh. God, I need tea. Most of us have seen this before. I've seen this before. It's it's doing different things to me this time. Um, I don't know if it's just because the live action is coming or if it's because of just life happening or what's going on. But like, I, I forgot how intense book three is. And like this first episode, holy moly, like the magnitudes of each of these characters is, is just astronomical, I feel like, and compared to the last two seasons. Um, don't get me wrong, I, I love Book Two Earth, okay? I mean, I'm a little biased, but like, we love, we love Earth, but holy moly, talk about Book Three Fire. I mean, we know that Zuko's gonna be turmoiled by this, so like, this is, you know, this all makes sense. Insomnia, late night journeys, pondering thoughts, it's all canon. It's all canon. <laughs> Are those just like regular toucans? The they looked like normal. Hmm. We're in enemy territory. Those are enemy birds. <laughs> <laughs> enemy birds. <laughs> You know, I kind of I kind of love this transition phase that we're getting right now when they they still have their old outfits on but they're just draped in cloaks. <laughs> As if that would fool anyone, really, but yeah, well. <laughs> what we need is some new clothes. Yeah. New clothes. Let's go shopping. If we get Fire Nation disguises. We'll be just as safe as we would be hiding in a cave. Plus, they have real food out there. Does anyone want to sit mm -hmm. and eat cave hoppers? Yep. My girl, my girl Toph is speaking my language. Uh, we need some real food. Can we get some real food? An isle avatar, please? I don't know about this. These clothes belong to somebody. I call the silk robe! <laughs> Katara, no hesitation. She's like, I want this really pretty one. Bye! Also, incredible, like, steaming skills. So, okay, wait. Is this, like, anti-wrinkle? Like, hot spring steam? Or is this, like, heat drying. Yeah, like what's happening? Hey! Headband. I should probably wear shoes, but then I won't be able to see as well. Sorry shoes. <laughs> Sorry shoes. <laughs> A stylish shoe for the blind earthbender. Yo, my voice is so different from the first episode. Ah, crazy. Your mom's necklace. Oh. Oh yeah. I guess it's pretty obvious in the water tribe, isn't it? Meh. Don't love that she has to take off her mom's necklace, but <sighs> gotta gotta cosplay as Fire Nation. There we go. Got my gold headband. Sokka's got his little hair gem tie thing. We're going to a meat place. Come on, eh? Everyone here eats meat, even the meat. <gasps> you guys go ahead. I forget that Aang is is vegetarian, <laughs> or is he vegan? I don't think he's vegan. Is he vegetarian? I don't know. Do you guys know? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Hotman? 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 <laughs> it's over. We caught you. Who, me? Maybe I should just start addressing men as that on dates. Just like, thank you for dinner, hot man. <laughs> and just if anyone gets it, good for them. And if they don't, they'll just think it's weird or charming. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Very well. What is your name? Or should we just call you Mannerless Colony Slob? Jeez, oh, this teacher is brutal. Kuzan. Kuzan! 
Yay! He kind of gets to like relive Kuzan's life? Question mark. Ah, it's a little confusing. But anyway. And it was pretty fun. Yo, Momo was stuck in there the whole time. <laughs> Poor Momo. My name's Anji. I like your headband, by the way. Anji's so cute. You don't have to babysit the new kid. Wow. Oh, I forgot that she has like this annoying dude. Anji is my girlfriend. Don't okay. Forget it. Yo, why does this dude look like he's like 23? Is he like 23? Has he been like stuck in school for like too long, you know? He didn't beat you up. Not even I'm, I'm going with a yes I'm just on that. We were on our way to play hide and explode. You want to come? Hide and explode. Okay. New new rally into the new school year. Um hide and explode. It's going to be the new thing. We've been worried sick. I got invited to play with some kids after school. Whose outfit do you guys like best? I mean, I, listen, I, I know that I'm supposed to like Toph best. I know, I know, I know. But Katara's outfit is key. It's very nice. It's very flattering. It's very pretty. Like the girl clearly has style. I love Katara's outfit. I think she looks so pretty. I mean, Aang and Sokka look kind of cool too, but I'm, I'm definitely Katara simping in this episode. Uncle! Uncle. It's me. Oof. Oh, he is not happy. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot about today's tea. Okay, today's tea is very fruity, very fun. Book three, episode two, The Headband, Dancing Flame, Hibiscus Blend. Ah! Hibiscus, cranberry, apple, and rose petal. Ugh, I'm a sucker for a good fruit floral tea. Mm. Oh, that smells so good. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. I need to prepare this. Very fruity, very pink. I don't know if you can see it, but it's very like fruit chunky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so excited. I did what I had to do in Bossing Say, and you're a Oh, Zuko. Joining. No, you didn't. Just hush. Ay, 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 ay. All right. Let's go ahead and get some water in here. Yo, blah, this is, blah, blah, blah. yikes, yikes. First of all, the chanting is creepy. Second of all, Aang, why the heck are you in school? I don't know how you could possibly know more than a national history book. Unless you were there a hundred years ago. <gasps> I'll just write down my best guess. <laughs> Yo, the fact that they have like wrong history. I mean, I under, duh, of course they do. But like, I wouldn't think of that. All right, while Aang is just like noodling up a storm on his horn, let's go into the description of today's tea. All right, the gang dons Fire Nation disguises and Aang hilariously immerses himself into the Fire Nation's educational system. Very hilariously. Here he is shocked at how much the culture has changed since he was frozen. He decides to add fun into the constricted life of his classmates. Here's a blend that will cool you off and make you want to dance. Sweet, charming, and fun. Yay, I love it. I love it. I'm so excited. It's so floral. It's so fruity. <laughs> what do you think, Appa? Are you excited? Are you ready to dance? I'm ready to dance. We're ready to dance. Back to the episode. Nobody shows my Anji anything, especially uh. movement. Uh. Yo, this guy is so toxic. I mean, it does make sense that, you know, if you're from the Fire Nation, you're a red flag. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, why, why is this guy so intense? For what? Shoo? Oh dear. Oh my gosh. Wang fire. This is my name, Sapphire. Wang fire. Sapphire. Nice to meet you. Sapphire fire. Fire. Your son has been enrolled here for two days and he's already- My goodness. That doesn't sound like our Kuzan. That's what any mother would say, ma'am. Nonetheless, you're forewarned. If LOL. You accept one more time Is no one thrown by Katara's blue eyes? Anyone? No? Okay. Don't you worry, Mr. Headmaster. I'll I mean, and Sokka's too, I guess, but best. Katara's are a little more brighter and bigger. Orange is such an awful color. Oh my gosh, May. You're so beautiful when you hate the world. I don't hate you. I don't hate you too. Oh my gosh. You're so beautiful when you hate the world. I don't hate you. 
I don't hate you too. Love. I'm having fun for once. Just being a normal kid. You don't know what it's like, Sokka. Being a normal kid. Oh! <laughs> I forgot about this scene. That's a good one. I love how I'm so very seriously earthbending. A dance stage. Think of it as a dance party, but as a cultural event celebrating the art of fancy football. Aw, this is so fun and wholesome. They're coming. <laughs> Everyone stop bending. LOL. I mean, valid, but also the concern is sky high. <laughs> Ooh, that horn. Hello. Flamios, a vibe. Now what do we do? I love how no one knows how to dance. They're like, I don't know what dancing means. Let's go ahead and make sure our our tea is ready to sip along to the dancing. Forget it. I'll solve this myself. Waste away oh my gosh. I forget. Does Uncle not say anything to him until like the reunion later? Can't remember. Cause it's on pur I mean, gosh, pulling at my heartstrings. It's on purpose, clearly. He's like choosing to not engage with him. Oh, time to dance. Time to sip some tea. Oh, that smells so good. Ooh, it's so fruity and fun. Ah, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Yeah, Everyone dance, dance to the music. Yeah. Yeah, get down, Fire Nation footwork man. There we go, got a little bit of the robot going on. I don't know, Aang. These shoes aren't really right for dancing. Okay, Katara. I love how they're like bend dancing. Don't worry about them. It's just you. Okay. Okay, Aang with the Riz. Season three. He just needed to get beat up a little bit apparently, and he's like, alright. I've, I've got some game now. <laughs> I've had some, some more trauma. <laughs> Gee, apparently that's all you need. So acrobatic. Woohoo, look at that dip. Look at that dip, ooh, they're sweating. This is attractive. You did the right thing by telling me, Hide. Anytime, uh, Master, sir. Once again, hate that guy. Gotcha. Looking for me? That's not the one. He's here somewhere. I love this moment. I love the camaraderie. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Everybody's wearing headbands. Surrounded by headband children. <laughs> the casual earth bending blowing someone's mind. The guards dancing. It's amazing. Way to go, Dancy Pants. Dancy Pants! I forgot about Dancy Pants. That was some dance party end. Cheek kisses. The fruity tea doesn't go with this part of the uh, episode as much, but that's okay. That's okay. They say you're good at what you do, and even better at keeping secrets. The avatars. Is this Sparky Sparky? I want you to find him. Is this Sparky Sparky Boom Combustion Man? Yes. Hate that guy. <laughs> that's just the. Yeah, that's the that's how I feel about all these just annoying people. I hate that guy. Oh my gosh, that's the end. It happened so quickly. Ah, what a fun episode two of book three. We got some new clothes. We got some dance moves. We got some flirtation. Exciting stuff. Exciting stuff. Today is book three, episode three, The Painted Lady, and mm. we have a wonderful guest with us today. Kirsty, who are you? Hi, I'm Kirsty. <laughs> I'm a music artist here in LA. 
Um, and I'm friends with Michaela. Hmm. You just want to swim in it. Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> the fact that Aang is just swimming in it is is a little is a little cringe, but that's okay. <laughs> seeing him with hair is crazy. <laughs> I know we're so used to seeing a bald little kid. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> One would think I would like the taste of mud, but I guess not. Because normally my fishing skills are off the hook. Huh. <laughs> like a fishing hook? Too bad your skills aren't on the hook. <laughs> nice one. Was, was that funny though? I don't know. I don't know if I give, I give her props for that one. <laughs> I love Katara's hair in this episode. I know, it's so It's pretty. so long, it's so good. It's so pretty. My name's Doc. Mind if I ask who I forgot are? about Doc. Mm. Um, he reminds me of King Boomy a lot. Is that yeah. just me? No, that, yeah. that, there is validity to that. 100%. Oh my gosh. Okay, today's tea flavor, the green tea blend, is a Gen Mai Cha green tea. Banja, I'm going to say all of this incorrectly. Mm. Uh, Banja Hojicha, Hojika green tea and Dragon Well green tea. So it's three different kinds of green tea Yum. all mixed together. Preparation 180 degrees, three minutes steep. So very quick. Quick and easy steep. Okay. Yay. We'll be helping them all by taking out the Fire Lord. Hey, Lord. <laughs> Maybe we should be a little quieter when we talk about taking out the Fire Yikes. Lord. Yikes. <laughs> While in Fire Nation costumes. Yeah, right. Love that. <laughs> Let's take out the Fire Lord. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing to do today. <laughs> hey, Doc. Here too. I'm not Doc. I'm Shu. Not my brother. Oh, man. I love this guy. You know, he's he's the state of delusion that I think all of us should yearn to live in. I agree. Uh, you know, just just be whoever you want in that second. It's fine. It's, it's good. <laughs> okay, the interesting thing about this tea blend, if you can maybe see, there's like little little pieces. I don't know what they are. I think that's rice. Oh. It's popped rice, I think. Oh, popped rice. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Don't call me on that. <laughs> Whoa, weird. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. you're right. Yeah. I think you're a right. A lot of green teas have them. You... Oh, yeah. I know. Not what I was expecting, honestly. I know. Not. Love. Oh, this poor kid. I wish I could help more. I love Katara. She's so nice. She's my favorite. I'm not. No offense. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I, you know, she she kind of keeps keeps the group together yeah. um, in ways that the rest of us cannot. But okay. Nagel Oh, schedule master. Mm -hmm. well, starters, like oh, schedule master. La, 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 la. All right. All right. Or we could just cut out all of our eating breaks. What? <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> Waking up early, cutting out eating breaks. Not ideal. Not ideal. Mm. What? Opposite? That's awful. Wow, Sokka. I didn't realize you cared so much. <laughs> of course I care. I might as well just throw our schedule away now. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Me when I got sick this past week. Like, why? <laughs> you okay, he buddy? looks like my dog. Aww. Purple tongue? <laughs> That's a massive tongue. <laughs> Food was delivered to our village by a mysterious and wonderful person. Oh. The painted lady. <laughs> the name of the episode. Looks like we need to stay another night so Appa can rest. Right. Sokka's plan is ruined. The schedule. So I forget. Does Katara like become? Cause, cause at the end she's real, but like she's not around all the time. Katara's like doing most of this, right? I forget. I forget. Okay, no, just kidding. Maybe not. I can't remember. No, I think it is Katara. Cause at the, I can't remember. Like at the very end, doesn't like the actual painted lady like say thank you or mm -hmm, something? Mm -hmm. See, it's all kind of blurring together. So I can't remember who's real and who's. But water benders can heal, right? Yeah. 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 That's interesting. Why doesn't she heal Appa? That's I. I don't know. But also, don't we find out that he's not like actually sick? Sick. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. We'll have to Guess wait. we'll see. We need Ooh. more food. Our friend is still sick, and we can't leave until he's better. Just slamming down money. Such an inconvenience. Why? Okay, I feel like this is not edible. I know that they're eating this as like, oh, like it's like a little past expiration date. It's literally dripping sludge. How is any of this edible? How are they not dead? This is my Just question. Get used to it. They are not used. They've been traveling. Well, I guess they've been traveling. Can you believe how much an entire village 
village can be affected by one lady? I mean, spirit? <laughs> She's Pardon like, me? I'm helping. <laughs> if she really wanted to help, she would use her spirit magic to blow up that factory. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Since it's a Painted Lady episode, I, I very much have my floopy kind of long sleeves on today. I figured I figured that mm. would be, you know, good inspiration. I missed, <laughs> missed that memo. Get me, get me in the mood. <laughs> Do you have any super long sleevey shirts like this? Oh yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Love it. Are they orange? Not today. No. Oh. I don't really own. That's why I wore this today. I don't really own any orange. This is good. There it is. But I try. See? See? That's why we just need a little, a little tinge. There it is. A little fire tinge. Oh look! There she goes. Back out again. It's her. Hmm. It's Katara. I mean. <laughs> Hello, painted lady spirit. Oh. Run! She's like, shoot! I've been caught. Aang is so earnest. He's like, oh, wait a second. She's like, bro, I do not want to be talked to right now. I know hey We're close personal friends. Oh my gosh. You gotta commend him for not giving up, you know? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> well, hello, Avatar. I wish I could talk, but I am very busy. Love the sudden English accent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, it's strange, like, I am very busy. <laughs> Oh well. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, but uh going. <laughs> Katara? <laughs> so dramatic. So you've been sneaking Drops hat <laughs> for Lauren Lee. Is Abba even sick? He might be sick of the purple berries I've been feeding. Oh right. Uh, it's fake. fake sickness. I forgot. It's not real. She threw off the schedule. Oh man. <laughs> Not the schedule. All right, time to pour some tea. Nice and hot green tea. All right. This is still very hot. Smells good. Mm -hmm. Smells like, smells like ricey green tea. As it should. All right, while they're attempting to destroy this factory, Den Mei Cha is a green tea birthed from creative thinking and scarcity. This humble blend is a cultural staple for many and provides a source of comfort in good or bad times. Environmental disaster leads to many health problems for this small Fire Nation village. With some creative thinking, the village is able to recover from famine and illness. This common comforting tea is restorative to the spirit and can be enjoyed through the day or night. Mm. Ta-da! Today's tea. Love. Have you guys ever had this tea? Am I saying it correctly? Am I not? I'm probably not. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> and I know you've been lying about Appa and feeding him purple eyes and cunberries. <laughs> <laughs> We're leaving right now. She's like, I just wanted to help people. How long did you know about this? Hey, I just found out this morning. <laughs> I like how Sokka has just randomly become like the paternal figure of this mm -hmm. episode when it has been the complete opposite up until this point. I kind of destroyed their factory. You what? As you should. Yeah. Take it down. Please do nothing. She can't do that. No, I will never ever turn my back on people who need me. And that is why she's gonna be an amazing mother. Queen, 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 queen. This is still too hot, but it smells very good. I thought you didn't want to help. You need me. And I will never turn my back on you. Brother, sister, love. Why well, now? Love. He really does have a heart. <laughs> he really does have a heart. <laughs> you. Nice. <laughs> Knock him out. <laughs> Cut it out. Stop tear bending. You steal our food, our medicine. Steal their food? Our... Bro, they're like sludgy fish. Yeah, the painted lady brought us food. Oh, She's oh, oh. Katara stole the food. Okay, all right. Mm. I'm getting it, getting it figured out right now. All right, well, th that's unnecessary. They stole a vat of rice. I mean, gosh. And blew up their factory. That's that's valid. I digress. That's valid. <laughs> okay, it's still hot, but I think it's cool enough for me to start sipping ever so slightly. Mm -hmm. Yep. Ricey green tea. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are you a tea person? I am. I'm more of okay. a black tea person. Okay. And I do like Makes sweet sense. teas. Yeah. Too. This is this I'm is, a sugar and honey girl. This is a savory green, but mm -hmm. with the but the little rice pops is nice. Mm -hmm. It's definitely yeah. definitely in here. <laughs> with Sokka playing a <laughs> We gotta set the mood, you know. I wish it was real recorder sounds from third grade. Mm-hmm. It's a bummer. Should send them an email, have them replace it. Yeah. Uh, 
You can set that up. <laughs> that is terrifying. Yada yada. <laughs> I love how he tells other people to do something. It's like you could also do something. <laughs> team effort, man. Painted Lady is a team of six people, mm -hmm. just like every pop star. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Yes, the nice thing about this tea is that it does not taste like swampy water. Mm -hmm. It's definitely earthy, but you know, it's it's thankfully quite digestible, unlike it has the fish. Rice. And it does. Like the episode. Just like, just like I just put that together. Whoa. Crazy! <laughs> Quickly, Twinkle Toes! I hate that guy. Leave this village and never come back. <laughs> <laughs> he just he swim. Immediately follows directions. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I'm just chilling. Can't see anything. I'm like, don't know where I am. Don't know what's going on. <laughs> I knew you'd come. Thank you. Painted lady, you're the best. Painted lady. You're the best. Colonial girl. Oh, but some of her paint is yeah. coming off. You're you're the lady that gave me a fish. <laughs> She's a water bender. How dare you act like our pain? How lady. dare you save us? I shouldn't have acted like someone I wasn't, and I shouldn't have tricked you. Why not? I don't know. If you're saving people. She's right. But what should we do? Maybe we can clean the river. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can clean, clean the, the river. river. No problem. Keeping my mouth shut is a personal specialty. My brother Shu, on the other hand, oh, he's a blabbermouth. See? And then you can give yourself excuses if you have multiple personalities. <laughs> the shop owner and the boat guy. Oh, you must be talking about my brothers, Doc and Shu. <laughs> no, we just saw you. You switched hats and called yourself a different name. Boring. My brother Doc. He's crazy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Secret, just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Fall back to it that. It does for sound sure. like that. Yeah. Oh, this is so satisfying. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that just made me feel so much better, and I didn't even realize that I was annoyed by the turn of water. <laughs> oh yay! All clean. All clean. Aha! The real one. The real one. Where were you? <laughs> you really though? No. Where were you, yeah. bro? Like, <laughs> where have you I, been? This is, listen. I, you know. Spirits are busy. Okay, I understand. But How like, busy? Bro, where were you? Like, th th what? What? <laughs> what? Oh, and that's the end. <laughs> you, li you leave us with that. That part always frustrates me. I feel like they're always like deities or like spirits or whatever who are like, thank you for like helping. And it's like, where, where were, were you? you? I guess they just kind of want to leave it to us. Isn't this your, your, your purpose? Your point? No? Like, fend for yourself. And then, I'm like, busy. if you're if you're doing a good enough job, then I'll just be like, oh, here's a little help. Here's a little sprinkle. Good job. Mm -hmm. You're self-sufficient. But that's not the point. I don't know. I feel like teaching it's... lessons, though. Because I guess they wouldn't have ever cleaned the river. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, stood up for themselves and become more self-sufficient if she just would have come in. They would have depended them. on her. Yeah. Tough lessons. Tough lessons. Still. Oh, look at how wow. pretty. Kinda makes you realize how insignificant we are. Uh, you've seen nothing once. You've seen it a thousand times. Starting off with an iconic line. You've seen nothing once. You've seen nothing a thousand times. Except for this flaming blue star? Question mark. Oh, oh, that's the meteorite. Duh, duh. It's fine. Don't mind me. Okay, I keep getting distracted by the episode, and I and I forget about my tea. So I'm gonna remember to do it early this time. All right, let's go ahead and give this a sniff. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is a little earthy, dare I say it. A little complicated. Mm, okay. Let's let's see what today's got going on. Book three, episode four, Sokka's Master, a meteorite blend, oolong. All right, it's been a second since I've taken Chinese. I think this is Wu Yi Dan Kong, or Dan Song Oolong, Dan Song. Dang Kong. There's so many different pronunciations. If you happen to know what this tea is, please let me know. But Wu Yi Dang Kong Oolong. Preparation 212 degrees, two minutes deep. Very short and sweet. Okay. Good work, everybody. Meanwhile, Twinkle Toes over here just making it snow. <laughs> Momo! 
as you can see, a nice, uh, a nice little oolong situation going on here. Fortin. Thing you just eat and roll around in your own filth like a pig. You mm. disgrace. <laughs> Brutal because the reality is so different. I find it interesting that Uncle like puts on such a show of like derangement. He like goes all in. He's a method. Is we don't get the hero worship anymore. I miss the love. <laughs> I miss the love. I can't fly around, okay? I can't do anything. That's not true. No, no one Sokka. Can read a map like you. I can't read at all. <laughs> I can't read at all. <laughs> I'm just the guy in the group who's regular. Oh, this is this is Sokka's emotional moment. This is this is like Sokka's Sokka's Toff's tale of bossing say. All right, we're going to pour the water. I'm going to keep a strict eye on the time so that I do not oversteep this. Oh my gosh. Chaos. Aang looks like a video game character. <laughs> he looks like some, like, demi, like, gorgon, godin, goblin, something. <laughs> this montage is phenomenal. from P and Dao, the greatest sword master and sword maker in Fire Nation. P and Dao. P and Dao. Speaking of P and Dao, let's read this description really quickly, shall we? This Uyi Dangkong Oolong, sorry if I'm saying that wrong, is also known as a rock oolong because of its mineral earthy flavor. Ah! Like the meteorite that Saki uses to create his sword, this tea is also a rare blend that can be used to sharpen the senses. Dangkong Oolongs are single origin teas that come from one bush as opposed to pickings from an entire field. If Pian Dao or Sokka were connoisseurs of tea, surely this would be a favorite as this blend comes from a mark of artistry, respect, and ingenuity. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. so exciting. Yes, 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 we see Buff Iroh. Oh wait, not yet, dang it, almost, so close. What did you bring him to prove your worth? Well, my dignity! All right, Oolong has sat for two minutes. Let's take it out. Let's find out together how worthy you are. I will train you. For like the one time in his life that Sokka actually just like puts the jokes aside and is like humble and real, it paid off. Good job. Good job, Sokka. Good job, Snoozles. Whoa. This is super earthy and minerally. Whoa! Super minerally. This smells a little illegal. Um, I don't know how else to say that. <laughs> Ooh, hot, hot, hot. I already picked my toes. Twice. Twice. I already picked my toes. Twice. The second time's just for the sweet picking sensation. Toph is a special lady. Special, special lady. Picking her nose, picking her toes. Is, is shedding like Abba. Oh my gosh. Huh? Katara's humor. Brutal, brutal. Yes, yes, yes. Now do we get the shot? No, they're just gonna keep teasing us with it. It's fine. We'll be patient. Writing my name will make me a better swordsman. I love how Sokka was like, I don't know if I am worthy, and then continues to question every single thing he is told. Oh, Sokka. Identity on the page, right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think that's how we should all sign our name with our face. Okay, this is cooled down enough, I believe. Let's see. Whoa, whoa. This is this is wild. Whoa. Super minerally. It doesn't taste as illegal as it smells, <clears throat> but it is super, super earthy and minerally. It feels, it feels historic. 
if that makes sense. It feels archaic almost, but archaic sounds like bad. It's, it's, it's historic. It tastes like many multitudes have existed in like the dried tea leaves lifetime. I don't know. It's really, really good. Rock I love that we do get these important, but advantage. kind of fun side quests, uh, you know, sprinkled into season three here, because it's obviously very intense. You know, they have a pretty strict timeline, like the Fire Nation's closing in. It's, it's an intense time. Uh, and seeing this fully played out in all of its kookiness and importance is just very nice. Very nice. Uh. <laughs> and seeing Sokka being in his full Sokka-ness, it's great. How long was he here? Like, is this like a week? Is this a month? How long is this? Is this two days? Like, I don't know what's going on. You noodle brains don't know what you're doing. Noodle brains. Noodle brains. That's another good one. I gotta, I gotta keep track of all these. I stick with like Melon Lord and Twinkle Toes, Snoozles, Noodle Brain. I like that one. Your sword must be an extension of yourself. So tomorrow, you will make your own sword. Make your own sword. I love that idea. I did anyone else make their own wand when Harry Potter was coming out? I made I made my own wand. I found a stick in my great grandmother's yard, and she had like a wedding stone, like the concrete like wedding stone, and I just like carved it down into eh, about yay long wand, and tried my very darndest to make that thing work for me. But making it was a great experience. I feel like it, it would be similar to this, you know? Sokka! We missed you so much. <laughs> the little squeak in my voice! I have a crush on him. Ugh. It's a bummer. But Suki's amazing, so I get it. It's fine. They missed you or something. I didn't care. <laughs> sure. Sure you didn't care. Sure you didn't care. Is this it? No, still not it, is it? Man, they're really just teasing us at this point. Sure, Sokka. I'll help you move the big meteorite rock so that you can make a sword. No problem. We'll make a sword unlike any other in the world. They should have made two. You know, where's Suki? I feel like Suki should be seeing this. This is, this is pretty hot. Sorry, girl, you're missing out. Have any of you guys ever made a sword? I feel like, I feel like some of you may have. Some of you Renaissance Fair, you know, medieval times people. Have, you, have any of you guys ever made your own sword? What'd you make it out of? How long does it take? It looks fun. And hot. When you first arrived, you were so unsure. You even seemed down on yourself. But I saw something in Okay, now this way. is making me think that this was over the course of like two days. Three days. Like fast. It wasn't your skills that impressed me. No, it certainly wasn't your skills. <laughs> it certainly wasn't your skills. <laughs> I'm not who you think I am. I'm not from the Fire Nation. I'm from the Southern Water Tribe. Yeah. I lied so that I could learn swordsmanship from you. Bro, well, why are we, what are we, what? What, why, why? No. Why? This is my fight. Why did he feel the need to say that? I am guess because he just was feeling like guilty and like, I don't know. Seems a little random. Now look at you. We don't drop his food all over the floor. Oh, that's so unnecessary. I hate that guy. Now what's happening? Buff Iro! Buff Iro for the win. Buff Iro for the win. One armed pull up while eating an apple. Friggin' legendary. I like how I'm looking in their general direction as if I'm watching. I'm not. Oh, I'm watching with my feet, obviously. Oh my gosh, I went through this so fast. I only have one sip left. <laughs> ah, that's so good. Perfect for this episode. Oh my gosh. I love how this guy is like, guess I have to fight you, while also just knowing full well everything that's been going on. And then like subtly complimenting Sokka along the way. He's like, ah, you did this, good job. While he's like slicing at him. Oh, it's making me sad. All that broken bamboo. 
so unnecessary. He's still like teaching slash complimenting him. Hey, earth bending. Nice. I'm a little old to be fighting the Avatar. Who? Oh. How did you know? Oh, I've been around a while. You pick things up. Of course, I knew. Oh, I've been around a while. You might want to think of a better Fire Nation cover name. Try Lee. There's a million Lees. Try Lee. The way of the sword doesn't belong to any one nation. Knowledge of the arts belongs to us all. Hmm. That's a good one. Saka. Knowledge of the arts belongs to us all. Good thing to keep in mind. Aw, this is so nice. It's a pie show tile. A white lotus. Hmm. Huh. And what does it mean? I have white no lotus. I totally didn't even see that. The white lotus fire nation. He knows what's up. Check this out. Hey. <laughs> Space Rock! Nickelodeon! <laughs> Aw, yay! Yay! This was such a good episode! Ah, oh, that was so fun. Now I want some Space Rock. I want some Space Rock to try to bend. Well, what a fun episode. We see Sokka finally come into his own. He, like, has his thing now. I mean, the boomerang was helpful, but now he's, like, a master of something that can actually be helpful when they're, you know, <laughs> casually saving the world. Today... We have a very, very exciting guest. Please introduce yourself. <laughs> Greetings, peasants. It is I, the Fire Lord Azula speaking. <laughs> You'll never rise from the ashes of your shame and humiliation. <laughs> I'm so happy. So happy to be here. Well, you're actually the first, yeah, you're the first cast member guest. I've had other, like, fans of the shows or other YouTubers or other, like, friends of mine who are creatives and singers. I'm never the first. You're the first. Ooh. Azula wins. People are always like, I called so many people and no one could do it. Could you come <gasps> over on Monday? <laughs> Well, no, you're you're the first uh, you're the first celebrity Aww. guest. Or when I meet fans, they're like, "You're my second favorite voiceover actress," and then it just all day I'm like, "Is it Tara? Is it Nika? Who else is it? Jennifer Hale? God darn it!" <laughs> well, today is very exciting because we are going to be watching Book Three, Episode Five, The Beach, which is my favorite, my favorite episode. Favorite so exciting. Yeah. Okay, well, we're gonna hop into the episode and then we will dive into today's tea flavor. <laughs> They're the best creatures on the show. They really do. They really do. It's gonna be great to hang out on the beach and do, and do, do nothing. nothing except destroy other people <laughs> at volleyball. So Dad it's wants to meet with his advisors alone, without anyone else around. Don't take it personally. Don't take it personally. <laughs> I love your red for today, by the way. You oh, look phenomenal. Thank you so your hair much. is ready, fully blown out. I tried to do my um my Azula crown because I have like a crown, oh, yeah. but it, it got floppy yesterday. I did a con yesterday and it started flopping around because you know I was just yeah, like hugging doing people things. And so I It's okay, you don't need it at the beach anyway. I can't have a floppy crown at the beach. No, no one will respect me anymore. Ember Island kids. Creepy twins. Creepy twins who used to be hot. <laughs> I have, of course, I had to don a little bit of a of a sunny outfit. I feel like, I love it. it's yeah, I like book three. I know I'm supposed to like book two, and I do oh. love my earthy colors. But book yeah. three is spicy. It's and fun. And you got that beautiful red it's hair. Fun. <laughs> it, yeah, it, it works for you. You need those. Hot they used to be. What's happening? <laughs> I love it. I love the decoration on that that, that whole place. Like, look at the I wallpaper. Know. It's so pretty. I'm I'm a gaudy decorator. I'm Definitely like, more is more. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just everything, color, pattern, yes. texture. And it can help you understand yourselves and eat Is this what we can look forward to you becoming as you uh, as you age? age? Yeah. Yes, I just need another creep. I need Tara Strong to join me. Yeah. As a creep, my other creepy twin. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. No body shaming. No body shaming. <laughs> I love their swim outfits. Yeah, I would wear this. Yeah. It's like it look cute comfy, now. but a little yes. bit sporty. I'm into it. I fell into a waterfall when I was little. Once. You fell into a I waterfall? I fell into a waterfall. I was like five years old and oh, my no. dad, we were camping and my stepmom was pregnant with my sister and my oh. dad went fishing and there were these slippery rocks and my, 
my, my stepmom was like, don't, you know, do that, you know, to be careful. And I was like, I will. (laughs) And I immediately slipped off and I like went down the rapids and then I got stuck in these rocks that were right before the waterfall went way down. Oh no. And this cowboy like took off his hat and jumped in the water and grabbed me. A cowboy? My cowboy fetish started that day, I think. Honestly. When one saved your probably life. Probably might be true. But it was funny because my, my stepmom was like, you were stuck in the rocks and the water was like going up, but you still had your, I wore glasses and I was a little, so my, yeah. they said, <laughs> you, you were just like, like about to go and go off, but your glasses were still just askew on your face. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're alive. Yes, me too. <laughs> you're here today. <laughs> Loving cowboy lover. Yeah, I love their beach outfits too. Mm-hmm. Zula's fake beach outfits. Very hot. Mm-hmm. Cute skirt. Yeah. Got the cute like halter, cross top. Fun packing. Sure. <laughs> we could all take a note from Tylee on how to just like let people do things. Yes, delegate, you know? delegate. Yeah, just be like, sure, of course you can help me. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's let's see what today's tea is, shall we? Yeah. Okay, book three, episode five, The Beach, Ember Island Blend, Raspberry Cinnamon Orange Black Tea. Mm-hmm. Ooh, Flavor think. profile, black tea, cinnamon, orange, rose petals, lime, <gasps> blackberry leaves, and clove. I might have to get some of this for myself. Yum. It yum. sounds great. Preparation 212 degrees, five minutes steep. Ah, yum. She's so okay. cute. <laughs> and I have to say, you should let men do things for you because wow. it, I'm going to give you my lady advice. Please, please. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> the world, listen closely. Ladies, no, I just feel in. like men, they're, men are programmed to want to like protect you and like help you, you know, yeah. and if you don't let them, then they just, it's like a working dog, you know, yeah. like... <laughs> I've just now I've just compared men to dogs, but <laughs> sometimes it's appropriate. But um, no, but like you know, like little catalogs, they are like retrievers. If they can't yeah, re- bring it back, yeah. they just feel like, what am I doing like, What's here? My purpose? You know, and men, like yeah. if you don't give them something to protect or something to carry or whatever, they feel like, well, what the heck am I here for? Yeah, you know, what am I? <laughs> Yeah. I'm probably going to get torn apart on this. They're going to be like, no, you crazy. know what? A lot, <laughs> a lot of the internet right now is very much oh, really? yes, Good. appreciative and supportive of this because it's yeah. it's hard because we're also told that we should be independent. I know. I was raised by my grandmother, single woman, and I yeah. always like if somebody offered, like a man offered yeah. to carry my suitcase, and I was like, oh, I'm good. Yeah. I got it. I got it. Yeah. But I will say, if I'm not interested in someone, I will, will say, say yes, I've got, I got it. it. I got You're it. like, I'm good. Yes, and you need to respect that boundary. Goodbye. But if I like someone, I'm always like, oh, thank you. <laughs> So in real life, you're like Tylee. <laughs> okay, it's true. All right, my inner Tylee. Don't you know who we are? We're Chan and Ranjan. But Chan and Ranjan. <laughs> Some of the most important teenagers in the Fire Nation are going to be important boys. teenagers. God, I love it. Not adults. It's a juxtaposition. It, yeah, it's like an anamon. Or what do they? Think? What is it? What is it? Like what jumbo shrimp? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like what's yeah, that called? Like a. Is uh, it called a paradox? No. No, it's like a. Now I have onomatopoeia stuck in my head. Not, yeah, it's not <laughs> just the wrong word. It's like it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, it smells very sweet, but oh. like standard black tea. Feel free to give it a sniff. Oh, That's that it. smells so good. Oh, I, I might really I do want to buy some yeah. of that. <laughs> they're, they're good. They're working. really good blends. <laughs> so beautiful there, though. I mean, even though all these horrible things are happening, I'm just like, oh, I need a vacation. It's beautiful, <laughs> beautiful violence happening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you vacation often? Are you a, are you you work a lot? I work. You sing. Constantly. You do comedy. You're a voiceover queen. Like the, she's got kids. I mean, good, oh goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, I go on vacations with the kids, but kids vacations with kids are yeah, not it's relaxing. Yeah, no, no, no. That's... Like you have the time when they're sleeping, but yeah. but it's fun though. Like that we do have fun, and we are like That's oh cool. we're having fun. Like we went on a cruise, went on a Disney That's cruise. Sorry, fun. Nickelodeon. We went on a <laughs> Disney cruise, and it was amazing. Disney does a good cruise. Okay, that's good to know. Dusk till dawn. I want that necklace. It's dusk, so we're here. <laughs> That's just... We're very punctual. <laughs> it's dusk, so we're here. Very punctual. <laughs> her outfit does slay, and her hair is down. She's like trying yeah, to be a so little more yes. pretty. Anything up? Oh my gosh! Uh oh, now it's I've been challenged. Outfit, you could, you could puncture the hull of an Empire-class Fire, Fire Nation battleship, battleship leaving thousands, thousands to drown at sea, sea. because it's. It's, it's so, so sharp. sharp. <laughs> <laughs> I love her hair like that, though. That's yeah, a good one. I do my hair like that a lot. Yeah. Oh, you know, I meant maybe they, because they did, like, take pictures of me and stuff, like, yeah, when they were just, you know, they did. Yeah. That's the thing that a lot of people don't realize. They they definitely modeled some of the characters' characteristics and facial expressions us, yeah. off of how we acted. And when the light shines into my eyes, they have that gold, they're very the goldish, glint. like, mm-hmm. yeah, so I've seen her eyes, and I'm like, oh. And mine are green. <gasps> Wait a second. Oh, you were born for this. I want, I want a character development, I mean, a character design royalty. She 
pretty impressed by a sand pagoda that I made for her. Well, I met her first. See, but then this could happen to you if you're too nice to too many. <laughs> She's sort of a Scarlet O'Hara type. Well, my grandmother had a bunch of engagement rings and got in trouble. Yeah. She, she had, like kept them? She said she had like six different engagement rings because she was like engaged to six different... I was like, are you kidding me? And one time she went out and had soda with this guy and she realized... And she was living in a cold uh -huh. environment. She was in Michigan at the time and she Oof. had like little gloves on and she said, oh no, I'm wearing the wrong ring. I can't take my gloves off and the guy was like don't you want to gloves off we're not warm in here she's like no i'm good i'm fine i'm cold and then he he was holding her hand he's like hey that's not my way this is your grandmother she was legendary stinker legendary though wow yeah. did she write a book no but that's i know all the stories so okay, you need to write a book we're gonna write a script something that needs to go somewhere she was definitely a little tiley oh she's like i never mijita i never had to buy stockings in the <laughs> war she's like other poor pobrecitas they they had to get an eyeliner and, and draw the line of the seam in their oh, stockings gosh. but i had soldiers all over the world they would wait in line for my silk stockings and send them to me <laughs> once again <laughs> legendary she was. that's amazing she told my husband was just like when i was married she was like do you think she's pretty? And he was like, yeah. And, and she goes, if you knew me when I was young, you'd be throwing rocks at her. <laughs> it's the laughing. The laughing I, begins. I get asked to do that at cons all the time. <laughs> there, was a, there was a conversation recently that, Ken, <laughs> that was like, oh, do, do Zuko and like May actually like each other or do they just both hate the world? <laughs> like, do they ever actually enjoy each other's company? <laughs> Honestly. The older I get, the, like the more that someone hates all the same things I do, it's like it's nice. better than liking all the same yeah. things I do. Welcome to Sandyland. <laughs> I'm not good at this either, though. Like Laughing if they're not funny, not, no. and I just or if they say something uh, dumb. <laughs> I know this guy. Like my friends and I were out the other night, and this guy was like, "At first, oh, quick kiss it's though." Strongest couple in the entire world. We will dominate the earth. <laughs> I love that. My son loved that part when the anime things come in. Uh, I, I yeah. gotta go. He's smart. He's got good, good uh, Wait, so what red flag. Oh no, I was just out with my friends and this guy was like, oh, you guys are just having way too much fun. You know, because we were laughing. And I thought, boring. That's a boring <laughs> thing to say. I'm sorry it is. And, and then he messaged me that very night. Which I thought, like, geez, dude, like, God, where's your chill? Like, tomorrow. Chill. Maybe the next day, you know. And then, you know. I don't have chill. I think I need to learn how to have some more chill. I have zero <laughs> chill. If I doubt whether I should write to someone, I don't. Because I think mm. that little doubt is... Uh, any little something. voice in your head that's like, maybe you shouldn't do that. I'm always like, I honor that. Doubt means don't, like Oprah said. Oh, okay. Doubt this is good. Don't. I have. I didn't... I haven't heard that oh, phrase. Oh, yes. Doubt, doubt means, means don't. don't. Doubt means don't. Okay, doubt means you don't. heard it here. Yes, yeah, like if you're doubt about to send a text don't. and you're like... Maybe I shouldn't. Just, yeah, always. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. This day forward. <laughs> that's how we're rolling. But okay. also, but what career-wise, do the things that scare you. Like, do if, you know. Okay, so it's different. Yes. That, that's not that's not doubt. That's just, like, scared, you know. Yeah. But but if you have that little voice of, like, uh, I don't know. That's, that's. Different. Yeah. Different than different. fear. No, but if you're, like, oh, God, that's, I don't know. That's, wow, that's kind of scary. You know, I always yeah. do the things that scare me. And also take the meeting. If somebody wants to meet with you, except unless there's some creep or something on the internet. But, like, if some, like, important person, you know, you know or, or even anyone they're, even if they're not important, if they're like, "Hey, um, my, I'm, you know, I'm writing this script. I'm not sure. I was going to ask you, you know, yeah. but somebody who, you yeah. know, and, but I always do say, I always at least call and talk to them yeah. because even if you don't sense. get that project, you know, they may go, "Well, I know, I think you're great. Like I know you. You're not right for this, but." Like, I've gotten so many else. jobs where they're like, oh, you weren't right for this, but you were so nice and you took the time to talk to me. Yeah. And later on, they'll do something. Sparky Sparky Boom Man is back. Oh, he's terrible. We hate that guy. Yeah. My friend was like, he's so attractive. And I was like, wow, you've oh, got really? really bad taste. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> do you, how many restraining orders oh, do you have? Gosh. Yeah. Humorlessness is a, a, is a sign for me. Mm -hmm. of like, no, you know, any like murder types, they usually aren't like laugh riots. No, you know, not really. They're missing that. They're of that kind of. Yeah, thing. lacking. <laughs> yes, yeah. So much has changed. Come down to the beach with me. Come on, this place is depressing. <laughs> oh, I feel like we see a little bit of her 
Mm -hmm. human side a little teeny tiny in this episode yeah yeah i feel like she's like kind of connects with their child a little bit more before all the damage was done has a heart to heart with her with her boyfriend ugh zuko needs to relax i know (laughs) and he's very insecure i'm freezing (laughs) i'll make a fire (laughs) there's plenty of things burning there oh gosh Back to just immediate chaos. Mm-hmm. It's so weird doing those cons now with, you know, with a big ang. I know. <laughs> it's big, like a big man. Well, like, it's weird when I saw him again. I was like, oh my God, last time I saw you, you were just a little yeah, boy. And now you're like an adult living in New York with your girlfriend. It's weird. It's wild. Yeah. And it he's so weird. cool, too. Like, he's yeah. a really great guy. Just chill. Doing yeah. cinematography in Brooklyn, you know? I know. He's such a good yeah. Good. But everybody turned out okay, you know? I, I think so. Yeah. 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 Like, I don't, there's, I love, I really love everybody in our cast. It, it was a really sweet little family. Like, I mean, I love doing the cons because I feel like everyone yeah. turned out okay and are fun to be with. Even though I'm antisocial at the cons, I'm always like, <laughs> they're like, we're going to dinner. And I'm like, I'm going to my room to watch like, forensic I'm files and eat dirty food. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm tired of people. Not that I do love, I love talking that. to people, like, but when I'm done, I'm done. done. Yeah, because I feel like yep. I give so much. I stand at my table and I really, because I, I feel like they're waiting in line so long and they're yeah. paying all that money yeah. and I'm going to give them every Everything. bit of energy yeah. I have. Yeah. But when it hits the end of the con and people, you know, and like actors yes, are like, yes. what are you doing? I'm like, no, I don't have any room for actors. I have yeah. only room for fans. <laughs> Well, see, this is what I'm saying. You're more chill than I am. Because I'm like, oh, I must go. I oh. must go and be and talk. And, I pushed myself and a couple times and then I couldn't talk the next day. And I was like, God oh, that's darn not it. Good. I remember I was like, I'll go out to dinner with everybody, but I won't talk. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just sit here. <laughs> see, that's sad. Why, oh, if they, why are they burning that? Any burn photographs make me sick. Yeah. Like, I just feel Burning sad history. About it. Yes. Sad. A friend of mine scanned a bunch of his childhood. He's like, oh, I just, I, I scanned all my childhood photos and I just threw them away. And I'm like, <gasps> I was yeah. like, send them to me. Yeah, I will, I'll keep them I, for you. Even when I go to thrift stores, I yeah. find old photographs Photos. and I'm like, oh my God, who are these people? Their pa- their family just like left it out on the road. Well, it's tough because I feel like you have to, you know, pare down if you have like multiple yeah, generations and you're like I trying know. to downsize, but you just keep some. Go ahead and laugh all you want. You want to know why I joined the circus? I think this is oh this is Tylee's favorite episode too. Shout out to Olivia like Hack. She she loves this line. Who look exactly like me? It was like I didn't even have my own name. We see we see like the human side of all of the evil fire <laughs> evil fire people. <laughs> One of my favorite lines that Azula says is, is here too when she talks about her mom. Like, my own mother thought it was a monster. She was right, of course, but it still hurt. <laughs> <laughs> so good. I really love her little weird personality. <laughs> Everyone, yeah, she's so great. She, you know, people are like, oh, she's so evil. And it's like, she's really just like a weirdo. I mean, she is evil. She is. But she's <laughs> but, like an evil weirdo. But it's, yeah. Which is just like really quirky and kind of particular. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's not like she's the popular girl at school who like she's is just, also evil. She's not like she a Regina goals. George. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, she, you know? She's very driven. Yes. <laughs> As I get older, some people, whenever I get a little heated or when I try, they, they're like, we're starting to hear a little bit of Azula. And, oh. And, you well, know, and I'm I, like, really? I, I feel that way a little bit about my music and my comedy oh, and like, really? well, definitely my music. Yeah. Like I just, I, I have like a, I, I have like a one track. I'm like, I gotta do this and I gotta do that, you know? And, and I don't care about like other things that other people care about. Like they're yeah. like, what about dating or what about that? And I'm like, and I, but I got, yeah, okay. I'm like, that's great. I'm gonna, you know, like, I'm gonna, you know, I don't I know. I feel like, like you also already have your fam. You have like such great kids. Oh, that's the best thing. I mean, that's gosh, thing who needs all the other stuff? You have great kids. They are really awesome. Some people's kids, I'm like, I was like, do you know that they're annoying? Or maybe you enjoy them. I don't know. (laughs) I'm so like, do people with annoying kids know that their kids are annoying? Or maybe I just like my kids because they're mine. I don't know. I let it steep for a little bit longer because technically we only had one bag and we're we're sharing. I love it. Okay, that's a good idea. Let's see. I forgot we were having it. Surprise. Mm. It smells good. It smells really good. Are you a tea person? I am. Okay, okay. Yes. There you go. And I used to like go to tea houses and have tea, you know, yeah. at like a real yeah. like English tea. And I love to go get like tea at the plaza. Oh, and like yes. yeah. I was just in London. I went to go see the opening of Avatar in concert. Oh. They had their opening night in London and I just thought it was Wait, cool. So they I went. Had a concert? They, so Avatar in concert's a thing. They have multiple tour dates and they're playing the soundtrack from the show live with an orchestra. Oh that's amazing. I know. So I was just, I went to the opening just because it seemed fun. So I wanted to go. So I went. Yeah. But I love afternoon tea. It's like my favorite thing in the world. Oh, God. 
yes. And so I'm like such a big tea person. And I was like, I was so happy. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Whoa. The internal conflict. You can never resolve your own feelings unless you are at peace with yourself. <laughs> yeah, I got stuck in Chicago. I was trying to get to a con and I got stuck. Yeah. And then I was, there was nothing I could do. I had to stay in Chicago wow. all day one day. And I was like, well, what a great city to be stuck in. Get so then I was like, oh my God, they have a really great old hotel here that has an amazing high tea. And I've always wanted to do it, but it's like a three hour experience it's and big. you have to stay for the yes. whole thing. But they had a harpist and oh like, gosh. and it was like fresh flowers everywhere. And it was amazing. And I just had the most wonderful what? day. What hotel is this? Um, oh God. It's like that. I'll have to poke and just see, like, just look up great high tea, sh- best Chicago. high tea in Chicago. Yeah, and that's okay, it. Yeah. Okay. And it's this incredible room. I, yeah. What's your favorite tea? Do you she have one? Right, of course, but it's I still love, hurt. oh, I love that. <laughs> um, I love cho- chocolate infused teas. There's like strawberry yeah. chocolate and, yeah. Oh, yeah. God. You, yeah. you like a sweet tea? It's not sweet. Oh, it's, it's just, not. it just has okay. like a, more of that flavor. Some, profile. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Oh, dear. It's really good tea. Oh, good. I'm mm-hmm. glad you like it. Yeah, it's a little lighter since we're splitting. But yeah, but it's still good. It's good. But I do like my tea with milk. With a little bit of milk and a little bit of maple syrup in it. Mm-hmm. Maple syrup? So a little, like, sweet, like a little teaspoon of maple syrup. Oh my gosh, it's so fast. I know. Oh, we're so fast. I, I totally forgot about our fun glasses. I meant oh, to put these on just for fun. I randomly had these and I was like, these are just absolutely Fire hilarious. Nation fashion. It looks like we're part of like a parade. We look like divorcees who are... <laughs> We killed our husbands, and we're not sorry. <laughs> not sorry at all. No. <laughs> okay, well, that was fun. Um, thank you so much for joining thank me you. for Tea Time with mm-hmm. Toph. So exciting. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm so excited that we had Azula on today. We have a couple more fun guests. Book three is, is stacked. You guys commented. You guys said you wanted some guests. We're making it happen. No one as good as me, unfortunately. Maddox is very ready. Are you ready? Are you ready for the Avatar and the Fire Lord? Book three, episode six? Yeah! <laughs> All right. Hey, it's time you learned my history with Fire Lord Sirius. It's time you learned Do my history. Do you understand how the war began? Do you understand how the war began, Maddox? Do you have insight that we don't have? No? Yes? Maybe? There's so many emotions happening. The spirit world is upon us. History, ancient history, family ties, trauma. Story of your great grandfather's oh. demise. It will reveal your own destiny. Where did that scroll come from? Just in the hallway? A little sus. Hey, look, it's Appa. There it is. You would like Appa. You're a little more like Momo, so you you would like Appa. He'd be a friend of yours. Let's dive into today's tea, shall we? Okay, book three, episode six, The Avatar and the Fire Lord. Avatar Roku's blend. Cherry. <laughs> cherry rooibos herbal blend. Rooibos, cherry, cinnamon, cardamom, hibiscus, cloves, anise seeds, ginger, rose, and spice. Oh my gosh. Today's flavor is super complex. What do you think? We might be losing Maddox here in a second. I think he wants to get down. Do you want to get down, bud? All right, all right. I have to pour my own tea anyway. Thank you for joining us for this intro. We always appreciate your wisdom. The mighty Mr. Maddox. Maddox. Okay, goodbye, Mr. Chicken. Preparation 212 degrees, five minutes steep. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, there's a lot going on in there. Ooh, the cherries. The cherries are really nice. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, let's do it. Oof. I love that hand, like fire bending ID entry point. It's so cool. I want a door like that. Probably pretty secure. This episode is so meditative. Like this feels so calm in comparison to all the chaos that's happening kind of in, in the real world. You know, this is kind of like history mixed with spirit world, mixed with like destiny, I guess. Mm-hmm. Roku and Sozin, they were buds, man. Pretty, pretty. <laughs> Ooh, cuties. It is our honor to serve you. Oh. 
Oh boy. So then there was friend rivalry. That's right, I forgot about this. Oh, I totally forgot about this part of the story. Yeah, that's tough. Can you imagine being like besties with someone and then it's just like, haha, you're destined to save the world and you're the most, you know, arguably important person on earth right now. Where you packed yet, all powerful avatar? Oh. Come on, show me how it's done using all four Oh no. Defending. And then the sassiness begins. It happened so fast. Everything's going to be different now. That's tough, man. Here, I hope you're at least allowed to have this. Oh, but this is a that's so sweet. Artifact. It's supposed to be worn by the crown prince. I want you to have <laughs> it. Nice. <laughs> Such a sweet moment. So maybe there wasn't so much rivalry. Well, later on, yes, but earlier on, it seems like they were like nice and like on the same page. What happened? Well, difference in intent. That's what happened. On my avatar journey. And Avatar Roku still wears it after all those years. Ugh. So many feelings. Check this out. We need gliders for real in this life. Where are they? Where are they? Okay, let's read let's read today's tea description, shall we? Aang connects with his past life, and Zuko learns more of his ancestry connected to the Avatar. This herbal blend reflects the strong interconnection between Roku's challenges during his time and how Aang is left to resolve them. This spicy, yet fruity blend in a unique combination that isn't commonly found, as rare as a missing royal artifact. Hmm. There are several times where Zuko and Aang's journeys intertwine. However, this episode especially highlights their literal connection with each other. Fiery flavors like cinnamon and ginger blend together with sweet, compassionate flavors like rose and cherry. Yum. So good. Customarily, my subjects bow before greeting me. Ooh. But you're the exception. Okay. I was about to say, I was like, geez, got really spicy really fast. We might have we might have company joining us now that now that we've poured the tea. Okay. Okay. When love is real, it finds a way. Do you believe that, Maddox? Okay. Okay. That's a yes. Thank you. Thank you for the kiss. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Oh my. Oh my. It's my wedding. Have a cookie. It's my wedding. Have a cookie. And although we didn't always know it. You were destined to be the Avatar. Hmm. It's an amazing stroke of fate we know each other so Oh dear, oh dear, this is where it's going south. Our people are happy. This is getting so this is getting a little dark, unfortunately. Where are you going with this? Mm-hmm. We should share this prosperity with the rest of the world. Should you? It's time we expanded it. No. The four nations are meant to be just that. Mm-hmm. Four. Four. Look, that's not bad. There's a Fire Nation flag over the earth kingdom sign it's not good it's not good we got a sleepy puppy up in here <laughs> don't challenge me mm -mm. It will only end bad. also why did this get so bad like so much later like they didn't start this way when they were like teenage early 20s like they're older like where did all this anger come from he needs to go to therapy oh oof brutal Sleepy chicken, sleepy chicken, while Sozin and Roku fight. Oh, that's intense. Do you think you'd survive, Maddox? I'm gonna go with a no on that. I'm letting you go in the name of our past friendship. Ooh, he shouldn't have done that. Even a single step. Shouldn't have done that. Yikes. Ooh, and then the best friendship is broken. Jeez. Let's try this tea, shall we? Mmm. Yeah, I didn't think so. Oh no. Oh no. Oh boy, Maddox. He's becoming... He's becoming bigger. Look, he's going up into the air. Hi, bud, I know. His eyes have gotten a little better, but they're still super teary. We're working on it. We flushed him out a couple times and that helped, but he still got some tears. He still got some tears. He's crying because, you know, Sozin and Oroku's friendship fell apart. Same. Same, my dude. You're battling a volcano and you're winning. Unfortunately, my success didn't last. Oh dear. There was no way I could do it all. Oh man. No. 
much lava. No, you're not. Stubborn avatar. There we go. Avatar state. Avatar state. Avatar state. Look at this sleep little chicken. Gosh, this is brutal. Ugh, imagine trying to do all this alone. There's no way. <gasps> There's not a moment to wait. Oh! Wait, so he helps. Why did I forget about all of this? I totally forgot about this episode. He comes back to help. Friendship. Friendship. Teamwork. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Without you, all my plans are suddenly possible. Oh no. I have a vision for the future, Roku. <sighs> mm mm. Mm mm. So he just leaves him there. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. Wait, that's me, isn't it? Whoa. Make sense of our past. That's crazy. And you will bring peace. That's crazy. I knew the next avatar would be born an air nomad. So he wiped out the air temples first. I know he's hiding out there somewhere. Deep under the water. His greatest threat. In an iceberg. The last airbender. The title of the show! That can't be it. Where's the rest of it? That's it. Sozin was your father's grandfather. Your uh -huh. father was Avatar Roku. I forgot about that. What happened generations ago can be resolved now. I totally forgot you. that Zuko's grandparents on both sides, on either side, one is Avatar Roku and the other is Sozin. Oh my gosh, no wonder this poor boy is so conflicted. Oh, I forgot about this. Is the power to restore balance to the world. Restore balance and honor. It's supposed to be one. By the crown prince. And he keeps it and hands it down. Ah! Avatar Roku wore that. Oh my gosh. Even after Roku showed him mercy, Sozin betrayed him like that? Yikes. These people are born bad. <laughs> yeah, born bad indeed. Do you really think friendships can last more than one lifetime? Hmm. <laughs> I don't see why not. Do you really think friendships can last more than one lifetime? Great line. That's it, Mr. Maddox. It's all done. It's all done. Wow, what? A good episode. I forgot about so many of those fun facts in there. I, I just forgot about the history between Sozin and Roku and their friendship. And I forgot that they were both like grandparents. So many nuggets, so many nuggets that I forgot. This was so helpful. I'm glad I watched this alone because as much as I love having guests on, I would have not been paying as much attention, and I definitely needed that reminder. It's book three, episode seven, The Runaway, and we have a wonderful guest joining us. Arguably Hello. the most knowledgeable guest, like, <laughs> of all time. I'll take it, I'll uh, take please it. Please introduce yourself. <laughs> uh, I'm Andrew Parker, a.k.a. Wafello, a very big, um, a very big Avatar fan. Okay. Good times. When was the last time you watched Avatar? Oh, look, it's me. It's you. <laughs> when I was home with Christmas, oh. I, I let my cousins watch a couple episodes. I'm introducing the new generation. Fun. Good. Important <laughs> work. Important work being done. Yes. They're on... Uh... Oh, I showed them Blind Bandit. Oh! Mm -hmm. Amazing. <laughs> Three days earlier. See, this outfit I like. When she has like the, the shoulder flappy things on, I feel like it's kind of constrictive. But when, yeah. she's ever, when she's just the strapless with like the little waistband, that seems comfy. I would wear that. Ang hair or no hair? Uh, Stuff. I feel like I like everyone with hair. Okay. I think I'm a hair girl. <laughs> a hair girl. Clearly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like it's probably easier to manage with no hair. Uh, Oops. <laughs> own advice, top. You did that Sorry. on purpose. Probably. Yeah. Fussy britches. Fussy britches. <laughs> <laughs> There were a couple of good uh, nicknames that came up, like Noodle Brain that I forgot about. There, there was like, yeah, the last couple episodes, really good um, tough, tough isms that I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Sneak attack. <laughs> Saga. Sneak attacks don't work if you yell it yell out, out loud. <laughs> I'll give you a mud pie. I thought that we were good after Tales of Bossing City. I was about to say, like, haven't we already like argued during yeah. the chase? Yeah. I thought we were supposed to be training me. 
<laughs> Very well, pupil. Hey, we don't know what cycle, you know, timing they're on. This yeah. this could be mid just yeah, PMS. <laughs> you never know. You never know. You never know. <laughs> oh, he, he gets he gets hockey this episode, right? Or does he yes. already have hockey? No, because right, they're going they're like spending money at the market, I think. I yeah. think you're right. Yeah. I, yep. Yep. Thinking about getting one for myself. That way I wouldn't have to talk to anyone. I could just send them messages. I gotta say, I like the idea of not talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> we can get more money. I like how this is all my idea. Yes. I'm just like, wait, let's gamble. Let's scam people. Having never gambled slash scammed probably before in my life. Or maybe she did. Maybe she did some underground, you know. You spending. never know what the blind bandit was doing back in the day. Yeah, like Earth Rumble 6, did they like go out to bars afterwards? And did she like go with? Like, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Let's look at today's tea flavor, shall we? It is a Beifong blend. Very fitting. Mm. It's a, I think we had this one time before. It's the Show Puer Tea. Show Puer Mini Tuo Cha. If What's you up? know what that is. Yes, that <laughs> I don't. Is, that is <laughs> I definitely don't. Chinese. Uh, preparation 212 degrees. We have to unwrap the little tea bulb from the paper. And then uh, this should make a full pot of tea. Oh, it, wow. says, it says half for a cup and a full one for a pot. So perfect. Glad I have company today. Yeah. Sneaky, sneaky cheat man. <laughs> but she knows. Flamey-o, Tom. <laughs> Flamey-o. Flamey Would you like to make the game a little more interesting? Mm -hmm. More interesting? <laughs> How? <laughs> so simple. Sword there. It's not space sword. Not the space <laughs> sword. Forty silver pieces it is. I hate this guy. <laughs> I say that every episode about somebody. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. And a shaboof. <laughs> shaboof. Earth bending. <laughs> Sorry, little lady, but. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> the squeak in my voice for that? I won! <laughs> <laughs> this is our lovely tea. It smells very earthy. Very earthy. Are you a tea person? It's okay if you're not. I'm not not. I don't I'm, ever drink not, it not. like myself, but whenever I do have it, I'm like, okay. I'm like, yeah. There you go. So this whole thing da -da -da, goes in here. Boop. That's it. I cheated a cheater. What's wrong? I with that? cheated a cheater. Do you think it's okay to cheat a cheater, fam? Let us know in the comments Listen. if you're cheating a cheater, yay or nay. Or you, you know, Katara would say no, but Clearly. then she kind of changes her mind. <laughs> <laughs> Aang is so like moral and like. Like cares about doing the right thing, mm -hmm. except this episode where he yep, like pretty much. he makes a promise and then like. But I also think he genuinely like meant it in the moment. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he was really like, yeah, you're right. We should stop. And then as soon as he's by something fun, he's like, just kidding. Yeah. I mean, he still is twelve, right? You know. <laughs> yeah. Right. Or is he thirteen by now? Eleven, twelve, thirteen? No, no, no. Because it has. Does been he? A year. Does he have a birthday? Like this all happens within like a, a summer, right? I can't remember. What is it, the time? Is it eight months? I don't think anyone like changes their age so i mean he's 112 i thought Sorry. we got like a year older but maybe. maybe not i don't know nice so do you think all of these people <laughs> are cheating like we are only cheating cheaters this entire time no see that's where the moral compass like I... he's just rich yeah like yeah. he's not scamming anybody well <laughs> oh not that we know that's, of. That's, that we... <laughs> that's a bigger question <laughs> okay speaking of trivia on my podcast uh -huh. my podcast co-host did avatar trivia okay. for me and he made it extremely hard. And one of the questions was, how many bags of gold does this guy put on Sokka's arms? Oh, I one, guess... two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 12? I, 12. Did I 12. I guessed, count fast I guessed 11. That's so close. Yeah, I was really frustrated. that's so close. <laughs> ah, I see. All right. You're acting like this because of your parents. Whatever. They were controlling over you. Whatever. Water has been added. All right, we'll let that chill for a few minutes. Act like you hate them, but you don't. You just feel guilty. I do hate them. <laughs> that is a lie. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> it doesn't matter. These scams put us all at risk, and we don't need that. We've already got some. This is like the red flag, us. everyone so needs therapy that moment that, yep. that each of us, you know, everyone in the show has encountered at some Sparky, point. Sparky, Sparky, <laughs> Just think about it. <laughs> yeah, I will never call him Combustion Man. He was always Sparky Sparky Boom Man That's, to me. Yeah, well, I, <laughs> I kind of combine them and just call him Sparky Sparky Combustion Man. Okay, that works. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see what the 
The full breakdown is of tea description. Okay, Katara attempts to bring the group back to Earth after an exciting run of swindling, but doesn't succeed until putting her guard down to help pull off the ultimate scam. This Chopuer tea is dark in appearance, but smooth in taste. Toph realizes how much Katara cares for her and how much she misses her family. Cry. Cry. When Look at town, all of this money. Bro, we're we're doing, doing so well. Well, it sounds like a sheet of paper, but I guess you're referring to what's on, on the sheet of paper. <laughs> it's a wanted poster. This is a great episode for the blind jokes. Yes. A wanted poster. That's so great. <laughs> the runaway. I love my new nickname. Is there a picture of me? Does it look good? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, 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 it does. <laughs> yeah. But Toph, you're missing the point. Maybe she has so many right. names. Oh yeah. The Blind Bandit, the Runaway, Toph Bayfong, Melon Lord. Can't forget Melon Lord. Oh yeah. I guess that's similar to me. You know, Toph and I have many similarities because I also like had Jesse Flower as yeah. like, the stage name, and then like changed my name back to my birth name. When did that change? 15 or 16. I went back to my regular name. Like you were 15 or 16 years old? When I went back to Michaela. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. I can't tell if Toph was like born poor, if she would have just been like a criminal. <laughs> 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 like I feel like the only reason she's not for real is because she was raised, you know, properly or whatever. Yeah. But uh, yeah, her moral compass is a little questionable. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> And I suppose you don't think what you're doing is dangerous at all? No, I don't. <laughs> really? Yes, really. Well then, what's this? What is it with you people? I mean, seriously, seriously what's it with you people? people? I'm blind. blind. <laughs> where did you get that? It doesn't matter where I got it. The fact you is, went through you my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> don't you walk away from me while I'm talking to you. I feel like she... Really, mom? Yep, she's already a mom. Yeah. <laughs> because you're not my mom and you're not their mom. <laughs> they're, like, they're like, my mom. What do you think, Aang? Do I act like a mom? Well, I stop rubbing your eyes. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> it's funny. I feel like you know, it's a sign of a good show when you can relate to every character. Like we're all of these. Yeah, characters. at different points. At, at different points. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> there are many days where I am Toph. There are many days that I'm Katara. And sometimes I'm just Momo. You know. Oh yeah. <laughs> and sometimes I'm Appa. Just want to be lazy and just lay there for a bit. And have somebody feed me. Yes. Dear Katara, <laughs> so good. Your friend Toph. There are so many smart moments, and this is not one of them. No. No. I know this is from you, Sara. Toph can't, can't write. write. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we forgot Toph can't write. <laughs> I love, I love his arm movement. I can't believe. Why is just everyone forgetting? <laughs> Constantly. <laughs> the top is blind. This is such a good scene. Like, this is so cute. Second to Tales of Bossing say, I appreciate this scene so much. Because yeah. we finally get to see Toph, like, actually have a real conversation. Yeah. You brought me out here to tell me your sister's not as annoying as I make her out to be? <laughs> nah, she's pretty much a pain. <laughs> she's always got to be right about everything, and she gets all bossy and involved. And... I'm feeling a little called out, but... <laughs> <laughs> when our mom died, that was the hardest time in my life. Our family was a mess. But Katara, she had so much strength. She stepped up and took on so much responsibility. She helped fill the void that was left by our mom. I guess I never thought about that. Shocking. <laughs> I'm not sure I can remember what my mother looked like. It really seems like my whole life, Katara's been the one looking out for me. <laughs> Even though she's younger than me. The truth is, Aww. sometimes Katara does act motherly. But that's not always a bad thing. She's compassionate and kind, and she actually cares about me. <laughs> feelings! The feelings! <laughs> Don't ever tell her I said anything. Hey, my lips are sealed. Now, do so you nice. think Sokka did that on purpose? Do you think he knew Katara was down there and, like, his strategic brain actually worked? Or was it just next? Wanna... That seemed no planned. Because, like, as they I were walking up, she was stupid. walking up, and he was yeah. like, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm yeah. gonna leave this here. So maybe. I was gonna say, I wanna pull a scam with me. See, okay, this is, this is where we what? learn, don't go against who you are. <laughs> yeah. Just don't, don't mess with the vibes. Yes. If you're not a scammer, if you're not, like, an edgy person, don't do it, because you're the one that's gonna get caught. <laughs> that's just how this goes. Let's go ahead and give this a go. Ooh, it is hot. Okay, this could be very earthy and maybe not your flavor profile preference, but... We'll see. 
We will see. How could you do this to me? You betrayed me. Gasp. You brought this <clears throat> on yourself. I had no choice. <gasps> oh. Daddy Fire Lord. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. This is not a tea for everyone. I love all teas. This almost is a little mushroomy. Mushroomy. If you sniff it, it's very. It mm. smells like dirt. <laughs> yeah. It smells like dirt. <laughs> but it's good. I need, I need to air bend right now. Cool it off. Ow, a little rough there. Hey, what kind of cell is this? A wooden one. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. Now, okay, why is wood not like bendable? Count yeah, I mean it's from the earth, but yeah. I guess it's technically a plant. It's not It's alive, it's like not yeah, yeah. But that always confused me. I was like, you can't bend wood? It's literally from the earth. I don't know. Cup ASMR. <laughs> Animal politics. Do we ever really see hockey after this episode? I think we do, but like not really. Why I'm against these scams. I knew this would happen. But this was your idea. Mm -hmm. so, I wanted to show you that I'm not so motherly. But, but you are. <laughs> Katara, you are fun. If nothing else, you're at least fun to argue with. <laughs> <laughs> we all have friends like that, right? Yeah, at least fun to just beat you up with mud and throw you against a rock. I try not to think about it, but when I left, I probably really hurt them. <laughs> yeah, but they kind of sucked. So, <laughs> like, like, I mean... <laughs> yeah, honestly, you probably hurt them, but it seemed like they were more just, like, angry that something had been taken from them, as opposed yeah. to actually missing their daughter. Right. Which is messed up someone <laughs> someone asked me this one time like what avatar character do you hate the least and it was hard for me to like think of one that i like really hate it because like avatar like azula and like yeah, the yeah, fire lord yeah, yeah. suck but they're like cool characters yeah her deck just kind of sucks yeah like i understand his motivation he wants to protect his daughter but like but again protect because she's like an entity of his mm -hmm. like there's no real like empathy or listening there yeah can anyone relate <laughs> anyone anyone here uh, are your parents like toss parents um can do you feel like you're just constantly trying to be seen and heard and you're not i'm gonna, you're go gonna get a lot of comments yeah, yeah. now yeah <laughs> <laughs> the engagement just went up <laughs> just through the room yeah. oh sweat so this is before hama the puppet master uh, episode yes. which is yes. next okay? i think you would know <laughs> if, if anyone were to know off the top of their head. Mm. Mm. Okay. It's cool enough. Just cool enough for me to sip. You're a genius. A sweaty, a sweaty stinky, stinky genius. genius. It's not for everyone, <clears throat> but I love it. This um, puer is very, like, ancient, I guess. It kind of feels like I'm sipping a tree in old dirt. But You're in, like, sipping a tree. A good way. There's also something else in the flavor. Like, the smell is very different from the taste. There's something that's more calming and subtle yeah, I about like the it. flavor. It's good. I love tea. <laughs> Oof. Do He's you... still not back. 100%. Yeah. Do yes. you think they made Aang lamer in season two and three compared to season one? This is a conversation I've had with friends before. Because in season one, he is the man all the time, and he, like, never loses. The second <laughs> episode... He like does a front flip over a guy and like breaks his restraints. Yeah. And like kicks Zuko's butt. Hmm. But he like he gets knocked down a lot. Like I think they were just trying to show Toph and Katara a little bit more in season two and three. But I feel like maybe, but I also feel like he was against less in the first slash season. Slash he had more energy because he was just <clears throat> thawed. And yeah. he also wasn't burdened with like knowledge. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know. Options. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about this. Oh yeah, me too. Goodbye, hockey. <clears throat> Toph's parents, hey, Lao and Poppy. <laughs> oh crap! That's the end. Oh my gosh! It happened so quickly. I was not prepared. <laughs> <laughs> good episode though. There's not really a bad one though. So. No, no, not at all. That episode's good for the little character development of both Katara and Toph. Yeah. Um, so I, I think I think it's really cute, and then that yeah it leads into the puppet master really well with the the water bending. Absolutely. Yeah. The sub the sub 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 bendings that mm -hmm. all happen here. Today is a very exciting but also creepy day, uh, because we're watching book three episode eight, the puppet master. Ooh ooh, exciting things. We donned the red, you know, for 
blood. <laughs> <laughs> and I figured since we're dealing with some pretty pretty powerful uh, women and just, you know, it felt like a very female power heavy episode i would i would bring on our lovely guest for today please introduce yourself hi my name is carolyn dunton i'm an actor and a comedian here in la i, I do a little voiceover to myself yes, yes she does the moon are you a moon or a sun person i'm wearing sun earrings right now but i feel like i'm a moon person i love the moon okay i mean i know that everyone's both we all have we all have both but i think i'm more of a, oh i don't know though I think I'm more of a sun person. I can see that. Mm -hmm. Ever so slightly. More sun. I guess I am a Leo. I don't know if that makes sense. That's, if we're, if we're going to go there. Well, because I'm like a Pisces sun and moon. Oh. So I feel like that's very water. Yes. Lots of feelings. And very moon. So many fish. <laughs> so many. My Venus, Pisces. It's all Pisces. I cry a lot. <laughs> Yes, okay, I'm gonna go with probably moon. Yeah, lots of I moon. think I'm the moon. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so at this point, we, you know, we're trying to, like, find, I guess, the trajectory of Aang's timeline to, like, defeat the Fire Lord, so. This is a little bit of a side quest episode, but it's it's a good one. That's me. Wait, there are bottoms on my shoes. What's happening? Was that, hold on, is that a continuity error? What's going on? I, I shoved out the bottom of my shoes. Am I nuts? I just noticed that. Okay, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Now I'm gonna look for that for the rest of the episode. Nini's house stands empty to this day, but sometimes people see smoke coming up from the chimney. If <laughs> little Nini is still trying to get warm. Creepy. Ooh. There's people under the mountain, and they're screaming. <laughs> Casual. And they're screaming. Nice it's fine. No, I'm serious. I hear something. My feet don't lie. <laughs> but you have souls this episode. I know, I'm very confused. <laughs> Sorry to frighten you. My name is Hama. You children. She seems so nice. Yeah, just a really nice, creepy old lady yeah. who's lit from below by the flickering flames in the forest. In a very chill way. Mm. So, okay, you said it's been a second since you've seen Avatar. When was the last time you watched an episode or through the whole thing? What, what? I feel like I binged it maybe for the first time after college. And then okay. I think I had a boyfriend two or three years ago who had never seen it. And so we binged it then Together. too because I was you like, go. you got to Netflix. watch this show. We yeah. Must see. Okay, there you go. Speaking of tea. Ooh. All right. Let's dive into today's flavor. All right. Book three, episode eight, The Puppet Master, Blood Moon, fitting, Elderberry Hibiscus Blend. Ooh, with elderberry, hibiscus, and raisins. Mm. All right, a little bit of a curveball. Wasn't expecting the raisins. Uh, preparation 212 degrees, seven minute steep. Okay, so this is this is a bit of a deeper steep. We're gonna get this going so that it has time to sit. Okay. The only the deepest steep for me. <laughs> only the deepest of steeps for Kara. Actually, this is the longest steep of any Ooh. any tea. I like pretty. that deep steep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sometimes I need sleep. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> Ooh, this is good. I'm I'm a sucker for just any yummy smelling tea. It can be sweet, it can be earthy, it can be green. I just, I like it all. I like a fragrant tea. Yes. A nice bouquet, if you will. Mm -hmm. Hot water has been added. We're gonna let this sit for seven minutes, which is probably almost halfway through our episode. So it's a long, long steep. Let it let it chill there. People disappearing in the woods. Weird stuff during full moons. This just reeks. Who do you most relate to? If you had to pick a character, I know it's been a second, but. Who are you? Who are you? I, uh, to be honest, I feel like I am like halfway between uh, Sokka and Katara. Yeah. Because I feel like yeah. I tend to be a little bit of the comedic relief, mm -hmm. but I also tend to be like a nurturer. Organized. Yeah. Uh, and I, the biggest piece of anxiety I have when I'm like, what would I, what kind of bender would I be? Is yeah. I'm afraid that I wouldn't. Yeah. That like, maybe I'm just not special enough to be a bender. Hey, listen, that swordsmanship is, is necessary. You got the Kyoshi words with the fans, like, you know. Oh yeah, but I'm so uncoordinated. <laughs> uh, you could just, you'd be Momo. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, I'm Momo. <laughs> <laughs> no, I see, I feel like Sokka Katara, you're, you're Kataka. Uh, just call me Kataka. Yeah. 
Yeah, your combination. But but very much water tribe. Yeah. The, I like there's oh, no way that I'm not. With all the fish. <laughs> yeah. Sokka, you're gonna get us all in trouble. And so that's you. You scold room. people when they're being annoying. <laughs> I do indeed, uh, quite often. I say what's on my mind. Okay, that's pretty creepy. So <laughs> she's got a hobby. There's no <laughs> Is there anyone in your family who you just question their existence a little like like a distant aunt or like some cousin who lives in switzerland who just like you feel like they don't exist as a regular human <laughs> like i don't believe like like they have a big house just like full of random stuff or they used to like be a part of a traveling circus and then now they sell shoes like you know just like someone with like, a crazy yeah, story crazy that i don't story. quite understand yes I don't, but I feel like my mom lived in a big house full of just rooms of boxes of things. Oh, and okay. I feel like, so she might have been that person a little bit. <laughs> Your mom is the... Yeah. Kind of mysterious, but she's like, had lived such a life. I'll tell you what's in the box. I feel like this is most houses in the Midwest. Like, just, just big bunches old... of random stuff, and then, like, the attic is just full of cobwebs and... Random things. A comb. But An it's a comb? it's my a water bending treasure. comb. Mm-hmm. Or from the, the last thing water I tribe. From growing up in the southern water ah! tribe. Southern water tribe. Water tribe. Just like you. How did you know? <laughs> Your blue eyes. I don't know. Just a <laughs> shot in the dark. <laughs> That's my biggest qualm with all of them, just traipsing around. I'm like, you have massive blue eyes. Yeah, <laughs> there are very specific traits that give you right away. Apology accepted. <laughs> now let's get cooking. I want to do her hairstyle when I get older. That's fun. Nice little top bun. Big fan. I always think that, but I don't think my hair is big enough. Add extensions. Cabbage! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> My cabbages! Anytime I see cabbage. I'd steer clear of the sea breeze. I thought they were ocean kumquats. You did a really good job with that line. Thanks. That, that was my best line. That's actually the one people ask me to write on their Funko Pops all the time. I thought they were ocean kumquats. That's it. That's that's the one. So how did you end up out here? I was stolen from. Stolen. Oh, she's hot. Hello. She's so pretty. Ooh. <laughs> you know, it's sad that this came out, you know, 2005 to 2008, and people are like, wow, this is so applicable to real life. And then people are watching it still today, and they're like, wow, this is applicable to real life. It doesn't stop being applicable. Hmm, maybe we should work on that. Yeah. It's you, waterbending. We did our best to hold them off. But this is one of my favorite visuals of the show is just the Fire Nation boat mm -hmm. and the ice. I feel like stuck. it's one of the, the, the biggest images I remember from, hmm. really? from the show. Well you, well, you know what? When they made the movie, they did that piece very yes. well. Okay, so that, that locked in. Yeah. How did you get away? And why did you stay in the Fire Nation? I'm sorry. It's too painful to talk about anymore. But she's Slight been... cop out. Slight cop out there, but she, that's okay. She's been talking about it the whole time. I know. <laughs> it's like, you you sought us out. You kind of brought it up. I don't know. <laughs> you, you, you did, though. You were the one who brought this up. I never thought I'd meet another. Also, the fact that her nails leader. are sharp. I'd like to teach you what don't, I know. I don't know if I trust that. Everybody else has got. Oh, well, what am I saying about myself? Uh oh. I'm a terrible person. <laughs> Look at how flat my nails are. You can trust me. Can't trust me. Not this season. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna give it a few more minutes. It's all about that deep steep, baby. Deep steep, deep, deep steep. But did you know you can even pour water out of thin air? Because there's moisture. You've got Imagine if they were in Florida. Mind, there'd be there'd be a hurricane. <laughs> There'd just be, everything would be chaotic. Maybe the moon spirit just turned me. The moon spirit <laughs> is a gentle, loving lady. She ruled the sky with compassion. <laughs> and that is how I feel goodness. about the moon. I always feel like he, he likes Yue a little bit better than Suki. Like, he, every time Yue is brought up, he gets, like, really emotional. And I feel like Suki, he's not as, like, 
I don't know. I would feel bad for Suki a little bit because every time Yue is mentioned, he like sobs. <laughs> I think <laughs> I'm like one I, of the people he was like more taken from him. Yes, and, so it's more painful because of that, yeah. I suppose. Yeah. But like he'd probably be with her right now. Yeah. If she was still here. If she wasn't the moon. If she wasn't the moon. Big job. It's a big job. Look, someone's gotta do it. <laughs> All right. Dun 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 dun. Oh, Let's yeah. have some tea. Toasty? Toasty. Ooh, that smells really good. It does smell really good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Is it too hot for you still? I haven't tried because I'm so afraid of burning my poor little sensitive. Let me mouth. see, hold on. It's hot. It's hot. Yeah, just be careful. But it's not like scalding scalding, but it's hot. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's perfect. Yeah, it's good. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay, hold on. What's what's the description say? Okay, channel your ability to blood bend with this deep red herbal remedy. Mm. I don't know if I should be doing that. <laughs> Reminiscent of wine. Oh, interesting. This well, raisin. Because the raisins. This raisin and elderberry blend thickens the longer it steeps in hot water. Team Avatar meets Hama, the last original Southern Water Tribe bender, when she takes them in and serves spiced tea. Hama teaches Katara esoteric knowledge about waterbending in the most unexpected ways. That's a nice way to put it. Katara actively sees how negative revenge has impacted Hama and the surrounding village. This herbal blend is smooth in texture with a sour, rich taste reflecting the misguidance Katara endures. Ooh. Ooh. We're bloodbending today. <laughs> Ooh. The ultimate power. Voila. Oh, no. I did hear people screaming I was right. the mountain. The missing villagers You're must still really be there. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate it. You did a really good job when you recorded this. <laughs> 17 years ago. <laughs> yeah. like, like, when did this come out? When I was a 13-year-old child. I can hear them. They're See, I always way. have questions. I like I remember little, little flickers of like I hit the emphasis of this in that reading, and they're like, hit hit the this, and I was like, I, you want me to hit the this? Like, they're this way, instead of like, they're this way, or something, you know? Like, the cadence of, I don't know. Directing voiceover is fascinating to me. Yeah. I've never felt more alive. Creepy old woman, doing some bloodbending stuff. Under the light of moon. This is the place. I can't see anything down there. <laughs> That's why you have me. Gotta give it to her, she's not a fearful child. They just jump into a hole. She seems like a normal old woman, but she controls people like some dark puppet, puppet master. master. Just like the title of the episode. That's where they got the title. What? I knew there was something creepy about Also, her. why am I using a we key to, to get people out? I'll why am I not just metal out. bending them out? You go. Of their shackles. <laughs> why no am question. I following the rules? I don't know. The guards were always careful to keep any water away from us. They piped in dry air. That just sounds like a terribly dehydrated space. Like everyone's skin must have been terrible. That's why she looks so old. Yeah. I... <laughs> no moisturizer. <laughs> this happened like three years ago. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you have a favorite tea? Is there a fave? Oh of man. All of the teas. I mean, I drink like 10 cups of tea a day. Like I'll make it and then I'll drink it and I'll make it. Yep. Um, I tend to like dessert teas. Okay which I feel like I don't really have a sweet tooth. Yeah. So it's surprising, but like there's a like a pumpkin chai Ooh. spiced rooibos. Or it's not chai, it's a it's a pumpkin rooibos that oh, Trader that Joe's good. have seasonally. And that's and, like and it comes in a tin. And I buy 10 yes. of those every winter. Yes. And I just ran out last week. Oh so no. <laughs> Your pumpkin era is complete for for this season. I'm trying to be basic. I love a good London fog. Like it's which is like lavender earl grey mm. kind of mixture. Yeah. It's my fave. It's my fave. Once you perfect this technique, If you could blood bend, you do you think you would? Anything. No. Would you ever use it? No. No, I couldn't. I ha I couldn't do it. I'm so worried about the way I treat people with my words alone. <laughs> that you're just like, I that if I had that not. power, like I'll go to a party and have a normal conversation yes. and think about it for days, being yeah. like, was I rude to that person? And the next time I see them, I'm like, I'm so sorry. For being rude. If I was rude to you. And they're, and like, they're like, what are you? I didn't. What are you talking, are you talking about? about? Then you should understand yeah. what I'm talking about. We're the last one. You know, she kind of gives me Sailor Moon ver like vibes. If you if you watch like the Sailor Moon villains, the like spirits that turn into like the really, necessary. I don't know, like 
screechy women with like the really sharp extremities and like their faces all stretch and get weird. She's giving me that energy right now. I don't know if you're a Sailor Moon fan or not, but that was like one of the few animes, like little comic books from like a thrift shop yard sale when I was like five. And I just like consumed them like mad. I remember loving the show when I was a kid, but it's not something I've ever picked back up since I, I was an adult. I know. I don't think I have either. Yeah, I don't know. Control every muscle, every vein in your body. Yeah, you know, I'm glad I invited you over today for this casually very serious and violent episode. Oh, yeah, no, I... <laughs> it's, you know, just refreshing. <laughs> yeah, it's really light and just like a fun cartoon aimed to children. Yeah, yeah, nice family-friendly, um, casual weekend viewing. <laughs> yeah. Wow. The thing that is really cool about this episode is you actually start to see how powerful Katara really can be because she's never been challenged like this. And, you know, this just shows how incredible she is as a bender. Yeah. You know, that's unparalleled. She's never had to deal with something like this before. And she's like, no, I'll not be ruled by you, creepy lady. Especially not being able to be around any benders mm -hmm. or water benders for yeah. so long to finally be up against a real challenger where she doesn't have to hold back yeah. and surprise herself in ways I think is they built her character arc so beautifully here. Mm -hmm. no. Oh dear. That's not gonna be good. Outnumbered yourselves. Do you stop bloodbending the avatar? <laughs> Put that down. Just stop. Just cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Where am I? Oh, I'm still releasing the prisoners. Right, okay. <laughs> I feel like they could use some earth bending right now, you know? <laughs> yeah. But I think what's also beautiful about it is not only does she not hold half she she doesn't have to hold back in one aspect, mm -hmm. but she also has to control herself so much because it's her friends. Yes. And that's where like the real I think friends, strength Katara. comes in. Yeah. And don't let them hurt each other. Jesus. Ah! Brutal. No! Oof. And then this is just like moral conflict because she's like, I'm never going to be this. But then she has to be to like save her friend's lives and it's fine. Mm. Yeah. Like what if what if somebody? Yeah, I don't know. Well, that's the thing. If I could bend blood, there would be situations to keep myself safe yeah. that I would be like, Obviously. you are yeah. physically unable to become physically close to me. You're a yeah. blood bender. But she's also emotionally manipulative because mm -hmm. now she's going to treat her like a bad person because she because has this she power. Is. Yes. Even though it was quite literally, like, not her choice, basically. Yeah. Oh, and that's where they leave you. Wow. Well, <laughs> what a fun, <laughs> uplifting episode. Beautiful, bright, happy note to leave off of. <laughs> oh, they're so fluffy. Little, little sheep. Bears, whatever they are. I'll get my Momo sound down one day. And we're here four days ahead of schedule. Wait, four days? The invasion's in four days? Oh gosh. Twinkle Toes is losing it. Sokka can sleep anywhere. Sokka's got the right <laughs> idea, eh? Food, drink, probably, probably your first, but sleep, oh, I don't know. Is sleep or food more important to Sokka? Big question. Very important. <laughs> So begin the nightmares and daydreams. What is this hair? Also, I feel like I'm in like some strange video game, like Mario, Super Mario Bros. Pokemon. It's so strange. What are your guys' nightmares? Like, do you, do you ever, you know, are you places without clothes? Can you not like run? Uh, are, are there are there bugs? Like, what's your what's your nightmare? Are there any recurring ones? Do you guys have like repeat ones? I had this one repeat one of like a T Rex chasing me on a tricycle. I think that was after I watched Jurassic Park for the first time. But I was just like trying to ride as fast as I could, and I could never escape it. And then it like chomped chomped on me, and then I woke up. So that's mine. What's yours? Ooh, may I wash your feet, fresh fruit. Mm, may I wash your feet? Oh, let's see what today's tea flavor is, shall we? Book three, episode nine, Nightmares and Daydreams. Tranquility. Valerian root passion flower blend. Ooh. So yes, I, I donned a little bit of a, 
a frilly yet a little spicy uh, pink shirt for today. Let's see. Valerian root, passion flower, lemon balm, peppermint, fennel, caraway, aniseed, rose hips, rosemary, marigold. Oh my goodness. We have a full, a full steep today. Okay, 212 degrees for five minutes. Yum. Okay, let's see. Ooh, ooh, this is nice. Oh, this is very cushy. This is very much giving Zuko being carried by people vibes right now. Twinkle Toes is giving a little bit of uh, anime energy in this scene. All right, while well, Twinkle Toes is getting smushed by tree branches. I still don't know any firebending. Not even the basics. Yeah, that's ideal. Not ideal that you don't know any firebending. Am I just, just picking my nose in the background? <laughs> I'm just unbothered. I'm like, all right, Twinkle Toes is freaking out. Katara's trying to calm him down. I'm just gonna pick my nose. I also love how everyone else is like sleeping on a bed and I'm just on the grass. Go to sleep already! <laughs> Go to sleep already! We're back with another nightmare slash daydream. Twinkletoes has piercings. He's got like multiple earrings in. Mathematics test. Oh gosh. Math test. Six. Oh, no. Six math ear piercings. Test. Oh my gosh. I know that these nightmares aren't funny, but they are funny. Okay, what's what's going on in today's description? Valerian root is a natural sedative that has historically been used to treat insomnia, anxiety, and digestive issues. With the anticipation of the eclipse coming, Aang struggles for comforting sleep. Due to sleep deprivation and high anxiety, Aang hallucinates and experiences waking nightmares. Maybe he should have had some of this blend. <laughs> Although there's no koala sheep. Koala sheep! Koala sheep. Okay. Even though there's no koala sheep pillow included, this herbal remedy will surely bring you tranquil sleep. Ah, so nice. I love you know, the May the Zuko just like love just bubble that, that we have for a moment. <laughs> Good job. That Good job, guys. Bad. Revel in your lust. Revel in your adoration for each other. You always flirt. You miss the invasion. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> my goodness. Oh my gosh. You know what day it is? What? Oh. In one of my dreams, you were running from Fire Nation soldiers trying to climb this cliff. But you were too slow and they got you. But that was just a dream. I'm a great climber. <laughs> then climb that cliff. Climb it Aang is... <sighs> My gosh. Don't drink that. Oh. <laughs> Why? Why? In my dream, we were right in the middle of the invasion. And you had to stop to use the bathroom. We died because of your tiny bladder. Feeling very called out in this instance. Death because of my tiny bladder. Excuse me. This was typecast. <laughs> <laughs> How do you guys calm down? Like, what what are your anti-anxiety methods? Do you meditate? Do you drink tea? Do you go to the gym? Do you take a ride on Appa? Do you drive? Like, just take a drive? Like, what do you what do you guys do? Journal? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Aang is tweaking out right now. Ready to be de-stressified. I need to go to Bossing Say. He needs a spa day. My gosh. Oh gosh. Want to try screaming into this pillow? <laughs> I love how the koala <laughs> The koala sheep doesn't even flinch, not even phased. Just me. <laughs> well, were you invited? Of course. I'm the princess. And I'm the prince. Exactly. So stop acting like a paranoid child. Stop acting like a paranoid child. I I would love this beautiful hair combing river. That looks so nice. This, on the other hand, maybe not so nice. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I love how I just earth bended over a porcupine. You know what will make you feel better? Ordering some servants around. I might be hungry for a whole tray of fruit tarts. And maybe a little palanquin ride around town. Double time. Uh-oh. 
The normal methods aren't working. He must be feeling things deeper than usual. Dang, always sleep without a bed? Oh my gosh, giant Momo. Ah! Oof, this is a trippy episode, man. Oh dear. I don't have any eyes. What the heck? What the heck is going on? Oh my gosh, Katara's like burning up. It's got ice. Oh my gosh, this is brutal. Ooh, that's nice. Oh my gosh. Okay, same, Appa. This tea is indeed very tranquil and calming, unlike Aang's freaking out. Oh my gosh. I'm going to stay awake straight through to the invasion. That is not a good idea. <laughs> Why am I smiling? What are we doing? What our hearts have been telling us to do for a long, long time. Oh wait, this is a daydream. Baby, you're my forever girl. <gasps> Aang, oh my gosh. I was just saying I forgot about that part. <laughs> Baby, you're my forever girl. I think I'm, if somebody said that to me, that'd be kind of cute. It's a little interesting, but still cute. <laughs> My dad wants me at the meeting? The fire lord said he would not start until you Aww. Were Except not aw. No, boo, but like aw. <laughs> I'll have to try a different approach. <laughs> Oof. Gosh, aim is terrible, under eye bags. Hallucinations. Oh my gosh, this guy's just losing it. You, my friend, are just a few plums short <laughs> of a fruit pie. <laughs> We're all starting to get a little worried about you. You've been awake too long. And you're acting downright weird. <laughs> You've got to oh take my care gosh. of yourself. You can't go on like this. Papa's <laughs> voice. Staying awake is the best way for me to deal with it. Yeah, leave the kid alone. Hey, who asked you? <laughs> hey, who asked you? Ooh. We want to do. <gasps> oh, oh this is the moment. Right. Oh, this is the moment. Let's see him. Let's see him. Let's go in fight mode. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. Samurai Momo and Samurai Appa. Go at it in the forest. This is unfair. Appa has six legs slash arms. Unfair. Unfair odds here. Guys, we're all on the same side. Chakras, chakras. Everybody loves chakras. Chakras, chakras. Chakras, it is good. Yum. <laughs> Yum. Who are you? Who are you rooting for? Are you a Momo side or are you an Appa side? If you have to pick one, I mean, Appa literally saves our life multiple times. So I have a feeling I'm more of an Appa stan. I know, I know. Let this be a lesson to all of you watching. Sleep is a good thing. Go to bed. Otherwise, cuckoo, 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 bananas, says me, who like, for many years, did not sleep properly. Can attest, it's like that. I was the perfect prince. The son my father wanted. But I wasn't me. Tough. Another hallucination. An imaginary bed made out of clouds. Hey, it's real. We spent hours working on it. We made it for you. A good night's sleep will probably oh, take no. you away. All of the naked koala sheep. Quick, hit me. Oh I'm gosh. Going to hit you. you want me to do it? You want me to do it? I'll punch you. You're ready. You're the man, Twinkle Toes. Thanks, guys. Hmm. And also, we want you to sleep through the night so that we can sleep through the night. I think I am ready. There you go. There you go, bud. Time to cuddle in without him. Really? You're gonna take me out? You're not even wearing pants. No, Fire Lord Ozai. You're not wearing pants. Yeah! You're not wearing pants. Switch it! Flip it! <laughs> My royal butt is showing! Beautiful deep sleep. Aww. Yeah. The end! <laughs> oh, what a good episode. 
Ah, so nice. What a wonderful, meditative, friendshipy episode before the first invasion. Uh, I will say those koala sheep do look very comfy. I, I'm a little torn on, you know, shearing them to make like a really comfy bed, but oh my gosh, that looked so fluffy. It's so fluffy, I'm gonna die! This was a very educational episode on what happens if you try to stay awake for too long and that sleep is a good thing, a necessary thing, especially before a massive invasion. Today, we have a special guest. Please introduce yourself. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Nicholas Connor, the original voice actor for Zuko. <laughs> uh, absolute pleasure to be here. Uh, no, I'm uh, NC Hammer 23 on all platforms. I talk about anime. Uh, I'm the Weeb Commander. I also do a lot of uh, I do a lot of Avatar content, or at least I did. Uh, kind of holding off on it right now until it's back in the mainstream, back mm -hmm. in uh, when it's topical. Mm, serenity. Yeah, there's nothing <laughs> sweeter than you know those. Fire Nation beaches. So calm, so lovely. Mm -hmm. I can never get over Aang with hair. Like a baby moose lion. I'm ready to face the fire lord. So what's your strategy? God, I cannot believe that's you. I've heard you do the state action. I've heard you do the voice. It's just so funny. It's so far from I know. you now. Like 13 year old me is not the same. Yeah, I know. You've changed. Weird. Crazy. Blah blah spiritual mumbo jumbo blah blah something about <laughs> I can't believe you just weren't the bully to the rest of the cast. <laughs> well, yeah, because everyone else was an adult. Yeah, fair. That is the invasion. Oh. He low key underrated daddy energy. I'm gonna, I'll say it. Oh yeah. You know, buff Absolutely. Iroh. Absolutely. So cuz dad. You made it, dad. Were you able to locate everyone I told you to find? Do you think it was Avatar that popularized the man bun in like the late 2010s? Yeah. <laughs> You know, maybe because mm -hmm. this was a, this was two thousand five to two thousand eight. Yep. So that was like the dawn of like true hipster culture, like Tumblr, Instagram, early beginnings. Yeah. 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 What kind of bender are you? I think I, I like I relate most to Earthbenders because I feel as though they're the least in touch with the spiritual okay. side of it. But that's why mm -hmm. there's that's why their population is so big. Interesting. But also, it's just practical. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry if yeah. you're an Airbender. You're what, getting what folded you by a rock. <laughs> oh my gosh. You helped us find our courage, Katara. Now we're here to help you. Yeah. They're all back in their regular clothes over here. Hippo happy. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so, with people like this, you know, people who aren't in the show as often, uh -huh. is there people, is it like a, one person does multiple voices? Or is depends. it just somebody comes in? It just depends. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's one person doing three different characters. Sometimes it's it's like Tara Strong coming in and voicing Ember Island players, mm -hmm. Azula, and just, you know, being a everybody. One -off. Oh, I forgot about these guys. Yeah, see, it's like a reunion. It truly is. Big this is a reunion. This was the Avengers Assemble before <laughs> the Avengers Assemble. Yes, 100%. And then Cabbage Guy shows up on like the sixth biggest boat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just full of cabbage. Yeah. Okay, so you're an earthbender, but which character do you relate most to, would you say? <sighs> who are you in real life, Nick? Uh, who am I? You know, it's it's, it's stupid, because I probably relate to so Soka the most. Soka? Yeah. Sokka? Sokka, sorry. Yes, Sokka the He's most. He's gonna get smacked uh, you by know, all of you. Do it. I, I won't be the first. I don't read my comments. <laughs> um, and so probably I relate to him the most, but like, if he was an earthbender, that'd be my, that's my self-insert OC. Okay. Earth, earth bending Sokka. That's that's Nick. Mostly because he gets to hook up with Suki and fingers. And Dorothy is Suki. <laughs> yeah, and Dorothy is Suki. No, people say she's um. Ty Lee. There you go. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's very gentle though. Dorothy. Yeah, you. Yeah. You'll, 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 it's because I've course, only met yeah. her like three times. Yeah, yeah. Though. Give her a minute. I don't have her edge mm -hmm. side yet. <laughs> yeah, give her a minute. In here, you that's have so been funny. very kind to me. If oh. I was the captor of the dragon of the West, of the West, yeah. I would also be kind because I was like, "There's a chance you're not going to end up in here." Yep. Yeah. These, all these other guys who are just being assholes. I'm like, "Ah, uh, guys, yeah. don't do that." You know, I'm taking a shot of fire to the mouth when he gets out. <laughs> so, as you know, today we're invading the Fire Nation. I mean, I know you know that because otherwise, why else would you be here? <laughs> uh, <anyway. laughs> He's doing really well. Yeah. You're doing great, sweetie. Uh, nope, uh, wait, uh, wait, uh, wait, it's here. When he's the guy planning the invasion, like, I understand that his character development is very underrated. Yes. But 
Like, but... I, that's a loss. Like, get his dad up there. I'm sorry. Let me start at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Katara and I discovered Aang frozen in ice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think they should have done the whole thing. Like, I think the rest of the episode should have just been the rundown of the show. Yeah. Well, they do that in Ember Island Players. So, like, uh, you know, right. that's, they're, they're saving it for that. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Yeah. Why don't you take a break? He should have been the lead. Let me just clarify. He was, you know, you have to give your kids a chance time. sometimes to... You let them grow, and this just wasn't it. It's also like a bad opening act makes you as the main act look better. Yeah, yep, that's true. We must fight past their battlements and secure the plaza tower. Once we do that, it's up to... I'm very invested in this. It's a looking tower. I was, like, seriously paying attention as if I'm going on this excursion. I'm like, okay, so we have to do this. Yeah. Like, you gotta know. I mean, you did. You did go on the excursion a little bit. I did, I did. This is true. The eclipse only lasts eight minutes. Not enough time for the invasion. Eight minutes to take over a whole nation. Okay, let's see. Let's see. It's more than enough time. We're <laughs> Earthbending Sokka. The confidence is real, guys. Absolutely. Okay, book three, episode 10, Day of Black Sun Invasion. Tea title is By Earth and Sea, a green tea blend. Oh my gosh. Okay, this flavor list is... Okay, listen closely. Roasted green tea, rooibos, fennel, melissa leaves, coconut, sea buckthorn berries, candied aloe vera, chamomile, turmeric, sweet blackberry leaves, peppermint, cornflower petals, and chlorella algae, 1%. I knew some of those words. Yeah, I didn't know half of them. Mm. <laughs> 180 degrees, uh, three minutes deep. Okay, all right, wow, this is, this is gonna be a complex flavor for today's tea. This is a little, we're gonna get a soft version because there's only a little bit in here, so. Oh, that was very, gonna... that was very makeup, very makeup yes, content you. Um, creator of you. Yes, this is what I use for my eyeshadow. Um, Today we're uh, doing Kendall Jenner's yeah. new lip balm. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, are you a tea person? I drink tea every morning. Okay, amazing. Yeah. What do you think of how this smells? You know, I'm really getting hints of a... Uh... Sea buckthorn berry. Uh, definitely there's tea in there. Yeah, no, there's, I if I had to say, gun to my head. It's there's it's tea. Mm -hmm. There's definitely tea in there. Yep, definitely. No, but on a, on a serious note, it does kind of smell like Rubio's, and Rubio's is one of yeah. my favorite things. There you go. Listen, some people just aren't public speakers, and I don't think Sokka's one of them. Yeah, no. just be the background character, you know. Just just build the build the plot. Have the CEO type get up there and do the talking, and that's a good job. That's a good job. This All is right. adorable, by the way. Water has been added. Thank you. I got this from Tivana before you know, they ended. <laughs> Tivana ended? Yeah, they're they're bankrupt. They closed a long time ago. Oh my god. I know. I know. You learn something every day. I feel like the swamp benders are historically underrated. They like, are. They speak to the fact that water benders would be terrifyingly powerful because they can bend the water in things. Yes. And that's what blood bending is, but like they make it seem yes. safer. Yes, 100 percent This is like flaming metal. Well, here's here's my thing with this, right? Bent. Like, that's awesome. That's yeah. so cool. But, like, it is literally above a source of water. Yeah, so it seems a little... <laughs> One wave, you I, know? Yeah, I don't know. God, if I had a country, that's well, the first thing I would build, though. Because this is... I'm assuming these are, like, chains. Mm, probably right? like in oil or something. Yeah, 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 or something. I don't know. Let's hope your invention works. <laughs> I love how Sock is like, I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hope that you're competent, son. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we don't die. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, hope might be all we have right about now. Aha! Decoys! Of course. Nyep, 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 nyep. The Fire Nation having jet skis and still losing will never not be crazy to me. Hold on, was that a sky bison on the ground? I w it would have been a small one if it was. Listen, Appa's not here. You don't that's, have to worry. Yeah. Well, well, okay, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Very fair. But that being said, submarines, well, Appa is yes. there. With a big bubble over his head. Mm hmm. Yeah. See, hold on a second. They've got flaming, like, nets, but then they don't have anything underwater? Oh, you yeah, no flames underwater. There's regular nets. Helmet? Oh. <laughs> How is acting out throw up? Is that... Do you put water in your mouth, or...? No, it's it's truly just a... <laughs> and then they add the sound effects after. Oh. Yeah, of, like, the, you know, puke hitting the helmet. Oh, lovely. Yeah, so it's really just, like... <laughs> yeah, it's just somebody else's job. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And this time... You an extra bowl of rice. Ooh. What a extra bowl of rice. We can't blame her, can we? No, I mean. I think you should take the rest of the day off. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look well. Maybe you should go home. See, these are the kind of warnings you want. Oh, yeah. Fine. As he melts the steel bar, <laughs> he's like, Literally. you don't want to be here. 
She's like, oh, okay. Do you leave in that scenario? You know, Dragon yeah. of the West is like, don't He's be like, here. don't be here. I yeah. feel like I take that advice. I see I myself get out. Get the heck out of Dodge. Okay, let's see, let's see what this tea description says. Okay, warriors of the Water Tribe, along with allies from the Earth Kingdom, make their stand against the Fire Nation. After months of planning, they manage to break past the Fire Nation's preliminary defense system due to their unique seafaring vessels. This blend mixes Foggy Swamp, Southern Water Tribe, and Earth Kingdom flavors, resulting in a roasted, earthy taste. A great battle ensues among the Warring Nations, however, something is amiss. Hmm. There you go. That's today's description. I love Appa's armor. He looks so good. He does look good. He looks so crispy. I feel as though it would make him a little more difficult to, like, scramble up, but... A little tricky. Yeah. A little tricky. You're not that little goofy kid I found in the iceberg anymore. No, he is not. I guess what I'm trying to say is... Future. He's now a little goofy teenager. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's the future father of your children is what he is. Nice! Yeah, go for it! Oh, that, that meant so much to me. So much to me as a child. Yeah. They, you know, the fact that Avatar... Boss move. Of course. Boss move right there. Mm -hmm. Make out, fly off. We love Get a man work. who knows how long he needs to be around in exactly that. Yes. See yourself out when you've outstayed your welcome. Yeah. Oh, she does the bubble. Yeah. She's oh. waterbending the bubble around. That feels more like yeah, the yeah, yeah. airbender thing, well, doesn't I, it? either one of them could probably do it. Because, like, Aang could just, like, swirl the air. Yeah. And then she creates like a, 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 a pocket water pocket. of air. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Another reason, airbending, useless. <laughs> Just the, the one thing you had, air. Oh my gosh. That was awesome. <laughs> it did come in handy. I oh need to install God. one of those in my car ASAP. <laughs> I, is it, you know why I'm pulling you over today? Is I'm just covered in Cheerios. <laughs> Sorry. Still trying to figure out this whole snack contraption. This is going to be a rough ride. Woo! Ouch, foot burn. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, they're probably roughed up enough by Yeah, no, they're away. definitely calloused, you yeah. know? Got inch, inch thick skin on those bad boys. I love that they're prepared for a submarine invasion. Of like, course. we didn't just create these. I know. Like, <laughs> right? <laughs> this is a new invention. Ooh. So ice. Ooh. Mm hmm. Uh oh. Wow, that's a good winch. Uh oh. Slice it, slice it, slice. Yeah. Nice. What's an airbender gonna do there? Air slice it. Air, air slice it, yeah, with the sharpness of oxygen. Ice torpedoes? Which car? I feel like a regular torpedo would have done the job just fine. Nope, they needed ice. They needed, I needed ice, I guess. Well, it's a good thing those are they fit literally so perfectly. submarine shaped. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's huge. It's amazing design. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna let it steep for a little bit longer so that it that the flavor really gets in there. Mm -hmm. So we truly understand what's missing. What what is amiss? Mm -hmm. These are so cool though. I just love the little caterpillar tanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. All and they can cool. crawl up walls mm -hmm. too. Like it was so clever with the with the earth bending. Mm -hmm. You know, does screaming really help? Absolutely. In battle. A thousand percent. Okay. Yeah. It's like they say, screaming helps you with the pain of, yeah. like, if you're ever injured, screaming helps you with pain. Yeah. Because part of me is like, what if everyone was just silent? It'd be uncanny almost. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be terrible. That'd be honestly scarier. It would just be the sounds just, of explosion. Just a couple of dudes just jogging. Yep. Donk, donk, donk. I love the response to, like, missiles is, like, guys with spears and a couple of earthbenders, Fred Flintstoning tanks. Mm, these guys. Hate these guys. Oh, yeah, I mean that's you know that's the purpose. Yeah. yeah. If you're like, oh, go Fire Nation, that'd be that, that would that'd be that a conflicting would, yeah. opinion. Here we go. All right. Nice. nice. Crunch it down, little caterpillar. <laughs> that's you know that's one way to get around there only being one metal bender. Is just bend it yep. through sheer might. Yes. I also feel like after air. Fire, while being destructive, is also like the least useful. You're just throwing, you're just burning stuff. Like you're I, not creating anything. You're no. not like healing anything. You're just burning crap. It would be good for, yeah, like war, you know, yeah. but it's like, hey man, uh, can you warm up my tea? Like, yeah, yeah. yes, you know, <laughs> sure. Like, there you go. Yeah. yeah. Meanwhile, you got Earthbender over there making himself a new house in 35 seconds. What is the, what's the, uh, what's the mix here of animals? Cause all the animals in Avatar are mixes. I think they're just fire rhinos. There's just are a rhino not? and the animal of fire. Okay, let's see. Please and thank you. 
Okay, I don't know. Let's let's give that a sniff. Look for the tannins. Mmm, a bold flavor. I believe this is a 84. <laughs> it was a good year for tea. It might be very hot. It's not very hot. Is it And it's strong? also delicious. Okay, good. All right. All right. It's earthy with a slight aftertaste of fruit. This is good. This is good. I can taste Sokka's lack of planning in here. <laughs> Actually, it's very good. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Tea Cozy is good at their good at their job, man. It's, they they really designed some good teas. It's a well curated tea. Oh yeah, it smells good. It's very complex. This is a this is a very complex flavor episode for mm. sure. For sure. That's good. I'm a complex guy, so I wouldn't want something simple, yeah. you know. Earth bending like, Sokka. That's yeah, a very that's complex combination. Myself and Sir OC. He's a you know, he's sensitive, but he's also, you know, stern with the bad guys. Mm -hmm. You know. It's like Vin Diesel with rocks. Watch out. Like that's Yikes. Yikes. See you later, Dad. Yep. How do you tank that to the face? Oof. It's well made armor is what it is. Ow. Dad? Oof. Dad. Yeah, I feel like being in battle with like your one remaining parent is mm -hmm. extremely stressful. Oh, that would not be fun at all. Like I remember how this went the first time. But today I'm gonna set things right. Oh, Zuko mom moment. We never mm -mm. We never see his mom, do we? Well, at the very beginning, we get, like, flashback moments. Yeah, but that's it. And then in the comics, mm -hmm. there is more explanation. Ooh! It's good, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think of this. What you're tasting? I definitely taste the, the chamomile. 1% of chlorella cor cl algae. I used to be a scientist. <laughs> I, I was a biochemist. I don't know which one of these it is that I'm tasting. There's definitely black, like I taste the blackberry for sure. Mm -hmm. It's good though. It does feel a little watery uh, in, in the fact that, you know, there's earth bending and swamp bending, yes, but there's also a lot of water bending happening. And there's a little hint of that in here, for sure. I'm definitely getting- Well, so you're a strong bending. tea girl. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, poor Abba, he's in this like heavy ass armor. I mean, granted, we need, he to, can pro fly, we need yeah. to protect him, but yeah. like, man, that, that's that got to be heavy. Oh, could you imagine how brutal that'd be? They're uh -uh. like, they got Abba. That'd be a wild end to this fight. That would suck. It's like, yeah, you, you already lost him once. fire to the face, yeah, you know? Yeah, I know, he's got to be protected. Listen up, everyone. I want the tanks in wedge formation. Warriors Avengers in the middle. I'm so tiny. <laughs> mm hmm And she's so little. Well, she's next to the huge dude Literally that she loves. massive. There we go. Go for it. See, Space you got, sword. You gotta yell. That's my that's my battle cry. That's sure to strike fear into the hearts of anybody Many. you come across. Yeah, I forget what Aang's purpose is here. Is he warning people? I just forget that's what Aang's purpose is. Period. <laughs> no, the he's. Avatar. I think he's trying to get to Fire Lord Ozai, right? The Avatar is back. Oh yeah, so they knew. Yeah, they knew it was coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wasn't prepared here. Hmm. That wouldn't have gone well for yeah. him. Yeah, no, entering himself alone, yeah. not not gonna, no. That being said, he does take on Ozai during the comet, so. Yeah. I guess, actually, he might have he might have pulled it off there. Yeah. Oh, wonder where they learned that strategy. The drill, I'm just gonna Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. For like this being a decoy, they still left a lot of firebenders yeah. behind. <laughs> yeah. Well, because they still want to try to take them down. Yeah. They just are protecting all the important people. We're on our way to victory. We're on our way to victory. Mm, that's been a little too easy. Uh huh. Building your entire city on top of a volcano is both incredibly cool and wildly dangerous. Yes, very questionable and putting a lot of trust into that volcano. Yeah. He just like steps out of the bathroom. He's like, sorry, just washing my hands. Oh, that's it? That's it. Oh my God. Wow, time flies when you're having fun. That happened so quickly. Mm-hmm. Why do they get faster? Ugh. It's just, you know, it's the company that she keeps. Oh my gosh. You know, I... when she was watching alone, she was like, what do I do with all this time? And now all this incredible people coming onto the show and she flies by. Mm -hmm. yeah. That and we watched it in two times speed. That's true, yeah. yes. Yeah, it was in fast forward. Today, we have a very special guest. Please introduce yourself. Who are you? Hello, everyone. Thank you for having me. My name is Chris Barnett, or at the Chris Barnett, and I've 
blessed or cursed your feeds in many ways, I'm sure. Okay, does any of this look familiar? Yes. Okay. Definitely, there was a battle ensuing, which is still ensuing, obviously. Yes. This is ringing all the bells. Okay. Hmm. Hey, look, it's me. <laughs> Tiny little me, bopping around. Oh yes, they found their father. Mm -hmm. Look at you bopping everywhere. With my hat. That's a cool hat. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, do you, have a, do you have one of those? I don't, I only have a headband. Mm. I know. One of you should, should get her one. <laughs> Or make her one. Do Just it. Just wear it at every single every convention. Every single convention. Have to wear it every hat. day. Every day. It's a day hat. The entire palace city is abandoned. Uh -oh. They knew. It's over. They knew they were they coming. They knew. They're one step ahead. Mm-hmm. It's tough. The crafty fire nation. No. Casual meteors. I know. Behind. Casual things just exploding. They're in the background. so it's fine. relaxed. These professionals. Underground secret bunker we're looking oh my for. Goodness, that's I'm crazy. just the girl to find. I'm just the girl to find it. <laughs> that's crazy. It is kind of a trip watching it with you now. I know. <laughs> I'm just like awkwardly in the background of all of these shots. <laughs> just like hello. Yeah, this isn't the top I'm arc. Here. This is just here's there. <laughs> if there's still a chance. Well, you definitely have a moment in this episode. I have a moment in every episode. Oh, of course. Because I'm the greatest earthbender in the world. Don't you two dunderheads ever forget it. All right, what is today's tea flavor? Let us oh. see, let us see. Okay, book three, episode 11. A black sun blend. Mm. Chicory caramel black tea blend. Contains dairy. Dense and made of metal deep in the heart of the You are a metal detector. Fantastic. Like <laughs> <laughs> you are doing so great. Toph Beifong, metal detector. <laughs> One of the many hyphenates and hats you wear. Oh my gosh, okay. So, flavor profile is black tea, caramel pieces, okay, and then chicory root. I think that's it, yeah. So we just have black tea, caramel, and chicory. I don't know what chicory tastes like. 212 degrees, steep, for five minutes. All right, all right. I do have an avatar question. Okay. So, as an earthbender, uh -huh. theoretically you should be able to bend magma, correct? Theoretically, okay, but so- But why does it fall into the fire domain? For those of you who keep watching, you know, and reading, I guess reading, not watching, the comics, lava bending does exist. And I think it does technically is it fire or is it earth? It's, it's earth. kind of a combination. Yeah, I think she finds like earth benders who have found lava bending as like a sub bending That's style. A, a really cool so, intersection. Yeah. In uh, Toph Beifong's Metal Bending Academy, she discovers underground lava bending. And. <laughs> the, the kiss. I forgot. I almost forgot she was like freakishly strong. I am so glad we added you to the group. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like that guy's probably really fun. Jack, yeah. yeah, he's a hoot. <laughs> I am so glad we added you to go. I mean, yeah, the metal bending discovery was really key in in just surviving the mm -hmm. rest of the series. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's been a game changer for Huge sure. Huge plot device. Yeah. Okay, so this sniff. Ooh, I definitely smell the caramel. Sniff. Yep. I like it. It's a black caramel tea. Are you a big tea drinker, Chris? I do like a good tea. Okay. Um. Typically in black tea, there's caffeine, mm -hmm. and um, and you need that. Yeah, <laughs> I do. I have I have ADHD, and it doesn't even like hype me up. It just like makes you functional. It actually calms me. Down. Okay, okay, it's done the reverse. We've come full circle. Yes. The pylos chamber is that way. Down the hall to the left of the stairs. You can't miss. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> she just keeps scowling. Just immediate. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing Great happened work. here. Great character work. Do they usually cast like they cast like completely separate voice actors for these like one-off characters? Or it depends. Is there... It depends. I always wondered that. Sometimes, sometimes you'll do like you know four or five different voices, but mm. sometimes they they want separate. A lot of this show is just one-off, one character. It doesn't matter. Always I've had a crush on Azula. Why? Because she's. <laughs> I have problems, okay? <laughs> I have problems. I don't need your judgment, all right? I was expecting something a little different because there are redeeming qualities. Like, she's very confident. She is. She's very powerful. Don't get me wrong. But but crazy took the top of the list of reasons. I mean, <laughs> I'm being honest here. Me and my therapist, you know Doris, if you're watching this, um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll call you next week. <laughs> this is good. We're, we're honest here on Tea Time with Toph. We are. It's a safe space. It's a safe space. I feel safe. All right, water has been added. 
We will let that sit for five minutes while we enjoy this beautiful battle. Are you excited for the live action? Yeah. Well, I also think the new cast is just really cool. It's cool to just see new world building and new stories, even yeah. though it's the same story, but it's, it's, it's an adaptation, you know? True. It's different, 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 but same. <laughs> live action always scares me because I'm worried they're going to ruin it. Well, we always have the original. This is true. Nothing can mess with this. This is this is magic right here. Breath will be your last. So good. And that's just casually Mark Hamill. Think again. But that's Mark Hamill. Yeah. Isn't that wild? I did not know that. Yup. Where's the fire lord? Hmm. You mean I'm not hmm. for you? You're hurting Wait, who did her place? Grey Delisle, the one and only. Wait, why does that sound familiar? Because she's been in everything. Uh -huh. Yeah. Stick to the truth. I'll be able to tell if you're I'll lying. I'll be able to tell if you're lying. Sure? It's me. All purple platypus bear with pink horns and silver <laughs> wings. Okay, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> I love the banter. I feel like you guys always have banter moments. It is very good banter. Good character banter. Oh. Did you just learn how to air airbend? What's what's happening? When I left Bossing yeah, she just... I brought home some... I didn't see fire. Which is that? Oh, one? the diamond. Oh. That's what happened. What kind of bender are you, Chris? Who are you? Or are you a non-bender? Are you boomerang? Who, who are you? What are you? So, if I had to choose one, I think air would be fun. Okay. But, actually, I think air would, I'd have the most fun with air, okay. but fire would also be very fun. Yeah. On the water, maybe, because then you could do blood. You want to do blood? I mean, it would make you very valuable and I scary. I mean, I guess, but. I think if I'm just thinking in terms of fun, yeah. um, air bending. Okay. Or fire. That's tough. <laughs> give me, well, give me like the end until the end of the episode. Okay. I'll, I'll, All right. I can answer it. it more. I also love that they have the little eclipse glasses on. Those are so stylish. Very cool. How come ours don't look like that? We should make them. How come our world doesn't look like this world? I listen. It does in some parts of the world. We just have to go there. Valid. I do love, love this ghost story arc. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, Zuko's character development is pretty hard to beat. Yeah. Camel. Really? What's he like? I, I was apparently in the studio with him for one or two of the sessions and like everyone was freaking out, but I had no idea what was going on because I was, you know, Working. a child. Oh, you're and, oh, right. You were just a yeah, baby. I was 12 and 13, so I was like, what? <laughs> what? Who is this man? I also didn't really watch Star Wars until later. Mm. I know. That's okay. I know. I have now, though. I have now. Your uncle has gotten to you, hasn't he? Yes. <laughs> he says so aggressively. <laughs> yes. And then... I'm gentle now. I'll never get over this combat between all the elements mm -hmm. and the animation is so good. So good. God. Nice. Good job. Thanks. I'm trying real hard. She does the score too. Mm. Little known fact. That's exactly, I wrote the music. That's yes. that's how the music goes originally. Mm -hmm. See? I can hear it. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's good. Oof, so close. She is a badass. She is. I must admit, I'm really shocked, pleasantly so, that the animation and the action sequences stand up yeah. to time so well. Yeah. They yes. really were ahead of their time. Well, it's. I mean, I don't know if it's ahead of their time. It's just they actually based this off of real life martial arts. And yeah, you can and tell. And that's still, you know, what people are practicing. So yeah. The blend of comedy too is just Perfect. so good. It's The balancing act is actually so impressive. Okay, let's see here. Has it s steeped, stepped? Has it, it's, it's stepped, has yes. Has it steepled? Not true. I'm giving it my all. You're trying to keep us here and waste all our mm -hmm. time. Exactly. Um, right, I think your friend just said that, genius. <laughs> and since you can't see, I should tell you, I'm rolling my eyes. <laughs> wow, what a ruthless blonde head. joke. I'll roll your whole head. <laughs> Ignore <laughs> See, that's what you need to do name, right? when they're crazy. Right, right. When they're crazy, you get it. Walk away walk and away. ignore them. Where is Seamless teamwork. Suki? Oof. Ooh, that was also like a little attractive, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, like the, the Cabadon kind of Yeah, kind of yeah, when he was like, where's Suki? Where like is that, Suki? that guttural. I think it hits harder because he's normally so lighthearted. I know. Yeah, he, we don't see that side of Sokka too often. Sokka's like reminding you he can do both. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna... uh. Oh, is it, is it time? Mm -hmm. Let me see, let me see. Okay. A bittersweet blend. Expectations are lost and Team Avatar is met with defeat while Zuka makes a stand for himself against his father. This tea brews as dark as the Eclipse with a flavor of burnt caramel. 
While Team Avatar is able to escape with some of their friends thanks to the help of Appa, many of the adults of the invasion force are left behind to be captured by the Fire Kingdom. Oh dear. Not good. Not the lightest not of good. tea. No. <laughs> well. Not the lightest episode. No, no. Ooh, be careful. It's quite hot. All right. We're in full eclipse mode. It's happening. That's not half bad. Good? It's not bad. I like it. A little it's nugget, a black tea. nugget of redemption. That is indeed a black tea. Your penalty will be far oh dear. steeper. Things are escalating. Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Parallels to Star Wars, actually. Yeah, yeah. Yep, that... There Emperor, is a lot Emperor of... Emperor Palpatine mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Funny and ironic, given that it's Mark Hamill. Yeah, but... yeah, <laughs> it is. He has switched. He has become the father. I am my own father. Oh, sounds like the firebending's back on. Oh, Oof. right, she's got the blue fire. Mm -hmm. right, 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 right. Oof. Yeah, the, uh, lightning. Mm. I fell for it. I used yes, time. you did. <laughs> indeed. You indeed, <laughs> you indeed uh, screwed up. <laughs> You done goofed, my friend. Fire Lord knew we were coming this time. We thought we had surprise on our side, but we didn't. It just wasn't our day. What we need to do now is go help our Not friends. wrong. The voice of reason. Once, one, like there's only two times where I'm reasonable, and this is one of them. <laughs> the rare moment. I mean, normally I'm just making blind jokes and yeah, hmm. <laughs> being tough, but. Look at you, character development. That's huge. Oh no. Not the blink. Not the fire balloons. And they stole the invention from the inventor. Well, we already knew that was going to happen, but yeah. big fire line. The show was deeper than I remember. Yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty intense. My goodness. They're back. Oh, hello. A lot of fire nation. Hi, bud. Good job keeping people safe. Who voiced Arpa? D. Bradley Baker. Really? Yes, it's a human. That's amazing. One human voices all of the characters in the show. His name is D. Bradley Baker, and he does all the noises. All the animals? Mm -hmm. Amazing. All of the, like, yeah. If you had to do Appa. An Appa? What, or, oh, or any animal. I've tried, and my Appa's not great. But Momo is very, Momo, I guess, is like the Perry platypus of this situation yeah, a little bit. Yeah, okay. So it's kind of like a, you know. Not bad. Like whenever you're jumping from something. Yes. There's a little bit of that, but that's a little bird. Very bird. much squawky. Yeah. Oh gosh, this is so brutal. I'm gonna have to rewatch this again. Look what you've done. I'm influencing you. Look what you've done. Uh, I've never seen anything like it. He was like a one-man army. Hmm. I like how they're all just slumped over. <laughs> yeah. They got like wrecked. They just got absolutely <laughs> rolled over. Oh, oh god. Yeah, not great, not great. Oh. The fact that I'm just oh, like. Dear. Oh, oh, structurally sound. Yeah, I'm, I'm keeping Support it up, Support beams. How are we all going to escape? We're not. Hasn't he been injured for a long time? He got sliced in the right. last episode. Yeah. So. Oof. Oh, goodness. Not great, not great. Ooh, oh, did he just moment. die? The little seaweed monster? Okay, no, good. No. Oof, there they go. Oof. Yeah. There are, goes all that. <laughs> mm. Thank God for Appa. Appa's my favorite character because, like, Bye. we'd be dead. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> It'd be over. The failsafe. You you save us. He's always, like, the contingency plan. We'll be back for you, Dad. If we don't escape on our own first. Who is he? This is He does us. a lot of voices. I, I forget his name. Oh, the actor's name? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. But clearly that got... I don't know. I know that voice. He's done... Okay. Many voices. Okay. I need to figure that out now. We'll look it up. We'll look it up after. I might know him. Maybe I met him on like... See? I don't know how to do the rolling. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Not bad. Thank you all for being so brave and so strong. I'm gonna make this up to you. But goodbye. <laughs> but we're leaving. But we're leaving. <laughs> I'm gonna make this up to you. Good luck. We're being, escaping. Good luck being prisoners they, of war. They could have definitely taken a few more people. It's with like them. a Titanic situation. Like, the door was big enough for us. I know this was such a, a somber episode. I know. I know. I've been slightly apologetic to a lot of my book three guests because they're all very intense now because we're we're nearing the end. So they're all very. I think she chose it on purpose. <clears throat> Serious. Hey, hey, Zuko's on his way. Redemption. To turn it around. Redemption. That's, that's it? it? That's it. Are you sure that was the whole thing? We could always watch more. All right. We are all finished. 
Done. Done with part one and part two of Dave Black Sun. What are your thoughts? It's been a while since you've watched this. Any any final feelings? You yes. Know, all tea, of, reflections about the tea? All of the feelings. <laughs> so I am very much pleasantly surprised that it stood up to the test of time. Yeah. The animation, the it does. Uh, the writing. It does do that. The voice acting. Um, everything was really, really good. Yeah. I was kind of worried that it wouldn't be. Oh, really? <laughs> no, like, because when I was a kid, it was amazing. But right. there's a lot of things from your childhood That's that don't age well. True. So I'm very pleasantly surprised that it has aged very well. No, we open on Appa just grunting because he's just lugging around this massive armor. Man, I'd be tired too, guys. But Appa gets tired carrying all these. Yeah, especially with all that armor on. Poor bud. I wonder how the rest of the troops are. They're probably on the way to a prison. Yeah. Seems like my dad just got probably out. not. Now probably not bad. doing great over there on the other side of things. Oh. Hey, we're here. I can feel it. Found it. No, she's right. Momo. <laughs> Momo is a mood slumped. Wow, it's amazing. Wow. It is really cool. The Western Air Temple is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Sneaky, sneaky Zuko. Sneaky, sneak, sneak. Coming to join the Avatar. Yeah. Let's see what today's tea entails. Zuko and Aang. Cinnamon guava chili herbal blend. Ooh. Okay. Cinnamon, rooibos, pink peppercorn, orange, and guava. Okay. Preparation 212 degrees, five minutes deep. So a mix of some spice and some sweets, fruit-ish stuff. You should take some time to heal and rest. What else would I expect to hear from the laziest man in the fire nation? Okay, Zuko, relax. He's made it so far. Okay. It's to find the Avatar. So I will. Uncle Hyra's like, okay, headstrong nephew. Yeah, <laughs> even Zuko knows. He's like, that wasn't my best moment. Okay, let's see. Ooh, oh my gosh. Sorry, I just got like really... I think it must be the guava or the orange. Both. Mmm, the guava and the orange in here. I think I smell the peppercorns too. Wow, this is so flavor. Okay, I need to have this immediately. Immediately! Let's get this in here, make sure we're covering all of that amazing fruit. Oh yeah, it's gonna be good. Where am I supposed to get a firebending teacher? Huh, where are you supposed to get a firebending job? teacher? Yeah, Perhaps right. right around the corner. Hee <laughs> hee. There's gotta be someone who can teach him firebending. I wonder who. Hello, Zuko. Here. <laughs> uh, but I guess you probably already know me. So Hello, Zuko here. But but anyway, I'm good now. I mean, I thought I was good before, but now I realize. <laughs> this is. Uh, anyway, this is so great. I think it's time. It's so awkward. And top the Avatar fire. Nice. Solid delivery to a goat well, frog. What's your answer? <laughs> What? A, yeah, a possum frog? What is that? All right, let's see. Let's see what today's description is. Fruit from the air nomads. Woo! And spice from the Fire Nation. This spiced fruity herbal blend will excite your senses. Zuko attempts to redeem himself to Team Avatar. Ultimately, Aang recognizes the sincerity Zuko offers and accepts him as his firebending teacher. From this point forward, Zuko establishes a lifelong friendship with Avatar Aang. While their past was difficult and full of heated challenges, their blossoming friendship slowly opens up to be sweet and fruitful. Mm, I'm so excited. <laughs> D. Bradley Baker's really good at his job. Aang just wants to be an airbender. Aang just cares about making fun circles in the sky, flying around. Traveling. I think that'll have to wait. Oh. Oh. Oh! It's a Zuko! Hello! Hello. Zuko here. <laughs> I like how that stayed from his practice speech. Hello, Zuko here. I just thought I'd wait for you <laughs> here. <laughs> Good job, bud. Good job. I know you must be surprised to see me here. Not really, since you followed us all over the world. I like how I'm just staring off into the distance. I, I think it's because I have my ear turned towards him, but I'm not looking any. I'm just looking off to the side, probably so I can hear him. Well, I think I should join your group. Oh, and I can teach firebending. 
good to you. Katara's like, uh. See, I, uh... You wanna what now? <laughs> you wanna what now? And I never should have sent that Fire Nation assassin after you. I'm gonna try to stop. Wait, you sent Combustion Man after us? Well, that's not his name, but... <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> that's not his name. We don't get the name. I'm trying to explain that I'm not that person anymore. Either you leave or we attack. Yikes. If you won't accept me as a friend, then maybe you'll take me as a prisoner. <laughs> no, we won't. She's like, get out. And if we ever see you again, well, we'd better not see you again. <laughs> nice, Katara. Solid. <laughs> oh, even Momo's sad. He's like, he's trying. Literally, a firebending teacher walked in and was like, hello, here to help you. Why didn't I just say Azula did that? They would have believed that. Stupid. Well, you're not wrong. <laughs> what is this creature? Oh. This is a raccoon toad? Like, what's happening? Why didn't I say anything? Because I could tell if he's telling the truth. <sighs> yeah, what's happening? And what was all that crazy stuff about setting Appa free? What a liar. Actually, he wasn't lying. There we go. All I know is that while he was talking to us, he was Okay, sincere. great. I did say this. Okay. Maybe you're all just letting your hurt feelings keep you from thinking clearly. Maybe. Maybe. I'm glad that I did bring up that he was telling the truth. I thought that I didn't. Okay. You're all ignoring one crucial fact. Aang needs Aang to learn needs fire bending. Teacher. We can't think of a single person in the world to do the job. Now one shows up on a silver platter and you won't even think about it? And you won't even think about it? I'm beginning to wonder who's really the blind one around here. Key. She's like, guys, use your reasoning. Although this part is a little unfortunate. Who's there? Oh dear. Stay back. It's me. Ow. Uh, yeah. Get away from me. Oof. Oh no. Oh no. Let me help you. Oh no. Ugh. Come back. <laughs> Scuffles off into the dark with the badger moles. you're a firebender, bro, and fire's destructive as hell. Ooh, rice. Where did that come from? That looks good. Oh dear. It's me. What happened? My feet got burned. Oof. Oh no. What happened? I just told you. <laughs> My feet got burned. But how? All right, cinnamon guava orange. Ooh. Yum. It's going to be so good. Ah. So good. Ah. That's the stuff. Now I know how the rest of you guys feel. Not being able to see with your feet stinks. Yeah, yeah that would suck. Mm. Sparky, sparky, boom, man. Not great. Ooh. Mm, that spice at the end of that. Oh my gosh. It's very fruit forward, and then it like kicks you at the end. I don't want you hunting the avatar oh, anymore. About this part. The mission is off. I'm ordering you to stop. Uh -oh. Jesus. I won't pay you. Uh -oh. oh. All right. I'll pay you double to stop. Okay. First of all, I hate that guy. Second of all, okay, this feels a little bit just like outside of the realm of bending. Like there's a lot of powerful bending on the show, but like who is this guy? Like what what is this weird like telekinesis power thing? I don't like it. It doesn't make sense to me. I'm like, it rubs me the wrong way. I don't know. Like not just because he's evil, but I'm like, wait, what are you're not a bender? Like what is what is this power? I don't know about anyone else, but that's how I feel. Also, you're destroying the Western Air Temple. Go away. Cut it out. I hate that guy. I know how to get an angle on Abba. it. Oh. Boomerang. Jesus. Whew. Crazy. All right, buddy. Don't fail me now. Get it. Nice. He's gonna get back up. Okay, isn't this his end? Isn't how it isn't it over now? Okay, it's a little blurry. Oof! Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. Like, what is that power? He like imploded because he got hit. 
I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me. But like, yay, he's gone. Goodbye. Bye. F you. Zuko! Whoever thought we'd be saying that happily. I can't believe I'm saying this, but thanks, Zuko. <laughs> hey, what about me? Who would have thought? Who would have thought? I thought I had lost my honor and that somehow my father could return it to me. But I know now that no one can give you your honor. It's something you earn for yourself by choosing to Something do what's you right. earn for yourself by choosing to do what's right. I'm sorry for what I did to you. Thanks. It was an accident. Thank you for apologizing. I think you are supposed to be my firebending teacher. Uh, yeah. He's right in front of you. I burned Katara. And after that, I never wanted to firebend again. But now I know you understand how easy it is to hurt the people you love. I'd like you to teach me. Nice. Good job, Twinkle Toes. Thank you. I'm so happy you've accepted me into your group. Not so fast. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I won't let you down. I promise. Oh. Sokka carries me. I forgot about that. Thanks, bud. Unpack. Lunch soon. Uh, <laughs> welcome aboard. Sokka. Lunch soon. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> Oh, Uncle. You know, Prince Zuko, destiny is a funny thing. <laughs> you never know how things are going to work out. We never know how things are going to work out. I promise you will find your own destiny someday. Mm. Such a good Iroh quote. And that transition, that little fade edit. Mm. So good. Because I'll make sure your destiny ends right then and there. Permanently. Oof. Don't make Katara mad. Yee-hoo. But also, she has a point. I mean, he's literally been a villain this entire time, so. And then they leave you with that. Oh, they leave you with a scolding from Sugar Queen herself. All right, super light, super casual, very chill episode, you know. Nothing too crazy going on. These are lies, I'm, I'm saying lies. First of all, Western Air Temple is gorgeous. The upside down, like beautiful architecture, just, mm. Beautiful to look at. Sparky Sparky Boom Man, hate that guy. Also confusing where his power comes from. Zuko, phenomenal lines just actually from multiple characters in this episode. We've got a great Iroh quote. We've got the funny Zuko quote. We've got the starting to think I'm not the only blind one around here. Just great lines, good, good script. I mean, they're all good scripts, but this one has a lot of good zingers in there. And now finally, Aang can actually start to absorb firebending and become, you know, at peace with it instead of being scared of it since he burned Katara. Ah! So much progress made. As some of you may know and be familiar with, today we have a very exciting guest, Prince of the Fire Nation, soon to be, Fire Lord. Soon uh, to be, soon to be. Soon to be, soon to be. Uh, Don Tabasco, please. What's up? Say hey. What's up? How you doing, Michaela? I'm good. I'm good. Looking very exciting. Fire Nation today. I mean, you got the jersey I on. Have to. Yeah. Fire Nation representation Saved out it there. For today. I know you're nervous, but remember, firebending in and of itself is not something to fear. See, I feel like you're lucky because you still sound like this. <laughs> uh, if you think or do you not think you sound like this? Of course, I was an adult when I did this. But, yeah. <laughs> but some people say I still sound the same as I did when I did Hook. So I don't know what is what made my voice change early and it just stopped. Yeah. Okay, so you asked about today's tea flavor. It is a sacred fire. Well, that's the that's the title. Oh no! Cinnamon floral herbal blend with hibiscus, that? cardamom, that cinnamon, fire safflower, fire and corn seen. flowers. Well, I didn't hear. I was I was seeing him say, "What is that?" <laughs> oh no, Zuko! Where is your anger gone? <laughs> The altitude. Not yeah. a bad guess, honestly. The altitude could have been fire bending, right? Yeah, <laughs> higher altitude. I don't, you That's know, valid. try to do a flamethrower on the side of a plane. I mean, it might not work well. Probably not. Probably not. You know what's crazy is because we've all been hanging out so much, the, the OG gang mm -hmm. around the country and world, whatever. When I watch the show now, I could see Zach. Yeah. And you. I like see his face pop I mean, up. I could not see, but I could <laughs> no, hear him, yeah. sense him. The tie between animation and real life is getting is getting closer <laughs> yes. as you hang out with everybody more. Okay, so we're supposed to prepare this at 212 degrees for seven minutes. I've lost my stuff. Oh boy. Don't I've lost my stuff. Touch your stuff. 
I didn't touch You're your pretty high pitched there for sure. A little different than my day to day now. Ooh, that smells good. Are you a big tea person? Yeah, I love tea. Okay, give it a, give it a sniff. Oh, delicious. This blend is also like very colorful. I don't know if you can see it, but there's lots of like purple and red in here. Oh my God, look at annoying. I feel like you had to be so angry for most of this show. Did that like affect your mood while you were recording this? Nah, I don't remember. <laughs> I love how the whole idea of just even the concept of changing your your source of from anger to you know. For earthbending, the original benders were badgermals. Badgermal badgermals. backstory. Little little top a fung. That's me. In her little dress, That's where I know and I'm always surprised how big these dang badgermals are. So large. Because neither badgers nor moles are that big the original firebenders were the dragons, were the dragons my friends year of the dragon the dragons are gone <laughs> the year of the dragon is upon us it is you're a dragon aren't you no i'm a rabbit oh no you're a rabbit and it was this just last happened. my year just happened okay, okay the luckiest sign i'm a dog okay you're good a rabbit year, i'm a dog year, what year. are what are you guys feel free to to sound off i don't really know 100 percent what it means we had some interesting you know animal reads uh at Sketchfest last week where we dug into our <laughs> my wife is a dragon though. that checks out that, that checks sense. out for sure You're like yeah, yeah, yeah for sure <laughs> Alice is a dragon <laughs> we start out our missions with a more upbeat attitude <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this I love this it's just like real it's real this is taking too long <laughs> but they're going to this, the, this whole boy you gotta get my, my, my fire bending back yeah it's kind of important Okay, wait. Very. It's just them two. It's just them two. It's like kind of like a it's your adventure. field trip together, right? Yeah. Okay. Before preparing your tea, take a moment to examine the colors and beauty of this blend, which we did. The Tazan produces a warm hug of understanding as you sip throughout the episode. Zuko and Aang. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good. Hopefully, as they stay alive. <laughs> Good. Got some Indiana Jones action going very, on. Very, this is a very Indiana Jones situation. <laughs> very much so. It keeps going, Indiana Jones. <laughs> Zuko and Aang delve deep into Fire Nation history in an attempt to study the origins of firebending. They visit an ancient city, ta-da, thought to be abandoned, but to discover that there was much more that they could have experienced. Parkour. Parkour Zuko. Parkour Zuko, you guys. Mayan uh, pyramids yep. uh, vibes. Aztec. What's between, like, Aztec, Mayan, Aztec, and I don't know. Peruvian. Maybe the, There's a lot of... South, South America. Yes. or so, you know. Yes. Then at the end, let's see, just like this tea, in a burst of color and wonder, Aang and Zuko finally understand the force behind the beauty of fire. Ooh, it's very dramatic. My great grandfather's sozen happened. Oh yeah. Wah, 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 wah. Of for <sighs> I mean, there are good people in the Fire Nation. There's other guys or family mm. members that you know. <laughs> Maybe not. So poachers. Crazy. I don't know. Were they poachers out there making animals extinct in the world for right. glory? By my uncle. Uncle Iroh got the last dragon. Yeah. There's a lot of a lot of bad uncles, but you have a good one. You got a good one. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Man, they could use some metal bending right now. Yes. <laughs> I never understood why so many times they go on, like, solo missions. Like, why not bring a couple other people as backup? Like, why? Just like the you know. <laughs> I don't know. Is it, okay, look. Look how smart Zuko is right here. We don't need no Sokka. You know, Sokka is usually one figuring out these things for the gang. But uh, Zuko, no, we can't. He's got some ingenuity. Let's go. A little, a little reflection from the ruby, walking around. Voila! Don't worry about it. Come on. Let it sit for a second. Let it marinate. Bam! Let's go. I don't care what everyone else says about you. You're pretty smart. What? What the? What the? <laughs> what does everyone say about me? Awesome. You're like cool. No, this is so cool. When I was watching this last time, I realized that me and Zach really need to learn this dance. Yeah. It looks like it's twelve moves. I mean, I got twelve moves. Yeah, you got more than twelve moves. Here we go. Boom. One. Look at that. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of nice that you have a template. <laughs> it's a template just right there. High, low. Mm -hmm. Hi, one leg low. I think this is some kind of sun it's sun warrior poses. That's the warrior pose. This some really no, let me see. Mm -hmm. Oh, and yes. Boom. Okay, now if you watch Indiana Jones, <laughs> this is the moment 
Raiders of the Lost Ark. You're not supposed to. I mean, if you do, get like a bag of sand, a kind of, kind of counterweight to switch it out. I'm just very suspicious of giant glowing gems sitting on pedestals. It feels... Oh, come on. Come uh, on, Zuko. Come on, Zuko, dude. Yeah, Let's do that for That was silly. And what is this double dare slot? This is Nickelodeon. <laughs> and so the double dare slot gets some. That's very adhesive. Yeah, this is a dark green. This is, this is stickier and dirtier. Yeah, it's like a... Yeah. Yes, but it's got the vibe. I wonder if Mike and Brian, like, purposefully made this Indiana Jones-esque? I'm, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure they were fans. Did you see the latest one? The Dial of Destiny? Oh, yes, I did. Yeah. Yes, I did. <laughs> I'm a sucker for those. I love them. We can figure a way out of this. <laughs> no. You guys look silly. <laughs> and they can't burn through the. Yeah, wait. Why can't he like fire bend it away? I don't know. Why can't he air? Well, we it don't up? have. No, we don't have. I don't have any fire bending right now. Oh right, because you can't. I have no fire. But bending. he has air bending. Why can't he like just do like? The tar's too strong. I guess so. It's a beautiful place to be stuck. I mean, of the place. Oh. <laughs> Who's down there? Of the places to be stuck. What's it, up? it was very peaceful. Ancient folks coming to visit us. Could you imagine going to like Mexico or somewhere that the ancient people? Where are those things? I was just what are say, those things? What are those? Aardvark dogs? Are they just aardvark dogs? Wolf? Hold up. Wolf? Wolf? Uh, this is this is the time when you got to pull out yeah, right. who you are. Yeah, I'm the avatar. Leave me yeah. alone. <laughs> Please, I don't normally play this card, but I'm the avatar. Yeah. Yes, 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 he is. This is the time. I'm the Fire Lord Prince of it right now. What's yeah. up? My name is Zuko, Crown Prince of the Fire. Exactly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or at least I used well, to. Well, don't, don't, don't leave do that. that part out. They will examine you. They'll read your hearts, your souls, and your ancestry. If they deem you worthy, they'll teach you. If they don't, you'll be dead. Well, I'm banished, but. Yeah, your ancestry is not great, but your heart He's is. He's like, good. my ancestry is not cool. <laughs> It was like when you got the whole big gang out there or trying to get into a club and it looks ominous, you're like, this is the deal. Yeah. <laughs> He's the avatar, and uh, do you know who I am? I'm the prince of the fire. I'm a prince. I mean, I, mean, uh, might, I mean, Let me in. It's been up and down, but I'm still the prince. Can I get in the club or no? I, was, I love how they have the original fire yeah. of all time. There. In the OG flame. Infinity. This is the thing, though, because I grew up Catholic and I was a you know, and I was like an ultra boy and stuff. And yeah. there's in the church, there always was a fire going at all, all time. time. I don't know if it's true or not. It reminded me of this flyer. I was like, there's a fire that gets lit in that church and it's and it's there forever. I didn't know that. Who knew Catholics were firebenders? We didn't, I... know. we didn't know that. Grab the fire and stop going around. It's like a little heartbeat. Fire is life. This is the first this episode where we see the fire is life narrative. Up until this point, it's been solely destructive. No, no, it's life. Yeah. No, it's life. It can be destructive, but it's life. Mostly destructive. Your flame's gonna mm. go out because it's too small. You're too timid. Damn, yeah, don't talk about another man's flame, Zuko. I can't control it. He's not wrong, though. I mean, maybe maybe his words are. He said, you're good. You're okay, kid. You're good. Okay, kid. Don't be going out there, y'all. Just go talk about Bill's flames. That's not. That's not really. How did my guys get there so quick? My dude said go there with the fire. And then the whole crew's up here? <laughs> Maybe they took the dragons up. These dudes, Maybe nah, like. They're used, they know that they have a back door. There's a back entrance. And this dude's a punk. I know. Yeah. I don't need your lip, this dude. Is, this is, this is I'm here to talk to the guy. chief. His ponytail's looking a little longer and better than yours. Uh, you know, at the beginning. Oh, took our fire. Yup. But, but, it's life. See, when you take fire from other fire, it doesn't diminish no. the other fire. That applies to other situations in life as well. <laughs> what if they judge us and attack mm -hmm. us? Well, we're the fire prince and the avatar. You guys I mean, that. I mean, <laughs> I mean, yo. <laughs> I mean, you know, like, we're good. Oh my gosh. Bring him, bring him out. out. Bring him out, bring him out. That's all I'm telling you. Zuko's ready, but you've already fire. You've been firebending your whole life, so you already. I know, know but what my firebending like. is not. My prowess at the moment isn't. I know, but you're able to like be confident. Aang's never done this before. This poor kid's like his flame small. out. Those are some pretty intense stairs. Legs are definitely sore for the next week. Let's go. My guys are on the drums. We're hyped. 
worst comes to worst, we could take him out. My fire bending is not 100, but I have a sword. Jeez. Hold on to it, dude. Oh. What did you do? Zuko, my fire went out. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do, man? Just make your own. I can't. Oh my gosh. There's some brother stuff. My little brother's yeah. been fire go out all the time. I, yeah. You can't have my fire. Get out of here. Give me some. Dude, what are you doing? Ah! Oh. Oh. Now we're both gonna die? Are you kidding me? Oh, dragon! Red dragon, red dragon, red dragon. Red well, alert, red kinda alert. Kinda dope though, but kinda, and blue dragon! I love the blue dragon. What's up with blue dragon? I don't know, I'm a big fan These of the blue. masters. Mm -hmm. They are the masters. Do you think we can take them? Do you think we can take them? <laughs> no! Uh, they're the dragons. The answer is no. This dude, I'm not with you, guy. You're not on our side. Shut up. Quiet, Quiet, my guy. You guys Death let upon your me. flames go out, though. I had my flame going, but Aang was messing around. Yeah. But this is good, though. This is this is good that they practiced, you know. He's like, can we dance? Fire also, you know, I was a break dance before. When in doubt, break dance. Then they'll let you into the club. When? <laughs> You know, in case of emergency, break dance. Okay, that's Dante's advice, everyone. Make it a bumper sticker. Let's go. This is really pretty. Beautiful, I love this. See, you don't get to see this when you record it with your voice, mm -hmm. and then when you get to see it, right here, this right here. Yeah, you don't get to see this. This is... <laughs> Till later. No, this is phenomenal. This, mm -hmm. right here, that. It's, they're downloading it onto our mind. I understand. I understand. So That's, I understand. It's being understand. downloaded into our minds. Bam. That's like, I mean, Boom. I don't know. And then they're gone as fast as No, but they can. Zuko got hit with the, I don't know if it was ayahuasca. I don't know what happened, but it all made sense. The Matrix that unlocked. one moment. Iroh was the last outsider to face the masters. Hmm. They deemed him worthy and passed the secret on to him as well. Aha. Uh -huh. To protect them so no one else could hunt them. All this time, I thought firebending was destruction. But. But now I know what it really is. What is it, eh? It's energy. It's energy. And life. And life. Energy and life. It's a little hot still. Cinnamon, though. That cinnamon's coming That's through. Cinnamon. I have a new drive. I have to help you defeat my father and restore balance to the world. Boom. Pop! Let's go! Positive reinforcement. Sunshine. You too? You got that fire too now, and you got it now also? Bro time. See, everyone else did get a really incredible, like, life-changing field trip with Zuko. Come on! It's fair that I wanted my own. Look at how cool you guys became after this. Just kidding. <laughs> But seriously, don't tell anyone. <laughs> I ain't telling nobody, but what I really want to know, I want to ask my guys, like, what about Azula, my sister? Where, where's that? Where's that fire flame coming yeah. from? Where's that blue lightning coming from? Where, did she know? What did, who did she talk to? Feminine rage. <laughs> break dance, you two learned that. Sokka. It's not a dance. Sokka. It's a firebending form. That's break dance of Sokka. <laughs> mm. The cinnamon comes to the most for me. Dancing the dancing dragons. I'm part of the gang now, though. Am I good now? Oh, now, yeah. Are we good now? Now you've been officially inducted. Are we, we good? All made fun of you. Definitely one of my favorite episodes. Um, Absolutely. Aside from that one, what are what are other faves? I mean, off the, top of the your beach, head? of course. The beach is phenomenal. We just had Miss Gray on for the beach. Really? Yes. Tales yes. of Bossing Say for sure. I mean, classic. Uh, I mean, come on, Blind Bandit. Meeting Toph for the first time is pretty intense. I told him to say that. Pretty cool. <laughs> uh, the Blue Spirit. I mean, I like a lot of the episodes that really I tell the, the story Spirit. of like Aang and Zuko together. The Storm. Like they always, they do these episodes where like, they'll like basically bounce back and forth between yeah. Zuko and, and Aang. And, and you get to see, you know, the, like the protagonist, antagonist, or however you want to think. Like the good and the bad people in your life. Like may not be as good and bad as you actually think. We yeah. like to put him out. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's like yep. in life we think, oh, there's a bad guy. Uh, maybe he is. Maybe maybe, maybe she is. Maybe she's not. Maybe you know. Maybe who what knows? Is, what is good and bad? What is good? It's, it's the process, process of what it is, and everyone's on yeah. their process, and it's really good to see 
the the duality of these two characters that you think start out so different and you're like wow there's actually i love those so whenever they keep on revisiting that theme i really love that now it's, they're together it's tricky because it's not something that can be resolved in one episode and i feel like that's why this show is so rewatchable because it's kind of a very long drawn out process of self-discovery morality right. you know it's it takes time you i need mean multiple episodes you can't just get it all it's done great and, it's great to go back uh obviously you're doing this as a phenomenon you know we're doing brave the elements yeah. me and me and janet and uh, i've never I mean, we've been, we're kid actors growing up, you know? Yeah. And I, I, it's not like I ever go back and watch anything, including this. Like, I barely watched any of this as we were doing it. I didn't have cable, so and, I did not uh, see this until... It was cool when we were doing yeah. it. I thought it was very cool. I didn't know how cool it actually was. Uh, so it's a very unique experience to go out and go back and relive some of these things and, and see it with fresh eyes and, uh, and then see yourself and friends in it, which is cool. Tea like uncle, but hopefully I learned a thing or two. <laughs> Would you like to hear uncle's favorite tea joke? Oh my gosh, Zuko's out here telling tea jokes. See, the gang is officially complete. We've got we've got our fire bending locked in. Good times, good times ahead. Well, actually, not good times ahead, but you know, y you know. <laughs> so what's up? If someone was captured by the Fire Nation, where would they be taken? What do you mean? Who was captured? Oh, right. Okay. It's my dad. He was captured too. I need to know what I put him through. It's not good, Sokka. Oh, dear. They were taken to the Boiling Rock. What's <gasps> that? The title of the episode! It's on an island in the middle of a boiling lake. All right, so it seems like there's a trend of these prison places being just like in the middle of bodies of water, right? Like the Alcatraz, Azkaban, Boiling Rock. It just seems like... Prison in the middle of water seems to be like the most, I don't know, like terrible fate one could be subjected to. I don't know why that is, but this this is on brand. This seems to match. This is the Alcatraz Azkaban situation of, of the Avatar world. Oh. <laughs> Almost stepping on Momo. Oh, come on, Appa wouldn't recognize? Oh. Appa would 100% make noises. Anything, huh? <laughs> Zuko knew! Okay, okay, today's tea flavor. The improbable duo, green and black tea blend. Okay, green tea, black tea, safflower, orange peels, rose, and marigold. Ooh, okay. Preparation 212 degree, five minutes deep. Also, wait a second, honor. Now Sok is after his no. honor. Zuko's after his honor. Everyone's after their honor. Honor. Last time I checked, prisons don't have bison daycares. Prisons don't have bison daycares? Ah, oh, Appa. What a tragedy. Okay, let's sniff this. Woo! That smells good. What is this? Marigold, rose, orange peel. Oh, it's the orange. Mm -hmm. It's the orange peels for sure. Oh, that smells good. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, let's do it. Oh. <laughs> Nobody else has homework. Nobody else is the avatar, my dude. <laughs> Pretty clouds. Yeah. Fluffy. <laughs> yeah. Fluffy. All right, let's get this water in here. Perfect. All right, time to steep. I met my uncle. He was more of a father to me. And I really let him down. I think your uncle would be proud of you. Aw, wait a second. This, this, this bro hang on this balloon is so nice. My first girlfriend turned into the moon. That's rough, buddy. Yes, this is the moment. <laughs> that is tough. But neither of them have like a, a, a bro situation. Zuko, yeah, both of them are very much surrounded by like feminine energy. Zuko's got Azula. Well, not that she's necessarily feminine, but she, Azula, Mei, Tylee, like very, very much girl power vibes. And then Sokka's got Toph, but she's definitely still like Tom, you know, boy. She's still a girl. So is Katara. And then Aang is very much like, doesn't eat meat. Very gentle. So this is, this is good. This is actually a very like healthy, nice dynamic for them both to have. They don't, they don't have this bro time usually anywhere else. I hope you know what you're doing. No turning back. Yeah, yeah that, that prison doesn't look too great. 
Doesn't look too nice. No, 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 thank you. Okay, hold on a second. How did they just waltz in here and like don their gear? How did the, how did no one, I have a question, it's fine, whatever. Good job, guys. How did you do that? <laughs> you didn't bow down when I walked by, Chitsang. Chitsang? Chitsang? That's a name. Make me. Although that is a voice. Great voice. Who is that? Great voice. You! Help me take him in! Meet back here in an hour. Now, the question is, is Sokka fueled primarily by finding his father? Or by finding... Suki. <laughs> or both. Maybe. Prisoners. Am I right? Uh, tell me about it. <laughs> Sokka was made for prison banter. This is the lounge. Relax. But what if there's an incident? If I'm not prepared, someone could strike uh -oh. me on the head. <laughs> also, I'm the prince of the Fire Nation and I have a massive scar on my face. <laughs> the boiling rock. It holds the Fire Nation's most dangerous criminals, right? So what about war prisoners? I feel like if anybody came into like the lunchroom and was like, I'm new here, tell me about war prisoners. Maybe a little sus, ever so slightly. No, maybe. Oof, ooh, I just got goosebumps. Cause I felt like I was cold in there like he is. Oh my gosh. That's why oh. call it the cool. Hey, cut that out, cut that out. It's the warden, look alive. Ooh. The warden could use a, a facial. What does uh, today's description say? Let's see. This blend is compromised of an unlikely combination that produces satisfying results. Sokka's ingenuity and enthusiasm, combined with Zuko's knowledge and stealthiness, makes for a dangerous but exhilarating operation. The unlikely duo knows the risks, but is motivated with heroism and spontaneity. As you sip from your cup, the aromas and flavors will inspire you to break out of the monotony and enjoy the exciting things in life. Along with some of the more dangerous things in life, apparently. Ooh, that smells good. Ooh, it's gonna be lovely. Okay. When life seems hard, take a bite out of the silver sandwich. <gasps> Is it a suki? It's suki! suki! <laughs> yeah, fueled by father, fueled by suki. Mm, who's to say? Did I do something wrong? You mean you don't recognize me? You people all look the same. <laughs> oh, then maybe you recognize this. Oh. <laughs> Sokka, <laughs> it's you. Oh. The other Kyoshi warriors, are they here? No, I don't know where they are. They locked me in here because I'm the leader. Oh, Jenny. Jenny's voice is perfect for this role. Cuties. Oh, so cute, so romantic. Oh my gosh. I need to get into that cell. No, you can't go in. <gasps> the lights are out. The prisoner can sneak up on The lights are out. Step aside. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Also so romantic on Valentine's Day. How fitting. Are you guys big Valentine's Day people? Even if you're with somebody or without somebody, whatever, like single or not, I feel like it's a fun holiday. You know, just like love your friends, love your lover, love your parents, just love. Just like love everywhere. I'm into it. It's fun. And it's perfect for book three colors. <laughs> All right, gonna take this out. Do, 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 do. Let's see how the tea tastes. Mmm. That is an interesting combination. Green and black tea together? I don't know if I've ever had that. Hey, uncle. I forgot. Quiet. You're my special oh dear, I forgot that this is May's uncle. Oh gosh. Why don't you just tell my father and collect a reward? Oh, in due time, believe me, I intend to collect. Okay, I'm just gonna say, May is a lot cuter than her uncle. I don't know what in the relation and who looks like who, but like May, May got the, the good end of the stick as far as looks go. Her uncle, uncle's a little rough. Actually, on the edges. we okay. a long time ago. We did? Yeah, you kind of burned uh. the village. Oh, sorry about that. Nice to see you again. Suko, you kind of burned down my village. Nice to see you again. It's 
I'm sorry. I don't know. It's a perfect boat for getting through the boiling water. The cooler as a boat? Are you sure? I'm telling you. Cooler as a boat. See? I walked around this is smart. This is smart. Saka, he, he he needed a little bit of polishing, you know? Season one, we had to we had to beat a little bit of the misogyny and a little bit of the ego hurt, you know, out of him, because you know, Katark had been and he couldn't and Matsuki and all that. But once we got over that, this kid, this kid's got got a brain. This is good. I heard you hatching an escape plan, and oh. I went in. There's nothing to get in on. Yeah, the only thing we're hatching is an egg. <laughs> <laughs> and then we lose the brain on the egg comment. <laughs> you watch who you're shoving. I think you mean who I'm shoving. <laughs> this fake fight is phenomenal. I can take you back to your cell if you've learned your lesson. <sighs> yes, I have. Completely. Nice. I got Suki and Chitsang out of their cells a few minutes ago. Nice. Some war prisoners? No, I did hear there might be a pirate. Uh-huh. War prisoners. It could be your father. There's Papa. Is it right for me to risk Suki's freedom? All of our freedom on the slim chance that my dad is gonna show up? Sure call Sokka. Oof. That, that is, that's a tough call. What would you guys do? Would you stay the extra night? Or would you move ahead with the escape plan? This here's my girl and my best buddy. They're coming Oh dear. Me. Fine. Everybody in the cooler. My girl and my best buddy. Anytime there's a girl and a best buddy, mm, something went sideways. Somebody, somebody flubbed. Somebody was messy. Something happened. It's too many, too many cooks in the kitchen. Got messy. Look, Sokka, you're going to fail a lot before things work out. That's supposed to make me feel better. <laughs> Even though you'll probably fail over and over and over again. Seriously. I, I have been Sokka many times in this situation when people are like, you have to fail before you get better. And I'm like, why are you telling me this? I'm not leaving without you, Sokka. Oh. I'm staying too. Okay. Me, I'm out. Let's roll, baby. Let's roll, baby. We gave up our only chance of escaping. I hope we haven't just made a huge mm, mistake. No, though, right? Yeah, I feel like something. This is diff. This is. Ah, this current is so slow. No, 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 no! Don't make a splash! Don't make a splash! Oh, well. Okay, well, there we go. Good thing they didn't get in there because then this would be happening. Ah, oh, foolish people! They were so close. And now they're so far. We have new prisoners arriving. Everything must be completely secure. What in the Republic City modern arrow shooter thing is happening here? That was a, that was a fancy contraption. That looked like it belonged in Korra. <laughs> Who's in the gondola? We will see. Who's in the gondola? We will see. This is it. There's a lot of people in that gondola. Is it? I don't remember. I think it is. Maybe it's not. I can't remember. No. Where is he? No. Hey, you. Get off the gondola. <sighs> yes. Ah, oh, and they leave us with that. Oh, come on now. <sighs> I have to wait till part two. Yeah, wouldn't... Wouldn't Sokka have recognized, like, the other people that were with him and his dad during the invasion? Because there, there were a bunch of other people, so if they were captured, wouldn't he have, like, recognized familiar faces coming out? Maybe all of them didn't get sent to the Boiling Rock because they weren't, like, the leaders. So maybe it was only Sokka's dad who got sent to Boiling Rock because he's, like, the head of the operation. I don't know. But anyway, his dad's there. His dad's alive. Yay. Glad they stayed. All according to plan. Today is a very exciting day. We have 
a very familiar special guest. Please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Jack Descent, and I was the voice of Sokka, the character. Boomerang guy. <laughs> What's up? I mean, sarcasm guy, you know, guy with a boomerang, just hanging out. Yeah, the the man of many titles. Like you, yeah. Sparky Sparky Boom Man, that came from you, didn't it? Well, that's the ti yeah, title I bestowed. You created, yeah. yeah I feel yeah, like yeah. You, you like to create. For myself, for know, others, for, others, for collectives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. the Yang Gang, the Boomerang yep, Squad. Big name Fearsome guy. Foursome. <laughs> big name guy, guy, for sure. Uh, well, Just an idea, then, an idea man in general. Yeah, across the board, and in yeah. real life, I would say. Yeah, as well. thank you. Yeah, that's yeah. I don't, I'm not, I don't do for like follow through or execution. I'm an idea man <laughs> in my real life. This is true. So, how many times have you seen this whole show? Maybe all the way through. Once, twice. Have you only seen bits and pieces? I think I've seen probably all of it once. Most of it two to three times. Yeah. With okay. one exception. I realized on like a second rewatch that I have never seen the episode Zuko alone. <laughs> <gasps> oh, well, I can get Because I was like, I was like, sense. this isn't too familiar at all. I didn't get the script. So I think some some of the ones that I've seen, I'm just conflating with like yeah. memories of recording it yes. or whatever. So there were some that I like thought I had seen, but I hadn't seen. And then we watched. Yeah. Um, and I did like a big watch along with Dante on yes. Dante's stream. Yes. Um, and happened to miss the Zuko alone one and uh, had previously missed it. And then, and then like- It was on purpose. Yeah, I heard some <laughs> plot points from that described and I was like, I have no idea. I thought like, I was like, wait, how do people know so much about his mom? Is it all from reading the, the search or like, how do they, what? Um, so it was a big oh shot and I, I have not uh, corrected that yet. <laughs> hey, that's okay, you're Someday. busy. You're if you ever busy. do a second loop on these, yeah. bring me through for that one. You know, maybe it. we will, because this is this is the starter setup. So yeah, maybe yeah, yeah, we'll okay. get like a legit cool, <laughs> you know, velvet chairs. You know, we'll we'll yeah. see what we can get up to. <laughs> I'm fine. Get these prisoners out of my sight. Have we Googled voices? Who's doing these? Actually, I don't know who yeah, who the is May's of... uncle? Because this is May's uncle, oh. who's the warden. That's the like family family ties going on. That's cool. Um I don't know who voices him. Dad, it's me. It's for you. Sorry. You look good in Fire Nation armor, which yeah. is kind of a, a bummer, but like it suits you. He looks good in all of it. Yeah, that's true. You look good in everything. Would you agree with that in real life? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I spend a, a lot of my life frantically washing the one shirt I think I look okay in. And I was going to wear that one shirt oh. um, here, but then you said like do Fire Nation stuff. I did. So I, I did figured. A fire, there I did you a go. Fire Nation but this stuff. looks great. Thank you. you but also I would have otherwise been in the shirt that I was just in when we hung out at Sketchbus. You know, two shirts, to, guys. I'm expanding the repertoire. Two shirts, two shirt guy. I've tried to be a little color coordinated here. We like changed the towel. No, color. I love it. You've got a very tight to... thing going. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Cool. You know. No, I don't really remember a lot of context here. That's okay. Okay, so right before, well, okay, so there was an invasion Yeah. Uh, during an eclipse, Yeah. and then the Fire Lord was already gone because they knew they were coming. I remember that. And so very, then, very exciting yes, twist. Yes, 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 exactly. And so then they had to leave on Appa like a small crew, and then the rest of them were like, we know we're going to be captured. And then kind of later on, Sokka's like, yo, where would they be taking my dad so that I could go save him? And Zuko's like, probably Boiling Rock, but yeah, like yeah, not yeah, easy yeah, to break yeah. into. And Sokka's like, cool, I'm going. And Zuko's like, don't go. Yeah. And he's like, I am. And, and then you guys also went my girlfriend turned into the moon. That's rough, buddy. I remember that part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that part stays. <laughs> One of the, that's like top three things I'm asked to say. Really? From the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are, what are the other two? I mean, the cactus juice. Yeah, yeah the cactus juice. Number bit. one by far. Okay. Um, and then just what a tribe is is, classic, is real high up there. But people three. people really enjoy the call and response of me confessing to them that my girlfriend turned into the moon and, and then them getting saying, the opportunity to console me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> In their best Zuko yeah, interpretation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What is your top three? What are you? Uh, my top three called is upon definitely most. Melon Lord. Melon Lord Melon for Lord's sure. Up there. Twinkle Toes. Twinkle Toes would have been Melon a, Lord and Twinkle a Toes. big guess. And then, honestly, I feel like it's mainly those two. Okay. And then the third gets very mixed then, up. Well, yeah, the the mo a, a big part of my like current knowledge of the show yeah. is having to look up things that people have asked me to say or write on something. <laughs> and I'm like, what is, what is that? What is this from? What do you mean those are enemy birds? <laughs> I, mean, <I'm> like... <laughs> I That was actually one of my favorite this is a good job. Because their sound effects are really fun. It's very much like a yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can, They are enemy birds. Are you a big tea drinker, Jack? Um, 
I'm some somewhat. Some okay. My wife is a very big tea drinker, so I should have had her on. What are yeah, you, yeah, what are she, you doing she's here? Big enough. <laughs> um, I don't know if she's ever seen this. She'd be like, I don't uh, know what's going on, but she's, she's seen some of the show. I know she's watched some of it. Okay, let's see. Uh, book three, episode fifteen, Boiling Rock Part Two: Twist of Fate Green Tea Blend. Okay. Ooh, it's a Kenyan purple leaf tea. Ooh, mm. sounds good. Okay, preparation: hundred and eighty degrees, three minutes deep. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Kenyan purple tea can be defined as its own category of tea entirely. Okay, so we're getting special today. Okay. Uh, this tea leaf is processed as a green tea but yields earthier flavors associated with oolong tea. Okay. In a similar fashion, many characters in this episode are not exactly what they appear to be, including you. Whoa. Mm. While we expect something dark in our cup while preparing this tea, we are surprised with a pinkish purple hue. With a twist of fate, our heroes are able to escape the inescapable. Huge spoilers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean... I think 99.999% of people watching have seen this more oh. times than you and I have. So oh. I don't know. I think this would be a very pure way to to have a first experience of it, which is us sort of half listening and saying other quotes. Um, That's true, because we also only edit in like half the episode. Sure. So there's just like little clips yeah, in. I get it. You've seen it now. It's your intro. Um, yeah. I don't think I've ever had, I don't think I've ever had Kenyan Purple Tea. I definitely have not. Ooh. Okay, well that smells good. I don't know if you're a big sniffer. Mm -hmm. But that is very nice. Yeah, nice green tea. I'm gonna do the thing where I drink it and I repeat some of the descriptors that they said. So I'll be like, oh, it does Absolutely. have sort of a new long thing. Okay. It is, there is an earthiness. Oh, wow. All right, water has been poured, steam is rising. Now we steep for three minutes. Okay. My dad and I came up All right, I'm sure you get asked often yeah. about the UA versus, you know, Suki. Oh, I here. could never. I, like, They're both, you know, you very know, important. Incredible women. Women in his life. And... It's not tough to be Suki because Suki's amazing. But every time, like, you hear about UA, you get very emotional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she's like, all right, <laughs> I'm also here. But he is saving her from prison. Yeah, you know. Which she didn't, you know, didn't write your wife. Well, well. <laughs> I don't know that was really his place to, but... I don't know, I didn't ask. <laughs> Maybe I could schedule another time with him? Pass tomorrow. Good try, good try. Uh-oh. Also, how does anyone not notice just the bright blue eyes? That was always my biggest question. Yeah, like, yeah, them yeah. in the Fire Nation, I'm like... Give away. Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> Doing great oh, under pressure. I am not. He's Here's somebody He's who's unexpected. Do we know that guy? No, he is another uh, cool guy? dude in in prison. Okay, so this guy was a guard that Sasha okay. like had switched places with, so it was an easy. You know. Oh no! Oh no! Speaking of Tiny, how do you know? Because I'm a people person. <laughs> <laughs> Great line. <laughs> Tell the warden you said that. I'm sure you'll be glad to hear about you undermining his authority. What's your name again? This is a very fast steep because it's a green tea, so okay. I don't wanna I don't wanna over steep it. I'll start with a little. Because maybe maybe I'll let it sit for a little longer. Let's see. Oh no, yeah, that's ready. Let's do it. That is ready. And then do you drink it at this temperature or you let it? Come down a little bit. That's up What's to the... your mouth. Okay. And your tongue's happiness. Sure. <laughs> this is it. We have to start a riot. Okay. Have you ever organized an escape plan ever in your life? Like in high school? Did you ever like skip class or run away from home out of your window or anything? Not really yeah. my style. Again, idea, man. That's a lot of follow through. Um, you know, I've escaped um, rooms. Okay. But other than yeah. that, I can't say that I have. I think I've only done one escape room in my whole life. Oh yeah, I've done yeah. I've done a fair amount. Just done I enjoy them. But my generosity comes with a price. I know you're planning another. Escape so yeah, you helped this guy way. try to escape, and then he kind of messed it up. So that's why he didn't rat out you because he's, he's like, oh, you can help me get out again. Please, <laughs> please. All right, I'm an IMDb. Oh, yeah, you gotta you gotta check it out. All these voices. Are. Just all these macho men. Yeah. <laughs> hey, <laughs> riot! riot. This might be like the heaviest episode of like combat sound effects because normally we don't have this many people in one yeah, <laughs> yeah. scene. Like normally it's maybe like three to, you know, six or seven people bending, not like a 20 lot of, prisoners yeah. in a yard. Wade Williams, Ezekiel Rollins, oh, Roger Rose. Phenomenal names. Yeah. 
Wow. Zuko just locked his girlfriend slash ex-girlfriend slash... How are they right now? Are they, uh, what kind of terms are we on? It's complicated. Okay. <laughs> Facebook status is complicated. Yeah. It's definitely accurate. You know what someone reminded me of yesterday? Facebook pokes. Mm. Do you remember those? Oh yeah, I was oh, embroiled in, in many a long <laughs> poke war. Very hot, very hot. Ooh. Oh, oh, that's nice, different. I don't know. This this doesn't make sense, but it tastes bluer, like purpley <laughs> for a green tea. I don't know. This it makes sense. I mean, come on, Sticky. <laughs> Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty, <laughs> Pretty cool. cool, lady. Yeah, she really just needed Sokka to like open a door and then she's like, okay, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I, I got it. I'll take down this entire rock. Punch him in the nose. Oh, I really wanted her to punch him in the nose. Now let's get out of here. <laughs> Tell me about it. Cute. <laughs> Very cute. Thoughts on flavor? I yeah, like it a lot. Green. Yeah. yeah. Some people don't like a straight green tea and they want like honey or sugar. No, no, no. I kind of like it yeah. pure. I kind of like it on its own. Oh, right. This is coming back to me. Okay. The gondola drama. This is, this is like, this is like the end of a football game. It's okay. like there's 30 seconds left, but there's a lot of timeouts. Okay. I know that now because I went to my first football game <laughs> after. Oh, six. yeah, you did. <laughs> that was the first time I've ever What a first one. game. I know. It was pretty good. <laughs> That's a problem. It's my sister and her friend. She probably probably doesn't need a gondola. Nope. Probably gonna find a way up there. Yep. Oh shoot. Yep. Oh shoot. <laughs> Highly <laughs> also really good at running on stuff. Yeah. Her and Suki both. Lots running of, on people's heads, lots running of on girls thin good at wires. Just running on things and climbing up things. Using lightning to just like feel your body. Strong propellant. <laughs> okay. It begins. Wow. <laughs> on a gondola. This would be a cool, well, I feel like this would be a good video game scene, but it would also be a fun ride. Like if there was ever an interactive show at like an amusement park. Oh yeah, good like stunt show in, moment like, for sure. like the gondola or next to the gondola and then like characters are like fighting yeah. on you, around you. you yeah. Know. Which is sort of the general soccer experience a lot of times. That is it's true. Characters fighting that around you true. and on you. <laughs> Hey, you, you got your swords machine. He got a sword got to try sword. and fight lightning with a with a rock sword. Well, it's space rock. Is so it not conductive? That's... I would think it would be. Mm, I don't <laughs> maybe know. the handle maybe. <laughs> protects him from the lightning. Well, we've already established that Azula can kind of sort of fly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For for all intents and purposes of this, you know, moment. She yeah, can fly. this danger is largely for Sokka. <laughs> Everyone else can run away and fly away. Yeah. And... yeah. Gallop along falling rocks and. Also, uh, cutting the line with like the princess of the Fire Nation. Pretty intense. That's a little. That's. I don't know if that's a good call, Warden. Again, the. Uh, maybe they already. Maybe they had a, a sense you could do that. Maybe. maybe. <laughs> They're like, she'll be fine. <laughs> it's the biggest backflip I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, that's a chasm. <laughs> she flipped across there. <laughs> There's a lot of people who've just said they're cutting the line without really doing much in the last like 30 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little alarming. This is just a game of telephone about the line being hit. Nice. What are you doing? Saving the jerk Phenomenal line. Yeah. <laughs> Who's that? She's so cool. <laughs> and safety. There we go. Well, still have the warden. That's not ideal, but that's okay. Oh, there we go. Check him. <laughs> yeah, and she's probably right behind us, so let's not stop. What I mean is she must have come here somehow. Oh, good thinking. There. That's our way out. You know, usually that's that's you, but Zuko and you together, there's some good brain power. <laughs> yeah, there. I'm not the only you know? idea you know? guy. <laughs> He was just the previously evil idea guy. Yeah. Oh, I know what this is. This is an iconic line. I know this one. Uh huh. Here we go. Why would you do it? You know the consequences. You miscalculated. I love Zuko more than I do you. Shitaka! <laughs> and then, and then. What you got? Yeah. <laughs> the secondaries rebel against the leader because <laughs> they always hated her anyway. <laughs> And let them rot. Oof, evil. 
evil. I love the Western Air Temple. It's so pretty. It's beautiful. What are you doing? I wish we could just stay here longer, but we can't. <laughs> did you at least get some good meat? <laughs> I did. Is that my one line in this episode? <laughs> Hi, Katara. Great voice for Papa, for Papa Water Tribe. Andre, yeah, fantastic. Oh, family. That's nice. You guys didn't find any meat. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Did not remember that part. Thoughts, reflections. It's been a second since you've seen it. You know, we're towards the end now, so it kind of alternates between just moments of pause and then just like a lot of fighting because, you know, we're almost a lot the of climaxes of, happening. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, constant. I think like <laughs> Azula getting betrayed feels very important it's for the moment. end game. It feels like we, we're, we're, you know, the, the, Lines are being drawn, the sides are coming together for this big final showdown that we're mm -hmm. gearing up towards. I gotta have Suki, gotta have the new guy whose name I talked over. But yeah, this is a very exciting episode. I know, that's fun. I kinda, I like it. I forget about Boiling Rock and then every time it happens, I'm like, oh, these are good moments. Cause yeah. you kind of pause the normal, the normal gang like trajectory. Yeah, 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 it's, it's a it's, cool little side story. Yeah, kind of Zuko Saka side quest. It's yeah. your life changing field trip. You know? Yeah, and you guys kick ass, so it was good. The Western Air Temple is so pretty. I wish something like that existed in real life. I mean, I'm sure it does in some form, but like, I want, I want to go here. I want to go there. <laughs> Whoa, hello. So peaceful, and then destruction. The theme of this entire show. See, see, why do we need to ruin beautiful architecture? Like historical, beautiful places. Oh. What? Wait a second, hold on. What, what were those metal doors? Were those there the whole time? What are you doing? Keeping rocks from crushing you. Okay, oh. I'm not crushed. You can get off me now. Zutara moment, hello. <laughs> Come on, we can get out through here. Come on, we can get out through here. Kind of. <laughs> Finding 13 year old me in my voice is a little tricky because sometimes I can be too squeaky and like too high pitched because sometimes I like to, you know, talk like this for characters, which is way too far. But then current me is obviously lower than where I was at 13. So finding that like sweet spot of like, hey, we can get out this way is, you know, some days it's easier than other days. Voice acting is a trip. I'm about to celebrate becoming an only child. I am about to celebrate becoming an only child. Azul is easier for me these days. <laughs> Yo, that jump is wild. The fact that he just made that, insane. Catch yourself, catch yourself. Oh, yikes. I can't get him to go in there. Off a hate tunnel. Oh boy. Ang, there's no way we can okay, quick side note though, Sokka with his hair down. That's all. All right, book three, episode 16, The Southern Raiders, Heart Mending Blend. Okay, okay, so the pink is appropriate, kind of. Tulsi Rose Herbal Blend. I didn't even read this beforehand. Oh my gosh, perfect. Perfect that there's rose in here. Pinky, hee <laughs> hee. Okay, Tulsi, rose petals, and lemongrass. Very simple, very light, very yummy. Preparation 212 degrees, five minutes deep. Yum, oh my gosh. Okay, we're mending hearts over here. Gosh, the bending in this sequence is wild. We're getting a preview of the ending here. Wow. Oh my gosh, this smells so good, first of all. I am a huge fan of floral and fruity teas. So the fact that this is lemongrass and rose, mm. oh, so good. So good, let's do it. You know, it's kind of funny that this is like a heart mending blend, cause you know, we'll see Katara, you know, involve some of this, but like Azula and Zuko also could use some heart mending. She's not gonna make it. Oh boy. Yes, she will. She's like a cockroach. She always survives. Of course she does. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yo, what a shot though. Power stance. <laughs> to Zuko. Who knew after all those times he tried to snuff us out today, he'd be our hero. Uh, here, here. Katara's like, no. I don't deserve this. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Katara! Let those beautiful rose petals and lemongrass leaves sit. Was the first person to trust you, remember? <laughs> Back in Bossing Say. And you turned around and betrayed me. Betrayed all of us. That's this is valid. This is this is very true. <laughs> Maybe you could reconquer Bossing Say in the name of the Earth King. 
Oof. Yikes. I mean, yeah, he is an extension of the reason why her mom is dead, so this is gonna be a little, a little tough. Wrong tent. <gasps> oh. Sorry. Do you need to talk to Sokka too? Nope. Not me. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> the Zuko. Yes. Why would I be expecting anyone different? <laughs> Wait, did he just eat a rose? <laughs> Even more fitting for today's tea flavor. He just ate that entire rose head. <laughs> I think somehow she's connected her anger about that to her anger at me. Well, yeah. Duh. It's not a day I like to remember. Flashback. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, to be young. Oh, for there to be soot in the air. We were badly outnumbered. Somehow, we managed to drive them off. <laughs> Sokka! The dawn of the boomerang. <sighs> I thought he'd never leave. Suhi! So he... <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so happy that that scene exists. <laughs> I know who killed your mother. I'm going to help you find him. Ooh, a sassy guitar look. Sokka told me the story of what happened. I know who did it, and I know how to find him. Um, and what exactly do you think this will- While Aang is annoying in this moment, he's also valid. You're feeling unbelievable pain and rage. How do you think I felt about the sand- And your entire lava? people. Mm -hmm. I think it's about getting revenge. Fine, maybe it is. Maybe that's what I need. Ooh. Tara, you sound like Jet. It's not the same. Jet attack the innocent. This man, he's a monster. I think this is like the most angry we've seen Katara. She's just like tired of keeping everything locked in and like PC. She's like, I'm mad. I'm pissed. I want somebody to friggin' pay for all of this pain. Forgiveness. That's the same as doing nothing. No, it's not. Hmm. It's easy to do nothing. But it's hard to forgive. This is true. It's not just hard. It's impossible. All right, guys, time to open up the think tank in the comments. How do we feel? How do we feel about doing nothing versus forgiveness versus revenge? I don't know. How do you guys normally deal with situations? Obviously, if you have something at this level, how would you deal with something like this? But on like a day-to-day -day basis. I mean, I like to think that I'm good at forgiveness, but it's definitely hard and takes like a long time for me anyway. Um, but I do, I do think that is the best way because then you're still focusing on like the positive on like moving forward on yourself and not just stuck in the past which like this is currently what probably like 10 year 10 years old 10 years in the past i don't know so can oh. i borrow momo for a week <laughs> why do you need momo <laughs> just to have momo all right what's today's description let's see this herbal remedy is forgiveness and healing in a cup while this blend won't wash away trauma, <laughs> it serves as a vessel for healing. Tulsi, also found within the UA's offering blend, blended with heart-healthy rose petals and pain-relieving lemongrass, offers itself to you in your time of need. This episode shows us the dangers of vengeance, as well as karma. We are reminded of the power of forgiveness in our darkest moments and how it can bring closure. This episode also reflects the trauma left behind from war, unexpected loss, and genocide. Super light topics. Super light. No big deal. There's like little rose petals expanding in here. Okay, let's take this out. Time to sip our amazing tea. What do you think, Appa? I feel like you just forgive everyone. Even even after you've been through some, some trauma, he forgives. Actually, maybe he doesn't. He remembers. I don't know. Appa, I feel like Appa sometimes still holds grudges. He's like, you hurt me. I don't like you. <laughs> That's valid. Oof, now we see Katara's perspective. Oh boy. Get out of here! Mom, I'm scared. Go find your dad. Oh gosh. I'll handle this. Mm. And in that moment, she didn't know that she was being protected. Dad! Dad! Please! I think mom's in trouble! There's a man in our house! Oh gosh. 
Kaya. Kaya. What a beautiful name. I love the name Kaya. Because they, they came in looking for the last waterbender, right? And so she said that she was the last waterbender, her mom, Kaya, to protect Katara, right? Am I am I remembering that correctly? Maybe they're gonna say that, but that's that's what happened, right? Nice! Water whip him into the ocean. Bye! Mmm. Ooh, this is so good. Oh, it's so warm and nice. Ooh, I love it. Just a casual, calming, heart-happy tea as Katara and Zuko attack some Fire Nation dudes. <laughs> this is it, Katara. Are you ready to face him? Ooh. Who are you? Who are you? Yeah, wait, this guy, this guy is like a little too young though. Oh, oh, right. I forget that she had blood bends in this episode. Oh, yikes. Oof. Zuko's like, yikes. <laughs> Think back to your last raid on the Southern Water Tribe. I don't know what you're He's like, I didn't do that. <laughs> Wrong person. You look her in the eye and you tell me you don't remember what Oof. you did. They need Toph so she can be like, guys, wrong guy. Wrong guy. Yep, wrong person. It's not him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You must be looking for Yan Ra. He retired four years ago. Ha ha! Yan Ra. Yan Ra! Oh. You lazy piece of work! <laughs> I need something! <laughs> Yes, oh gosh. <laughs> Get your grimy hiney to the market and buy me some real food! <laughs> Mixed feelings. It makes sense that he still lives with his mom, because, like, you know, he clearly isn't great. Uh, but, but also it's kind of like, oh, it's nice that you're, like, living with your mom and taking care of your mom. But also, it's annoying that, like, you have this little peaceful life where you're just gardening and relaxing. Like... F you. But also, he's clearly getting yelled at, like, every day, so that's not fun either. I don't know. Also, if you're, like, the head of a of a raiding squad or a team or something, wouldn't you, like, have money? Wouldn't he have his own house? Maybe he doesn't want his own house? I have too many questions. Okay, we're zeroing in. Locking back in with Qatar. Just unfazed by the rain. He's like, alright. <laughs> Walking home, just drenched. Nobody sneaks up on me without getting burned. Hmm. Well, that was unnecessary. Simple string. I remember you now. You're the little water tribe girl. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Now we get now to hear. Yes. Me. Now we get to see. Who is it? Who's the water bender? There are no water benders here. Mm. She lied to you. She was protecting the last water bender. What? It's me. Who? Me. Oh, this is so cool. Oof. Oh, that's so freaky. And you deserve revenge. So why don't you take my mother? That would be fair. Uh, I always wondered uh, what kind of person could do such. Oh my gosh. A terrible human. Yeah, I mean if you look at it, I guess his life is already kind of miserable on its own. <sighs> so intense. Such a pretty shot. Zuko told me what you did. Or what you didn't do, I guess. Mm -hmm. But I didn't forgive him. I'll never forgive him. But I am ready to forgive you. Yay. Oh, All Zutara fans rise up. <laughs> Violence wasn't the answer. It, it never is. is. Then I have a question for you. What are you gonna do when you face my father? Yeah. And they leave you with that question, and that's the end. Ah. Okay, so left with a big question. If violence isn't the answer, how are we taking out the Fire Lord? <laughs> oh. No big no big deal. Small questions. Small questions to answer. I love this episode. I feel like it grapples with such a hard concept of like weakness and strength. What that means what forgiveness versus revenge mean tied into like weakness and strength. I mean, nothing is black and white. It's all very gray. Every single person has to deal with something that is just kind of ambiguous and you have to navigate it on your own and, and no one can tell you. And watching Katara get angry and like be angry for real, for real. Oof, don't cross that woman. Mm -mm, don't do it. 
<laughs> Please introduce yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I am James C. And um, you may know me as a certain purveyor of cabbages during the uh, first two seasons of Avatar. <laughs> yes, and I, of course, I had to don my cabbages t-shirt for the day um but it but it's gonna hide underneath my my fire nation <laughs> my fire nation colors she's so, in disguise so my cabbages is here in spirit finally can you imagine these two actually coexisting harmoniously at the beginning of the series <laughs> Doesn't that seem kind of weird? and this is a great episode because it's like the last moment of levity yes like before the war mm -hmm. you know the last um, last moment of fun yeah calm. yeah yeah the boy Iceberg is a new production from acclaimed playwright Pooh on Tim, who scoured the globe gathering... Looks amazing. Avatar, Looks great. ...from the icy South Pole to the heart of Ba Sing Se. Oh. His sources include singing nomads, pirates, prisoners of war, and a surprisingly knowledgeable merchant of cash. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> <laughs> That's you! <laughs> That's me. Thank you. Good night. Okay, let's see. What, uh, what do we have... For our tea today. Okay, book three, episode 17, The Ember Island Players. Flaming Fire Flakes Blend. Ooh. Cinnamon Chili Black Tea Blend with smoked black tea, cinnamon, ginger, chili, and safflower. Wow. Yum. Preparation 212 degrees for a five minute steep. Yum. Okay, a little spicy, a little spicy. Are you a big tea person? Mm, I yeah. can. I can. can be? Okay, yeah. all right. So we might have some mixed reviews here. It's okay. We've had some people who hate tea okay. on, on, you know, this, this show. So it's okay. My feet can't see a thing from up here. Don't worry. I'll tell your feet what's happening. <laughs> and it's like a murderer's row of the cast of yes. the Amber Island play. Yeah. It's crazy how, how great it is. Sokka, my only brother. <laughs> We constantly roam oh. these icy south That's great, seas. right? I think so. Yeah. All I want is a full feeling in my stomach. I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> Not wrong. I mean, this is kind of accurate. Yeah, exactly. My jokes are I think he's got you pegged. I love that I'm just enjoying this entire experience and everyone else is butter. miserable. I'm having a great time. Ooh, okay. It smells a little spicy and a little sweet. Oh, that, that's kind of nice. Yeah, yeah, kind of nice. I love the cleavage on this katara. It's really, it's really giving. I. <laughs> oh man, this ranger's a genius. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who are you, frozen boy? <laughs> I mean, who ever would have thought of casting Rachel Dratch <laughs> as the Avatar? It's the best! <laughs> who would have thought? I also love how this opera is really given, giving like dragon, yeah, no, like yeah, festival right, dragon right, vibes. Right, right, right. <laughs> Look at the legs <laughs> on Katara, I swear, oh my gosh. You know, many people have come up and been like, you guys should make cameos as the Ember Island players if they make it to season three. <laughs> And I mean, it would just be so fun. It would be fun. <laughs> Did I mention that I'm an incurable prankster? <laughs> I don't do that. That's not what I'm like. And I'm not a woman. <laughs> <laughs> they nailed you, Twinkle Toes. This was a very fun episode for me. Uh, I was having a great time. <laughs> Great Zuko, you must try this cake. I don't have time to stuff my face. Oh my gosh. And isn't that Dante's brother? Oh yeah, I yes. think so. I think so. So cool. I think I found something. <laughs> it's a flying rabbit monkey. <laughs> rabbit monkey. Hi everybody. I'm Rocky. Oh my Aww. gosh. Kyoshi warriors actually look pretty Just cool. This yeah. Just make my butt look fat. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also like a great way to like Think about the whole season in mm -hmm. retrospect, you know? Mm -hmm. Was it fun hearing people do you? Yeah, I think so. But also, I'm not really, I'm not really me. <laughs> no, you're very not you. <laughs> yeah, but I think it's pretty accurate. Yeah. I agree with her. I'm like, yeah. That's your inner. Yeah, that's my energy. <laughs> Got some interesting, like, kabuki theater references going on. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at Chet. Oh my gosh, the hair. What a hair. Chet, you're so bad. <laughs> She's not denying She's it. She's like, nope, oops, that's that's real. That one's accurate. I have to say the production values of this production. You know, really great. Really. Yeah, Ember Island's got a budget. They, yeah, they do. <laughs> you know, 
ever told me you made out with the moon spirit? Oh, I'm trying to. Oh my gosh. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> that is art. High art. I also love that this this theater is packed. Like Ember Island, this is clearly like the place to be. And obviously it's state sponsored. Of course. Yes. Of course. That woman playing the avatar doesn't resemble me at all. <laughs> I don't know. You are more in touch with your feminine side than most guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here to piss people off. Listen, friends. It's obvious that the playwright did his research. I know it must hurt. But what you're seeing up there on that stage is the truth. Is the truth. <laughs> My voice in this season is so much closer to what? me now. Like season two when I first start, yeah. it's it's so much higher. It's oh. so funny listening to my opening episode uh -huh. and being like, you know, I can see because I'm blind. It's like more up here. And then here she's, I'm, I grew up. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a year later. You do that on purpose. Yeah. That was all it, part of the plan. All part. There you are. It looks exactly like me. <laughs> my name's Tom. <laughs> Because it sounds like tough. Sounds like tough. And you get to be played by John DiMaggio. That's pretty amazing. It hurts, doesn't it? Are you kidding me? I wouldn't have cast it any other way. <laughs> wouldn't have cast it any other way. <laughs> See, I'm at peace with who I am. I release a sonic wave from my mouth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they they that, just have that so wrong. That's a that's a liberty that they're taking. <laughs> Oh, like echolocation. Oh my gosh, I love that that's what they think is happening. <laughs> time to time to try some tea. All right. Let's see. It's probably going to be a little bit lighter because mm. it, we're splitting one bag. So it might be a little more gentle than It does usual. smell really nice. Okay. Yeah. All right, it's a little hot. I'm going to yeah. cool off for a few minutes. Yeah, this special effects guy is working overtime. I, Over hope, I hope he's getting like bonuses. He doesn't probably even have not. an assistant. And he's just him doing all of it. <laughs> incredible. Absolutely incredible. Oh boy, getting tired. Uh -huh. There's not enough. Oh, that's uh, me. That's me at the first act of any play. <laughs> oh no. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. <laughs> well timed. Yeah. You know, it was really unclear. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> the that's, question that's, yes. of the season. <laughs> that was like fan commentary. Did Jet just die? <laughs> <laughs> the Avatar. <laughs> I have to admit, I've always, I always kind of shipped them. What, Zuko and, and Katara? <gasps> Guys, we've got a Zutara fan. You have lo lots of people agree with you, you know, clearly. <gasps> oh, oh, right, right, the betrayal. You smell. Uh -oh. You didn't really say that, did you? I might as well have. Oh. Brutal. It's great, though, that they, you know, there's emotion mm -hmm. in, in this episode, too. It, it's, you know, parody in one sense, but yeah. there's also real reflection happening. This is like a good therapy session for everyone before they head into battle. You know, clear exactly. the, clear up the chakras, <laughs> empty everything out, clear, you know, drain the lymph, you know, just <laughs> get it all out. <laughs> I love that May's got swords in her buns. I kind of wish she had that in real life. That's kind of cool. Oh, here he goes. Here goes the avatar. There she goes. There he goes. What oh is yeah, the, it's very subtle. What is the prominent taste? I feel like what it's mainly that? the chili flakes coming through. Maybe a little bit of the ginger. Maybe it's the ginger. What else is in there? Black tea, cinnamon, ginger, chili, chili safflower, and definitely a little lighter than than usual. This is more of a gentle steep because it was we're splitting a bag. Let's see. Okay. The description for today's tea. This episode primarily serves as a recap of everything major that has affected the main plotline thus far. From a different comedic perspective. <laughs> Just a little. We join Team Avatar with our favorite flaming fireflake snack once again and recall pivotal moments before the epic four-part season finale. There you go. That was today's description. Straightforward. Oh, I should have put chili flakes in the cabbage cookies. Ah, uh, next time. Next time. Next time. You get a muscly version of yourself taking down ten bags. She's like, yep, that's me. Making sassy remarks. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> My uncle. He's always been on my side, even when things were bad. He was there for me. I guess this is my so version much. of, and how do I you know, remain? going on a life-changing adventure with Zuko, because I don't get one otherwise. It's our bonding moment. This is it. This is all we got. You have redeemed yourself to your own. I do love the two of you together. It's a great pair. Now you're here with us. <sighs> He'd be proud. <laughs> Very Hi. nice of you. Which <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, see, we got a little moment. Yeah. We got a little bonding moment. Sweet. 
we both come from like a very well-off family, but like our parents are very traumatic, you know, to uh, for us. <laughs> so there's a little bit of shared history there. I'm a big soccer fan, but I don't think you're representing <laughs> quite as well as you could be. Oh no, another fan oh boy. with ideas. Oh boy. What does the cabbage merchant use to fix his cabbages? A cabbage uh, patch. That's kind of pretty good. Don't be afraid to make up some phrases, especially before an attack. Oh Something gosh. like. Flying kickabow! <laughs> Flying kickabow. I'm just a guy who likes comedy. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Did you always know that they were gonna I was just like a end up together? together? You? Did you? I I I just assumed because I feel like that's you know mm -hmm. they've been together since the beginning. Right. We kissed at the invasion, and I thought we were gonna be together, but we're not. Uh -oh. Hang. I don't know. We're trying to save the world. I don't have time for this right now. Well, when is the right time? After? <laughs> After? After you, you save, save the world? world? <laughs> Just a little confused. I also love how they took none of this seriously and then that moment happened. Oh. I just said I was confused. Oh, yikes. I forgot about this. Mm. I'm going inside. Ooh, I forgot about this Folks, scene. Folks, get consent. I'm such an idiot. Yes, yes you are. I totally forgot that he he snuck that one yeah. in there. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That that never ends well. If someone's confused, kissing them's not the answer. No, no. <laughs> I just want to let you know, Aang, that I'll always She's love a very zaftig. Yes. Katara. Hey Top, would you say you and Aang have a rocky relationship? <laughs> <laughs> a pow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Suki's like, what am I dating? <laughs> she's very, she's very patient. Oh, God bless her. I guess that's it. The play's caught up to the present now. Nope. Wait, the play's not over. They're going to be taking some, some oh. fun liberties with the ending now. Hmm. Father, Zuko and the Avatar are at the palace. They are trying to stop you. Is that great too? You know who it is? Because it sounds... It's Terra Strong. That's right. I was like, I couldn't remember, but it was somebody who was, yeah. And it, similar, it's really so cool funny. because Tara and Gray are such huge yeah. animation titans. So for them to play each other is yeah. really cool. <laughs> <laughs> I love this bending with ribbons. Yes. Ooh, ooh, cool. <laughs> oh. Oof. oh. Brutal. Oh. The comet is already here. Uh oh. It's like worst nightmare coming true. Right. And it just makes makes him remember the stakes. That, that he has to right. do all of this. Yeah. Ah. Oh. So cool how they made it, ad adapted it to this stage, you know? With its it's very impressive. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't a good play. <laughs> oh. I'll say. No kidding. Horrible. You said it. <laughs> but the effects were decent. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I oh, it's end. over. Yeah. It's so fast. Oh. So fast. I think it needed a tough tagline. Can't wait to see the sequel. Well, that was a great episode. Yeah. Cheers. Beautiful, beautiful Ember Island players. Today is the beginning of the end, and we have a very special guest with us. Please introduce yourself. Hi. I'm Phil Lamar, <laughs> and I'm here because I had the fortune of being able to voice the Earth King. Once again, a blissful beginning. Ooh, firebending. Mm -hmm. Twinkle Toes is getting pretty good. <laughs> now let me <laughs> roar like a Tiger Dillo. <laughs> tiger Dillo. <laughs> He's so gentle. <laughs> <laughs> I said roar. He's like, I don't know how to do that. There we go. Whoa. There we go. Momo's freaked out. That's better. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants a nice, cool glass of watermelon juice? Watermelon juice? <laughs> Is that our flavor? Mm, let's get into today's tea flavor. Okay, today's flavor is Melon Lord, a watermelon oolong. <laughs> <laughs> it's oolong, papaya, safflower petals, and then some watermelon flavor. Mm. Oh. All right, preparation 200 degrees, five minutes steep. We could make this an icy drink, but you know what? It's still technically winter, so we're still keeping it cozy in here, even though it is warm in LA. It's like really nice outside. <laughs> <laughs> no oh snow. Gosh. No snow. No snow here. Are you a big tea drinker Not a at all? Big one, but okay. I do drink tea. I don't okay. drink coffee. 
Not me neither. There you go. Yeah. Why? Why no coffee? Just mm -hmm. don't like the flavor. Yeah. Yeah. That is. Yep. That is indeed watermelon. Give it a sniff. Ah. <laughs> it's a watermelon oolong for sure. Rare to have tea that smells like that. Ah. Uh, yeah. I'm so proud of myself. Right? TBT to when Sandbending took out Appa and me. I was like, not gonna let that happen again. I love that the subtext that, that she was an amazing artist with her yeah. powers. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Suki, we'll all understand if you break up with him over there. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's <laughs> Oh, I see the little bits of I think this is oh, there's papaya. In there. Yeah, this might be the papaya. Hello, hello. I'm trying to get a little piece of it so you can see. Okay, there it is. Tiny, tiny little fruit. All right, water has been added. I'm gonna let this steep for a few minutes. Get in there. Get in there. There we go. But you're there we go. making tea from a recipe. Yeah, right. Get a grip before he blasts you off this roof. Go ahead and do it. What is your take on the necessity of like violence for victory? Ooh. Yeah. Well. It's not a necessity, but it is a, a level of realism. Yeah. Because our real world always mm -hmm. has elements of violence. Yeah. But not that's every true. fantasy world does. No. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Are you, what, what kind of bender are you in real life, Bill? Are you an airbender? Are you seem like, a, you seem relatively peaceful. Are you an airbender? Are you a waterbender? Are you fiery? What's, who are you? I wish I was a bender. <laughs> Are you Sokka? No, I'm just gonna... <laughs> Are you Momo? <laughs> Who do you resonate most with in this show? How can you sit around having beach parties when Sozin's Comet is only three days away? They're like, we're trying to relax. <laughs> we're trying to not think about it. I know. I was actually gonna wait to fight the Fire Lord until after it came. After? I'm not ready. Aww, I need more time so to master Fire mm -hmm. And frankly, your earth bending could still use some work too. Yeah, gotta, I gotta jab it in there. Just saying. Also, you still aren't amazing at this. <laughs> not as good as me. Yeah. But they pretty much won the war when they took Ba Sing Se. That's why I'm not in this episode. Yeah, right. <laughs> My father had finally accepted me back. So dramatic. Right. Welcome. Have you seen this show all the way through, or have you only seen bits no. and pieces? Yeah, I don't watch here and there. Every episode of anything. Okay, <laughs> you don't have time. <laughs> He's busy. Just a Boss bunch of men sitting around being dudes, control. talking about bro Earth things. <laughs> right. What is your recommendation? See, it's one of the most amazing things about Mark. Once the eclipse is over, he said, "You don't recognize him." Do you think that adding more troops will stop these rebellions? Yeah, it's such a different voice than I feel like people are. Yeah. Would expect. Mm -hmm. It's just a surprise. <laughs> well, and that's a Easter egg. and that's a I guess a really great level of talent to yeah. be able to have multiple iconic voices. A hundred percent. You know, yeah. his Joker voice, his Luke voice, this voice, yeah. and they're all different. They're all different. And burn it all to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you're right, Azula. <laughs> Gray and, and Mark going in together. <laughs> right? When the comet last came, my grandfather fired. It's so serious. I mean, I know that this is like very foreboding, but like it's almost laughable because it's just so intense. And for what? And for mm -hmm. what? Well, just to like take over people and own mm -hmm. them? It's like for just guys, you have so much money already. Just like enjoy your palace and like go on vacation. Like, why are we stressing about this? I assume yeah. you're still gonna fight him before the comet. The comet. That's told me you decided to wait. This is bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. You don't have to do this alone. Yeah. If we all fight the Fire Lord together, we got a shot at taking him down. <laughs> I'm so excited to fight. <laughs> yep. We got a shot. Well, because with your power. <laughs> You can kill them and bury them. Exactly. That's right. Yeah, burial's never been cheaper. <laughs> Get over here, Zuko. Being part of the group also means being part of group hugs. Uh, <laughs> group hugs. Gotta do the group hug. Get and in there. Who does it? And Appa! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the comedic timing of the creatures in this show. Yeah. So good. If you let the energy in your own body flow, the lightning will follow it. You turn your opponent's energy <gasps> against them. Mm -hmm. Look at that. They ex they're explaining the powers. Yes. You can you can learn DC comics have never explained how Superman flies. Yeah. 
you need to send a strongly worded email. I'm like, excuse me, this has not been explained. It means they thought it, it means they thought everything through. They truly have, yeah, description for everything. You feel so powerful holding that much energy in your body. Oof. But you know if you make the wrong move, it's over. <laughs> Well, not <laughs> <laughs> super, super lightweight, no big deal. Have to take the Fire Lord's life before he takes yours. <laughs> He's like, I don't yeah, like the. I'll just do that. <laughs> Casual. Fighting war, even for a good cause, is still not a good thing. <gasps> oh. Aha. Okay, it's time for tea description time. So, Melon Lord the watermelon oolong, take a moment to enjoy this refreshing blend before we begin our four-part finale into wrapping up this series. Aang and the rest of Team Avatar challenge each other to fight against the Melon Lord. Defeat this melon oolong with a combination of water, fire, earth, and airbending to prepare the perfect tea. So I get to chuck flaming rocks at all of you? Whatever makes the training feel more realistic. <laughs> chuck those flaming rocks. <laughs> <laughs> so good. This blend will leave you meditating off ocean shores and wandering to strange islands. Add a fresh slice of watermelon to your drink to enhance the fruit flavor. We shan't be doing that today, but I feel like there's enough fruit in there that we will be set. <laughs> I am Melon Lord! <laughs> I'm enjoying this way too much. <laughs> yeah. Well, because who else could they train against other than Toph? And also, she kind of isn't afraid to really give it her all. She's like, yeah. oh, they can take it. She's not holding back at all. Right? Wah, wah, wah. Melon Lord. Oh. Can't do it. He's too good hearted. He's too nice. He's so nice. What's wrong with you? If this was the real deal, you'd be shot full of mm. lightning right now. I'm sorry, but it just didn't feel right. I didn't feel like myself. Mm -hmm. This is like a quintessential trust your gut feeling. Yeah, it's so t well, he's like, the Avatar, my job is to save the world, mm -hmm. not to kill people. Mm -hmm. And they're saying, no, that's how you save the world. And he's like, but there has to be another way. And they're like, no. And he's like, yes. Yes. Okay, thoughts. Hmm? Very fruity. Yes, but in the, in the good way. And I found this. Uh, 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 baby, baby picture. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh yeah. Well, that sweet little kid grew up to be a monster. <laughs> Yikes. The worst father in the history of fathers. <laughs> Jeez. That is indeed a watermelon oolong. <laughs> Extremely fruity. Very yes. The oolong is coming through the watermelon, the papaya. It's all there. All happening. Show him his baby pictures, and all those happy memories will make him good again. <laughs> Do you really think that would work? <laughs> no. <laughs> <sighs> Brutal. Yeah. Then when you figure out a way for me to beat the Fire Lord without taking his life, I love to hear it. Brutal. It's another path other than killing. That's a good hero. Mm -hmm. And this is where things go wacky. Meditation time. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get your tea. <sighs> breathe in and breathe out. Yes. Are you a big meditation person? Mm -hmm. Do you do yoga? Do you meditate? Do you journal? Um, I do meditation occasionally, okay. but no, no, no yoga. I love the spirit world's right. stuff. I think it is so beautiful. It's one of my favorite parts of Korra, actually, too. They go into more spirit world lore, and it's just mm. a beautiful, beautiful world full of critters and creatures and energy and whatever. It's awesome. I wish I could do that with my meditations. Okay, that's everything. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I love how everyone's just not paying attention. Right. Come on, Lazy Bows, let's, <laughs> let's go. You should have been tough. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nope. I don't sound like someone with bangs. <laughs> Let's check the beach. Look, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a little foreboding, actually. Just like it, walking into the water and then it's... Right? Then what do you think happened to him, oh sleuthy one? <laughs> oh sleuthy one. So good. All of the names are so good. He's definitely on a spirit world journey. <gasps> but if he was, wouldn't his body... He's got it correct. Sucker knows. Yeah. Forgot about that. But it's a different kind of spirit journey. He's not wrong. Split up and look for him. <laughs> I'm going with Zuko. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else went on a life-changing field trip with Zuko. Now, now it's, it's my, my turn. turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, they're looking for his body, and they think they found it. Nope. And it is Avatar State. Not <laughs> to cosplayer. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Ember Island players out for their autographs. But they never gave me the one thing that I really wanted. Their love. Oh. You know what I mean? Oh, gosh. Look, <laughs> I know you had a rough childhood, but we should really focus on finding Aang. 
<laughs> so much heart. I just wanted to connect with him because I was like, oh, you grew up really privileged, but like your parents and you didn't get along. That's the same as me. Mm-hmm. And he was just not interested. Just not having it. Right. Brutal. Momo's missing too? Oh, <laughs> I knew it was only a matter of time. <laughs> <laughs> Sokka, Appa didn't eat Momo. That's probably his egg. That's just what Appa wants you to think. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, you are kind of the expert on tracking egg. Yeah. If anyone's got experience hunting the Avatar, it gets you. It's not wrong. <laughs> Two whole seasons worth. Right? Why are we heading towards the Earth Kingdom? There's no way Aang's there. Just trust me. Just trust me. Dante's <laughs> iconic. So you could have done Zuko too. Yeah, you would have been tough. I could have been Zuko. It would have been great. Yeah, totally, totally as good of a show. Right? She's so crabby all the time. Always. All the time. Oh my gosh. Even over her helpers. Yeah, just like so brutal. Well, guess that's why she's so tough against her enemies, and why her dad likes her. Yeah, literally. <laughs> that's why she's on his good side. My decision is final. This is like the beginning of her breaking. Like right? I love that their whole family has the bad attitude. Bad. Bad. Fire Lord Azula? <laughs> it does seem appropriate. <laughs> that sounds like a great spinoff. I shall be reborn as the supreme ruler of the world. <laughs> From this moment on, Gosh. I will be known as the Phoenix King. Oh my gosh. It's so unnecessary. <laughs> right? It's just, it's just absurd. <laughs> That's, but it explains why he's yeah. taking everything over. Yeah. Ego, ego, ego. Ego. Fuel the ego even more. But dude, you're the king Insane. of the nation. Insane. I want to be more. Also, this this really is, I feel like, the beginning of, of Azula's breaking point. Mm. As, as soon as Zuko leaves and she's, like, alone, she clings on to her father, like, extra hard. Uh. And then as soon as he does this, you already see her start to break a little. Like, she's not... Right. Not well. June. June, baby. I love June. Ah! June is like my favorite. Oh yeah, that weird bounty hunter with the <laughs> mole. Oh my gosh. Her skin is flawless. No, she has this giant mole. Did Jennifer Hale do motion capture? <laughs> I know, right? I don't <laughs> it looks know. Like she, her. She's, she kind of gives you pre-Asami vibes, like Korra, uh, you know, Asami and Korra. Uh. There's a little glimmer of that in here, but June is, is a little I more don't badass. Know who I think. This June lady is, but, but I, I like her. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> oh. Hey, Momo. Hmm. I just had the strangest dream. Oh my god. Surprise! It's not a dream. I wish I could meditate with a pet. Uh oh. Right. D. Was that good? No, good. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Wow. Ah. Woo! Cliffhangers. The end of Susan's Comet Part One. The Phoenix Gate. <laughs> okay, so I know, I know, Phil, you haven't seen too, too many of these, but uh, reactions, thoughts about any of the characters, about the tea? What are your, <laughs> what are your wrap-up thoughts of what we just watched and drank? Well, to me, this is a, you know, typical Avatar episode because it's got heart, mm-hmm. but also great plot, mm-hmm. you know, and real, real character. I mean. It's so rare back then yeah. to find animation with characters that have, you know, that are built on so many levels like this. They're yeah. funny. Multifaceted. They have attitudes. Mm-hmm. They have romance. Mm-hmm. You know, all of that. They I mean, make mistakes. Right. They forgive each other. Sometimes they forget to forgive each other. It's yeah. And, or then they, and other, they also yeah. they fight for for what is great. Yeah. They're heroes and people. Yeah, they're you heroes know. and people. Yes, absolutely. So we've just found June. I am a big fan of June. Who isn't a big fan of June? So you work things out with your girlfriend. Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee, <laughs> Zutara. <laughs> I was only teasing. So what do you want? I was only teasing. I was only, I was only teasing. Teasing. I've been drinking too much tea. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the sheer shoe and Appa getting along. Okay. <laughs> something with the avatar scent on it. I have Ang staff. Oh gosh. All right, let's see. Let's see what's going on with today's tea flavor. Uh, Sozin's Comet Part 2, The Old Masters. Ooh, a white lotus blend. Chrysanthemum white tea blend. Yum. Okay. Bai Mu Don white tea 
and chrysanthemum flowers. Preparation 180 degrees, three minutes steep. Lovely. All right, let's give this a little sniff. I love when there is a full chrysanthemum flower in here. Hold on, hold on, let's get this. Ooh, that smells so good, okay. Love a good floral tea. Come here, come here, little flower. Maybe if we climb to the top of the island, we can figure out where we are. Yeah, where is Aang? Because this is kind of spirit world, but it's not technically. It's kind of like, kind of like Twilight Zone, right? He's kind of like in between spirit world and, and real world, or is that the spirit world? I don't know. Little flower. <laughs> All right, time to add the hot water. Do, 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 do. La, 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 la. Yeah, come on, chrysanthemum, get in there. All right, let that steep for a little bit. The imagery is gorgeous in this episode. Also like the bold dark blue eyeshadow. It's been a long day. A choice, a choice, it's nice. All right, Twinkle Toes, what are you up to? Let's see. All right, this enlightening white tea blend represents the ancient sacred knowledge that is protected with secrecy and trust. Aang seeks counsel with his past selves and a wise lion turtle. The secretive order of the White Lotus reveal themselves as familiar faces that we've seen throughout the series. Ha ha. This tea blend invigorates us for an intense battle of skill and ingenuity. Okay. So this is this is kind of an Aang-centric flavor, even though, you know, there's a lot of intensity and pressure going on throughout the rest of the episode. This is very much like White Lotus, ancient history kind of based tea flavor. All right. All right. We're, we're vibing with Aang during today's tea sipping. But I see that you are lost in more ways than one right now. I am. I need to figure out- Being lost in more ways than one right now, like mere moments away from attacking the Fire Lord. Ooh, okay, maybe not fast enough. But I do love that I can sense people coming and just immediately wake up. Oh, oh, White Lotus people. We're good, we're chilling. Boomy. I love that Boomy's never wearing a shirt. <laughs> Always a cape, never a shirt. <laughs> if I had been more decisive and acted sooner, mm. I could have stopped Sozin and stopped the war before it Yeah, see, it's tough, because depending on who I you're fighting against, you kind of need to be decisive and just, like, end things. Otherwise, they're going to get worse. We're surrounded by old people. <laughs> What's going on? We're surrounded by old people. <laughs> It is respectful to bow to an old master, but how about a hug for your new grandfather? Aww. That's so exciting! <laughs> Sokka! Welcome to the family grave, Grandpa! Oh my gosh. You can still just call me Paku. <laughs> Grandpaku! Oh boy. No. <laughs> so wait, how do you all know each other? All old people know each other. Don't you know that? <laughs> Is that true, guys? Do all old people know each other? Is the world just too small and by the time you get to old age, you're like, oh, we all know each other. <laughs> the Order of the White Lotus. Ha ha! Order of the White Lotus. Just like today's tea. Just like the theme of the entire tea box that Tea Cozy put together. It came from a Grand Lotus, your uncle. Ho 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 ho. Fire Nation. Well, that's who we're looking for. Then we'll take you to it. Good job, me. <laughs> Someone's missing from your group. Mm -hmm. Someone very important. Yes. Twinkle toes. Momo. <laughs> Momo. So long as they have each other, I'm sure we have nothing to worry about. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> what a kooky, amazing old man. Love Boomy. <laughs> Avatar Kiyoshi, I need your wisdom. I love how Momo's like, bro, you're just talking into space who are you talking to in my day chin the conqueror threatened to throw the world out of balance why is it that every generation somebody's trying to throw the world out of balance why have we not learned is everything just cyclical are we just doomed to circles of history only justice will bring peace only justice will bring peace but okay only justice will bring peace but but violence isn't necessary for justice Always, right? But I knew I'd know it when I knew it. <laughs> I knew I'd know it when I knew it. <laughs> All right, quick little three minutes steep. Let's take this out. Nice. And he's released. What a vibe. What do you think you're doing? Ha ha ha. Get bend. 
Bye, guys. Taking back my city. That's right, baby. You got no firepower, and it's payback time. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about it. Boomy versus Toph. Who's winning? Would they just join forces? Would it be a tie? Sound off. Sound off in the comments. Whoosha! Goodbye, Fire Nation. Oh. Did he just eat an icicle? What? What, what was that? Wait a second. <laughs> I am Avatar Kuro. When I was young, I was always okay. Cheekbones. Flow, cheekbones jawline, Mr. Surfing Man. Oh, this is so nice. Hmm. Mm. lost the woman I loved. Oh no! The face stealer. Oh, that was one of the faces. No! If I had been more attentive and more active, I could have saved her. No, oh, Ko. Out here stealing faces. For what? What good? Come on now. Mm. This could definitely be oversteeped if you if you let it sit for too long. This was like a perfect amount of time. I like mine a little heavier, so I did like four minutes, but definitely timing important for this blend. Your uncle's in there, Prince. <gasps> oh, I love this moment. Oh, this is good. Okay, okay, okay. Settle in, folks. Oh, okay? not yet. Okay, almost. No, it's not okay. My uncle hates me. I know it. No. No. That's not how it works. Uncle. <laughs> so Zuko's like, all right. Nap time. Understandable. And see, this is how you know he's grown. He doesn't go and wake him up. He waits patiently until his uncle's rested. Ah, this is such a good show. I know you can't really talk. Pretending you can't just makes me think. <laughs> My Momo's almost there, guys. <laughs> I am Avatar Yang Chen, young man. Yang Chen! Avatar Yang Chen. The monks always talk Shout out to FCE like for his amazing books. If you haven't read Avatar Kyoshi, Avatar Yang Chen. Dope books, go check them out, go check them out. Selfless duty calls you to sacrifice your own spiritual needs and do whatever it takes to protect the world. I love how every spirit, like hundreds of years old spirits, are like, no, you need to save the world. Like, do whatever you need to do to save the world. It's your duty to not put yourself first and to save the world. I don't know how I can ever make it up to you, but I... How can you forgive me so easily? I thought you would be furious with me. I was never angry with you. I was sad because I was afraid you lost your way. <laughs> and I am so happy you found your way here. He's so proud. It wasn't that hard, Uncle. You have a pretty strong scent. <laughs> Oh my gosh, of course they have to like toss in that little comedy moment in there. Just, just to, ah, just so that we don't drown in a puddle of our own tears. Oh my gosh. Gosh, what a moment. What a journey from the frickin' beginning until now. Oh, feelings. Okay. All right. Ay -ay -ay. All right, back to Twinkle Toes. They're not getting larger. They're getting closer. Aha. Time to return to land. And fulfill your duty. Okay, wait. Why is Aang swimming when he can airbend? Why, why not just like airbend your way to the front? I mean, this is great. Or like waterbend yourself. Why is he swimming? <laughs> why is he exerting this extra effort? You struggled, you suffered. But you have always followed your own path. You restored your own honor. And only you can restore the honor of the Fire Nation. Here, here. Struggled, work hard. Got his own honor. Restore honor of the Fire Nation. Super chill. Super chill character arc. <laughs> My destiny is to take it back from the Fire Nation. Aha. So the Earth Kingdom can be free again. Yes. Bossing Say is definitely an Uncle Iroh vibe. I can handle Azula. Mm -hmm. Not alone. You'll need help. Mm -hmm. You're right. Let Katara, your friends help you. How would you like to help me put Azula in her place? 
It would be my pleasure. Zutara Alliance. Even though we don't know where Aang is, we need to do everything we can to stop the airship fleet. Mm -hmm. And that means when Aang does face the Fire Lord, we'll be right there if he needs us. That's right, baby. Yeah, let the Earthbender stop the air fleet. <laughs> Quicker than a giant eel hound. Eel hound? The airship base is on a oh, I forgot about those critters. They're weird looking, but they look cool. I kind of want to ride one. So if I'm going to be Fire Lord after the war is over, what are you going to do? After I reconquer Ba Sing Se, I'm going to reconquer my tea shop. Yeah, baby. And I'm going to play pie show every day. Pie show and tea every day in Ba Sing Se. What a squad. What a squad. Destiny is our friend. I know it. Destiny is our friend. <sighs> what a send off. Give them some good soup, give them some tea, give them some quotes about destiny on their way to war. Ooh. Hello, big lion turtle face. Even my own past lives are expecting me to end someone's life. Mm hmm. But I don't Ooh. know if I can do it. The music in the background? Whether all the lies and illusions without being lost. The like deep guttural voice, like vocals in the background, do you hear that? Like wob, wob. I don't know what they're saying, but ooh, that's cool. Darkness thrives in the void. Also, this voice. Who voiced the lion turtle? And can they read me bedtime stories? To end in fire. Oh yeah, and Phoenix King, bro. Uh-huh. Sure, sure, whatever. There's a comet. There it is. go end of the episode Ooh. Ooh. all of the things are happening we are halfway through the finale we only have two episodes left ah, it's all happening so quickly all right the amount of knowledge that was dropped in this episode okay the entire like order of the white lotus we got the lion turtle there's just like so much wisdom so much guidance so much forgiveness so much support oh the good vibes are flowing Today is the episode before the final, final episode, and we have a very, very special and possibly familiar guest. Please introduce yourself. <laughs> hello, hello. I'm Danny Mata. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, I uh, kind of, you know, I kind of started this. Yeah. Um, before <laughs> you rolled in with your talk credentials. Okay. <laughs> I've been doing this for a while, and he now... He's like the, one of the OG reactors <laughs> of life, so yeah, he, he knows what we're doing here more than I do. What if he loses? Aang won't lose. He's gonna come back. Were you ever part of, like, the, the shipping of Zuko and Katara? Oh, <laughs> I hadn't really thought of it much until a couple years ago, to be perfectly right. honest. Um, but somewhere in 2019, it, there was a lot of Zutara love that kind of bubbled up right. just that I became aware of, I suppose. And then I was like, oh, okay, I mean, I guess I could see that. And now every time I see them together, I'm like, it's so obvious. Yeah, I know. So please tell me why on the most important- <laughs> Between <day of> two <laughs> fingers. Decided to leave a pit in my cherry. It wasn't a decision. It was just a small Oh gosh. Mistake. I know, it's so tense. I'm like on the edge of my seat and I've seen this like eight times. I can't believe you're making me wait for the tea. Like, I so need the tea. Okay, this is okay, so we'll tense. do the tea. We'll do the tea. Okay, today's tea is Wrath of the Comet. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> it's a ginger turmeric herbal blend. See, it's very confusing. The titles Wrath are so of the intense. Comet. This one's got crack in it. Like <laughs> Ginger, cardamom, turmeric, clove, coriander, cinnamon, and safflower. Oh, that is today's blend. Preparation 212 degrees, five to seven minutes steep. Okay, okay, we'll get it going. We'll get it going. So you're a big tea person. What's your favorite tea? Do you have one? I like Constant Comet. Do you know that? <laughs> Why is that funny? <laughs> what? Where's the closest airship? It's right <laughs> I like I like how I ask where's the closest airship and then just launch us before the like, answer. Just forward. It's fine. When you guys were recording this, was there like, I don't know, was there any sense of like, this is the finale? Like, oh yeah. This is going to be tense. Yeah, 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 yeah. 100%. Like we were told, also everyone knew ahead of time, like there were three seasons of the show. 
and then like it was the finale like it wasn't right. like open-ended so i mean i was aware some people were kind of like oh i guess it ended because like it wasn't that popular and i was like no that it was planned ahead right. of time i knew that anyway so yeah this whole four-part kind of ending was a, a big deal big deal also they had like nine of us ten of us in the recording studio for the actual like finale finale oh crazy and normally it was just me or like just me right. and jack and so i was like oh this is a different day <laughs> goodbye Banishing everyone on your coronation day seems a little questionable. Definitely running out of people. Yeah, she's running out of... Yeah. <laughs> Not great. Her hair is down. <laughs> Not done. She's, she's just, killing it, though. She's just banishing everyone. Great first day. Oh, this is great. Good tough moment right here. Yeah. <laughs> this is great because... It, like, what a terrifying scenario for these guys. <laughs> They've never seen anybody metal bend. No. And all of a sudden, this little girl becomes the door. Yeah. <laughs> like... And they're like, what is happening? <laughs> I also like how I knocked in tune. <laughs> yeah. No, that's great. I love you scuttling across the sky. <laughs> I also, like, can't see anything. I mean, I can see, like, on the ship, obviously, because mm -hmm. there's metal, but, like, I can't... We're just flying through the air. I'm at a loss. Done. Yeah, that's right. Take the wheel. That's a great idea. Let the, <laughs> Let the blind, blind girls get a giant airship. Yeah. Wow. But I'm like in a dream right now. 12 year old me is like freaking out. And 20 year old me is like, relax, be cool. <laughs> Attention, crew. This is your captain speaking. It's Wang Fire. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> is that his name? Wang Fire and Sapphire Fire? I think right? so, yeah. That... Oh, yeah, yeah, that's where the war crimes start happening. Mm -hmm. They just start knocking ships together. Yep. Chaos ensues. I'm Quinn Lee. I work up in communications. <laughs> oh, hi. I work down in the engine. <laughs> oh, hi. So, do you know whose birthday it is? The I fact that they inserted... The <laughs> he really there oh we go. Gosh. I love that. That's so The good. fact that they inserted that whole little pre-scene before the guy said, Oh, my birthday! <laughs> like, just shows the brilliance of it. They, like, need these comedic moments. Uh, Otherwise, this would be too way much. too intense. Yeah. This is just so much. It's also kind of a reminder that anytime there's, like, something perilous and life-changing happening, there's also just normal life happening somewhere else. Yeah. No, for it's sure. Like... I I love them just at work. Yeah. Like, like, hey, <laughs> before headed, this headed to war. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my birthday cupcake. So why have you banished all your servants? Yeah. All your Dai agent and the Imperial Firebenders. None of them could be trusted. Uh, Sooner or later, they all would have betrayed me. See, this is a reflection. None of them could be trusted because she can't be trusted. Oh. oh, look at you. She cannot trust because she knows she cannot be trusted. <laughs> la, la, la. <laughs> but I will be the greatest leader in Fire Nation history. I love her whole palace just on fire. Uh, yeah, with like electricity fire. And postpone your coronation. What? Which one of you just said that? Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> what a shame. There's only one way to resolve this. You two must duel each other. Oh, gosh. I order you to fight an Agni Kai. I totally forgot she does that. That's yep. so funny. Fine. Lo, you're banished. <laughs> Lee, you can stay. Uh, I'm Lee. So who's banished? I would have loved <laughs> to see this duel, though. I like, know. <laughs> they just start going at oh each other. Gosh. As I get older and when I get, like, sassy, I've been told that I'm starting to sound like Azula. I think I told you that. You you were definitely you, one of the, yeah. Yeah, you're like in... slowly turning into Gray's voice. Uh, not as talented though, but that's okay. We'll get, maybe if I try hard, really hard, <laughs> during the next 10 years, I can add as many voices as she has. What is she life. behind this curtain that was so like nervous? <laughs> you're like, not as talented though. She can hear me. She's <laughs> everywhere. Gray Delisle is everywhere. <laughs> I wonder if someone at Nickelodeon was, like, watching this finale being like, how did we let this war arc play between two episodes of iCarly? Like, <laughs> like, how did we get here? How is this on our channel? Just casually, like, Tuesday after school, yeah. you know? <laughs> it's like you see the little bumper show up under this, and it's like, find out what happened to Gibby. Yeah. <laughs> up next, commercial breaks, too, between this. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Just like, dig up, dig up, dig up, dig up. Ugh. So cool. So sick. Also, the White Lotus is such, like, a wonderful concept of just, like, they're like a Peace Corps of yeah. just, like, all the elements. 
through all of the chaos of the rest of the world. It's such a cool concept that's like hardly in the show. Yeah, it's not really around. I mean, we see it, you know, three times, maybe yeah. four times. And also that insane bending. Like this is this is wild. <laughs> I know. Every time I rewatch Avatar, I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. It's like just a war. Literally, like, just a real war. Yep. This part is is honestly maybe more terrifying to me than her freak out at the end because like I've been here. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right, hair. Yeah. It's time to face your doom. Yeah. You've been like, I need bangs right now. I just you, when. Oh, and then the hallucination start. <laughs> yeah, every time. Every time you've cut your bangs. Don't pretend to act proud. Don't pretend <laughs> to act proud. <laughs> yeah, you could absolutely, like, they need a young Azula. Young Azula as if she's not, like, 14. I know, right? The most terrifying, like, 15-year-old, 16-year-old. They're so good at, like, animating her falling apart. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for some reason, like, I have chills right now. That is, like, <laughs> yeah. my, that's my Azula, like, crux. Like, at the end, when she's, like, really going, I'm, whatever. But, like, that moment, for some reason. No, that's great. I don't know, mirrors and, like, cutting. Hair is a very emotional topic. Really? Um, oh, yeah. I mean, maybe not for, maybe not for guys. I feel like your hair grows faster. But, like, any time a girl gets their hair cut, at least my friends and I, it's, like, a very sensitive thing. If it goes right. sideways, if it, like, if you change color, if you change length too much, like, you feel like you've changed your identity. It's a very, like... Right, because it feels, like, semi-permanent. Yeah. It's a very big moment. Oh, that bit's so cool. That's such a, like, 12-year-old me love that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Where he's doing it so intensely, it's like almost a laser. And just destroying the world, and for what? Like, literally, for why? <sighs> Poor Twinkle Toes, he's like, okay, I gotta stop this guy, but also not kill Time him. For you to go. Also, like, his voice is so low in this scene. He's grown up so much. I know, his voice Maybe. drops so dramatically from, like, not even just season two to three, but like from season three. Episode four. Yeah, <laughs> like to the finale. I mean, being 13 years old is such a pivotal moment. Yeah. You know, 13, 14, it's really, a lot of stuff goes down. I know, they were really like fighting against the fact that they cast actual kids. Yeah. I also love this just like, like rock town yeah. that they yeah, found. Like, where, like, where are we? I forget where we are. So sick. Oh my also, god. Also, like, gotta get naked to fight war. <laughs> gotta get naked to fight a child. <laughs> like, Maybe he just, like, saw that he's sleeveless and I don't know. I'm like, what's happening? Why? This is so anime. Why did you need to, like, shed all of your clothing? <laughs> I disagree. This is such a great look. Oh, I, it, it is a great look, but... If I could pull off, like, bicep bracelets, you better believe I'd you throw out all could, my Danny. shirts. You can pull off anything you want. <sighs> Stop. But go on. <laughs> Now the universe delivers you to me as an act of providence. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Please listen to me. Listen to me. <laughs> we don't <laughs> have to fight. I know. I love how growing up, I saw nothing wrong with, like, this 36-year-old man, like, squaring up on this 12-year-old. Like, I know. You're like, yeah, this is normal. Yeah. I know. He's like... Finally, my conquest is at an end. And Aang's like, please! <laughs> Wait! And then the 36-year-old man's like, no! And we're like, why won't he listen to reason? I also love, like, the episodes leading up to this are just all of Aang's friends being like, so you're gonna kill this guy, right? And he's like, no. <laughs> we need to stay focused on stopping that fleet from burning down the Earth Kingdom. And how do we do that, Captain Boomerang? Gotta, gotta toss in a, a nickname in the midst of war. I know, I like how you still call Aang Twinkle Toes. So yeah, this episode is, I think we filmed like the whole, I don't know if it was the whole hour or if it was like the final two as a half hour, but with like nine or 10 of us. So like Mark Hamill was in there, so everyone was right. freaking out. Right. And I was there and I didn't know why everyone was freaking out because I like saw Star Wars late, so I hadn't like put two and two together yet. I just didn't know what was going on. Right. <laughs> like, I think I'd seen the first two or three, but I didn't know that that was the same person yeah anyway. when you watch these episodes do you get like specific flashbacks of recording each one or is it all kind of like one big blur um i have little snippets right yeah i have specific snippets i feel like as most people i don't know i've learned that i have a decently good memory for of my childhood but i think it's because i started working and because i started right. working in like this so there's like visuals yeah attached um but i like remember being in 
booths and ADR stuff when I was like a kid kid and then remember a lot of Avatar stuff and like the waiting room and I feel like I've said this a couple times in other interviews but I remember like sensory things like I remember like pushing the button and like the intercom sound of like the front desk being oh, like interesting. hello and being like Jesse Flower like here for Avatar and they're like come on in <laughs> and like pushing the big door open and like the the sound of like the booth door closing and like the little foomp and like mm-hmm. just sitting in front of the mic and like the the sound of like the cans and like the crackle. I don't know. I remember like the sensory things. I like how everyone's like, yeah. So like, what do you remember about recording Avatar: The Last Airbender, <laughs> one of the biggest animated shows of all time? You're like, I remember the whoop. I remember yeah. the uh, psh, Jesse Flower. Please come in. Like, because <laughs> all the exciting stuff. It wasn't the biggest, you know, the deal at the time. So you know, right. it was just a cool job with cool people and Mike hey. and Brian listening to us record, which is also not normal for the show creators to like come listen oh, to you interesting. record your sessions because they care. Right. I I appreciate them and I feel like I am similar because I would want to be involved too. I yeah. just assumed all creators would like, I want to listen, I want to see, like, show me this draft, show me this draft. That is not the case. No, it seems weird for like a showrunner to be like, ah, they'll, you know, they'll they'll do all right. Yeah. Like we, we send hired the voices him. in when it's done. <laughs> it's gonna be a rough ride. It's gonna be a rough ride. And if we make it that far, I'll let you know. Smooth. So, so smooth. smooth. <laughs> I wish it was a little longer, though. Yeah? Not <laughs> enough like, of a smooth. Yeah, I feel like it needs to be a bit more of just, like, we might implode. I feel like it's I reasonable <laughs> as their ship, like, doesn't uh, a nose grind on every other ship. Yeah. <laughs> I love Sokka constantly keeping you from falling dude, to your dude, death. thank like, God, yeah. because otherwise I would just be gone. <laughs> like, there's no way. Yeah, I'm I'm getting the flashbacks now. This was all way too intense for me. So intense. And then he protects me and he covers my head. Uh, there was also like Toff Sokka like yeah, shippage Taka. going on. Taka. Abba. <laughs> There's no one there. There's no one at her coronation. That is so weird. I know. I feel like if they just stopped fighting back, there'd there'd be no one in the Fire Kingdom left anyway. She vanished everyone. Yeah, there's no one on in the army. Wait, you want to be Fire Lord? Also, fire. they like made her fire like just big. Like all the other ones have been like little fires, and hers is like <laughs> right. Agni Kai, you're on. Honestly, just have Appa go in and start yeah, eating I, I, people. Like, <laughs> yeah, she's she's Looney Bin Azula right now. Yeah, yep. big, big Looney Bin energy. In this way, no one else has to get hurt. Ah, uh, magic last words that are not true. <laughs> <laughs> I got to watch the best episode with you. <laughs> I'm sorry it has to end this way, brother. I'm sorry it has to end this way, brother. I'm just I'm gonna start being her. <laughs> It's it honestly, it's like the best person you could be. <laughs> I need to brush up on my firebending though. <laughs> so cool. The fact that she's only used blue flame slash like lightning uh, for how many episodes now? I feel like it's just been constantly blue for all of season three. She doesn't even use regular fire anymore. I think it's blue always. I don't think she has red fire. Yeah. She learned how to be extra evil early on and just stayed that way. Did you ever used to, like, practice bending as a kid? Not as much as I tried to practice magic. I think Harry, okay. Harry, <laughs> Harry Potter was, like, in the pocket for me oh, growing interesting. up. Oh, interesting. More than, than Avatar, because I also didn't have cable, so I wasn't watching Avatar. Right. I was, But I was watching the Harry Potter movies and reading the books. You were just walking around with a stick? Yes, zapping people. that I carved in my grandmother's great grandmother's backyard on her wetting stone, and oh. like, literally carved a, a wand for myself. Very cool. Yeah, I was like, yeah. I would go to the beach with my friend and like try to sand bend. Do a little, yeah, do a little sand bending. Yeah. Do a little water bending, like splashing back and forth. Yeah, casual, casual day at the beach. Oh my god, it takes a bit. <laughs> I was wondering when this would happen. I'm sorry. I I got distracted. No, it's my fault. I ruined Ooh. the whole like system here. No, you didn't. It's fine. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh gosh. I Where's love I Where's love this look look on a uh, Ozai as he sees this kid about to sap him back with lightning. Oof. Well, he just redirected it because mm-hmm. he doesn't want to kill him. Come on, Avatar State. No. Have What's you ever happening? heard? Have you ever heard the theory that like Ozai knows that Zuko taught Aang redirecting? 
Like that look on his face is him realizing that it was Iroh uh, or Zuko. I think it's just a look of a man who's ready to die. Yeah, like, I, I don't think afraid to get shocked. There's a lot of thought beyond that of just like, <laughs> oh crap, this guy can. He can. I was not. What? And yeah, this kid caught lightning. This is so cinematic and dramatic, and all oh, of the attics. I love that. Every attic. That this pose. I did all the time as a kid. I feel like the pose you used to like grow up doing determines what kind of bender you would be. That's true. That's true. Yeah, he's very calm. He's like the most calm Zuko we have seen. He's fighting, but he's not like manic, you know? Oh, that was sweet. I never noticed that like the fire is like the dragons. Do you see he did like two yeah, fires yeah, yeah, that yeah. like weave together? I've never yeah. noticed that. I'm gonna go scream about this in a TikTok <laughs> the second I get home. That genuinely blew me away. <laughs> the heat is on. Boy, is it. Singeing ginger blended with fiery cardamom and clove. This blend reflects the enhanced firepower that Ozai, Iroh, Zulu, and Zuko all display during this episode. We can taste the intensity of the moment within our cup as Sozin's Comet gives firebenders with extraordinary abilities. <laughs> Dude, this is so spicy. <laughs> I know. Very spicy. <laughs> Very spicy. I, like, briefly wondered if you, like, ever spiked some tea with spicy stuff. Boy, boy, have you. It was ginger as hell. Today would be the day. I'm a big ginger fan, though. Yeah? Mm hmm It also steeped for a little longer than seven minutes, so we're, we're extra spicy. It's so this good. This part is wild. Zutar, I mean, if this happened, how can you not be like a Zutara skin? I understand Aang also saves her, but like this is I know. so intense. Imagine kissing another man after this. I... Like, like, imagine. <laughs> I can't. I can't imagine. <laughs> the fact that Zuko didn't become an absolute tyrant after I... Katara kisses Aang. Yeah, I don't know. I guess Katara's a little too gentle for his taste, though. You know, May's a little edgy. There's True, a little, he is a little emo. He, need, he needs feelings. He should have ended up with June. You remember her? Yes. Yeah. Do I remember <laughs> June? The girl Iro was trying to pull. The girl I'm trying to pull. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that this whole finale ends in a war and the fact that June is in this show are the two craziest parts of this. Oh, that's it. That was literally, that was it. Oh yeah. my God, I talked through the <laughs> finale of the episode <laughs> about June and being hot. Okay, um, we have arrived. I added a few extra friends to join us for this episode. We have a cute little turtle duck, very cute. I have this little 3D printed Appa, whom I love. Isn't he just the cutest little thing? And I put my Toph headband uh, on Appa over here, just to, for extra good vibes. <laughs> All right, so we're picking up where we left off yesterday, which is in the middle of some very intense firebending. No big deal. That's it's very chill, very relaxing finale. Okay, I should I should let this bloom. All right, this is the final tea as I casually try to metal bend on top of like a falling airship. Get some grip in there. <laughs> this beautiful blossom, green tea blossom. Look at that, look at that. Wow, amazing. It smells so good. Sweet it is that you invented metal bending. <laughs> You could stand to mention it more. <laughs> Hell yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. I'm gonna put it in a clear cup so we can watch it bloom. Ugh. Gosh, I hated this part. I have like, I have faint memories of recording this episode just being, being intense. I mean, yes, all of us were like in the studio recording together, but like there was so much danger and like real, real danger. Normally I can, I can hold my own. In this one, uh-uh. My life is solely dependent on Sokka, like... Dude, Sokka's killing it right now. Oh, I'm sad about a sword, though. Sorry, bud. It looks like this Oof. is the end! That impact happened, and we didn't fall off? Suki did! Suki did. So just Suki and Sokka both have saved my life multiple times now. <laughs> Maybe that's their their couple pastime. It's like, ah, oh, remember when we were falling in love and just saved Toph's ass like 3,000 times? <laughs> okay, okay. Today's tea is a Jade Dragon Premium Green Tea. Premium Green Tea and a Carnation Blossom. 
gorgeous. Preparation 212 degrees, place ball in a clear vessel, pour boiling water over, and allow to bloom. Just like the end of this season. Plug in, baby. Plug into those past lives. You got it. Come on out, little boy. You're about to be... The gall of this, of this man to be like, come out, little boy. It's the Avatar. Bro, do you not... Can you not comprehend? Hello? Ha. Yeah. That hurts, doesn't it? I'm feeling sassy today. All right. Just boiled this water. Oh. Let's make sure our blossom's right in the middle here. And let it bloom. Add the water. Boom. Avatar egg, baby. All four elements. Ooh, this is blooming nicely. Okay. I don't know if you can see this. Oh, ow, hot. Oh, it's like all coming apart. There it is. It's blooming. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, Boomy. We love Boomy. Stack them up. <laughs> all the like tired, almost seemingly drunk men climbing out of these tanks. <laughs> Ooh. Uncle Iroh burning a Fire Nation flag. That's, that's something. But I mean, granted, it was covering the Earth Kingdom door, so. Yeah, dude, did you think you were gonna like mess with the Avatar and, and you like were just gonna easily win? I'm airbending. <laughs> I'm waterbending. See, look, I'm helping you. Good job. Good job, Twinkle Toes. Okay, I need to calm down. Gosh, just, just relentless. Absolutely chaotic, but chaotic. Not grounded. Mmm, so messy. Hey. Jesus. Insane. You know, I wonder if is this like a like a lack of empathy thing? Like, do we think that Azula's like actually a sociopath or like a psychopath, or did she just lack like? empathetic understanding as a child and feel like she never got any and so then she grew up without any? I don't know. Things to think about. Oh. Ooh. Iconic moment. Iconic moment. That's right, girly. You stuck now. Brilliant. Brilliant job on Katara's part. I mean, gosh, under pressure and, and with like a crazy woman after you. Zuko just got hurt. I mean, Thank you, I mean, I, think I'm the one who should I mean, what? Get, oh gosh, the, wow, God, my heart. Whew. I mean, if we wanted to make things a little spicier, there was definitely a moment in there when he like first kind of leaned up that they could have totally made out. If we just wanted to, you know, throw some chaos into the mix as if there wasn't already enough, you know, that, what, how, how, that was, there was such a moment. That was such a moment. Like, even if it's not like romantic long-term, like they just saved each other's lives, like together. That's romantic. That's like, that's like, I care about you. I must make out with you for two seconds because I saved you and you saved me and we're alive. I, they, they don't have to get married. No, just, just, how? How can you not? Oof. Gray talks about this scene as being really, really hard to record. Oof. Gosh, it's so intense every time. I mean, I feel like we've all been there though. I feel like I feel like all of us have been everybody in this show almost. Maybe maybe not the Fire Lord. I don't know. <laughs> I'm a little touchy. But like I, I know that I've been that low a few times in my life. Maybe multiple. <laughs> and I feel like I've been in places where I'm I'm more Katara or or more Zuko or more Egg. I don't know. I feel like the show does such a good job of just like making every character 
relatable, but also somebody to learn from. Meanwhile, Twinkle Toes is just out here being a badass. You know, as expected, because he's the Avatar, which this Fire Lord keeps seeming to forget. This has bloomed so nicely. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna attempt to show you. Very hot. And I don't know if it's gonna stay together, but like it is like a full bloom with a little flower right there. Yeah, water sling him down. Also, did he just like, is it the shadows? He like has more muscles going on right now. Aang, I mean. That's right. Oof. Oh my gosh. But wait, not quite. We just give him a shower. Just kidding. <laughs> Even with all the power in the world, you uh -uh. are still weak. Uh -uh. <laughs> hey, I taught him that. Now, did Aang plan this, or did he just now think of it? You know, like when did this idea happen? Because we didn't really see him come to this conclusion, really. I mean, with the lion turtle, kind of, but. Ooh, it's green, like green tea. <laughs> oh, I love this part. It's blue. Go, Aang! Go, Aang! Go, Aang! To bend another's energy, your own spirit must be Oof. This part's creepy. The fact that Fire Lord is almost so evil that he overtakes all of the Avatar's good energy. Creepy. Creepy as heck. Yeah, make him normal. How does it feel to be average, dude? Every guy's worst nightmare. You're not strong anymore. Ha 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 ha. I took away your fire. Bye, bending. Bye. Ugh, gosh, look at all the destruction. Clear it. Clear it. He's so peaceful. He just went like in and out of Avatar State so gently. Bringing up all the water. Oh yeah, the last we saw me, I was being saved by Suki. I'm assuming we're safe. <laughs> I mean, I know we are, but like. <laughs> the music. Mm, so good. <sighs> the music is so pretty. Guys, if you haven't seen Avatar in concert yet, Go. It's so pretty. It's so worth it. You should have seen yourself. It was amazing. <laughs> Suck <You're all> like... <laughs> So did you, you know, finish the job? I'm still alive. I learned there was another way to defeat him and restore balance. I took his bending away. <laughs> wow. wow. Who taught you that? I thought I could teach you all the best moves. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Now that your firebending's gone, I guess we should call you the Loser Lord. Oh gosh, the nicknames continue. Oh sorry, didn't mean to offend you, Phoenix King of getting his butt whooped. <gasps> yeah, or how about <laughs> King of the guys who don't win? <laughs> Leave the nicknames to us, honey. <laughs> the nicknames at the end, oh gosh. Oh. It's still sad to see, though. There's so much burned, you know? You need some help with that? <gasps> May! See? And then... May. Katara and Zuko wouldn't have had to tell anyone about it. They could have just had their moment. Like, Zuko and May are supposed to be together. Katara and Aang are supposed to be together. I, I, I believe in the original shipping. You don't hate me anymore. I just, I you know, they, they totally could have had a moment. I actually kind of like you. That's all. Yay! But at least they get to have their moment. <laughs> don't ever... Break up with me again. <laughs> <laughs> Dad! Dad! Reunion feelings. I am the proudest father in the world. Toph doesn't have parents there, though, which is a little bit of a bummer. She's got friends, but, you know. How does it feel to be back in uniform again? It feels great! <laughs> Careful, Suki! 
Ty Lee's pretending to be a Kyoshi warrior again. <coughs> it's okay. She's one of us now. <laughs> yeah, the girls and I really bonded in prison. <laughs> we bonded in prison. Of course you did. <laughs> of course Ty Lee would bond with people in prison. <laughs> I can't believe a year ago my purpose in life was hunting you down. And now... And now we're friends. Hmm. Yeah. Friends. We are friends. I can't believe a year ago I was still frozen in a block of ice. <laughs> oh, a year ago. Now. Okay. And it's gonna be even more different. A year ago he was frozen in ice. So this is all a year. Fire Lord Zuko and Avatar Aang. Ruling the world together. I remember doing like crowd cheering for that scene. <laughs> Being like, yeah! <laughs> All right, you two. Today, You'll get your moment in a second. I promised my uncle that I would restore the honor of the Fire Nation. And I will. The road ahead of us is challenging. A hundred years of fighting has left the world scarred and divided. Oof. With the Avatar's help, we can get it back on the right path and begin a new era of love and peace. All hail Fire Lord Zuko! Fire has been inserted into Man Bun! Woohoo! I should count myself lucky. The new Fire Lord has graced me with his presence. I forgot about this scene. Why are you really here? Because you're going to tell me something. Oh, where is my mother? I forgot about that scene! I totally forgot he goes to ask about his mom. Oh my gosh. Which then I believe they answer in... Wait, which comic is it? Is it The Promise or is it The Search? Or is it a separate one? I can't remember, you guys know. Tell it, remind us, remind us in the comments. Tea time! With Toph and Iroh and Momo and Aang and Suki and Katara. Zuko, oh. stop moving! <laughs> I'm trying to capture the moment. <gasps> the moment. So we always remember the good times together. That's very thoughtful of you, Sokka. Wait, <laughs> why did you give me Momo's ears? Those are your hair loopies. Those are your hair loopies. Well, I think you all look perfect. <laughs> well, I think you all look perfect. Hee hee ha ha. One more blind joke for the road. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, friends, it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. And wow, the end. One final sip of tea. Well, I guess that's it. I didn't really prepare anything for the end. It just kind of happened. Oh, I guess I can read today's tea description. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of I kind of got lost in the moment there. Uh, we've reached the final episode of this series. Aang defeats Phoenix King Ozai. The Order of the White Lotus liberates Ba Sing Se, Katara defeats Azula, Sokka and Toph take down the airships, and Zuko becomes the new Fire Lord. Our beloved Iroh maintains his tea shop in Ba Sing Se, and in the final scenes, we see our favorite characters sharing tea together. As a parallel to the beginning of the series, where friendships were beginning to blossom, we now see the full bloom of what they have endured together. This blooming tea is a representation of the impact that Avatar Aang left with his friends, as well as reflects the serenity of the moment. Actually, I'm happy I waited till the end to say this one because it kind of overviews the whole episode. This has been so cool, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining. Um, one more shout out to Tea Cozy. Tea Cozy is an incredible small business in Sacramento. If I can find the front of this, <laughs> they made this incredible tea set with 61 different unique flavors of tea for every single episode of Avatar The Last Airbender and so kindly gifted it to me at SAC Anime last year. And I am so happy that they did. And they inspired me to do this little reaction series. I know that Avatar has meant a lot to you guys and Avatar has meant a lot to me. You guys have changed 
my life. And um, I could not be more grateful as just a performer, as a creative, as an actor, and as a fan of beautiful storytelling. I'm just so grateful to be a part of such a cool story. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> I'm just so grateful to be part of such a cool story and um, and such a kind fandom. You guys are all so sweet and so nice to each other and to us and to anyone else who just is a fan of the show and just in life. Anytime I meet you guys, I, I, I've never met a mean Avatar fan and I think that is a testament to how wonderful this show is. Uh, Mike and Brian, who probably will not see this, but Mike and Brian, you guys created a magnificent show, a beautiful masterpiece in character and just navigating growing up and forgiveness and yeah, parallels to things that are still relevant today and were relevant 20 years ago and will probably be relevant in another 20 years from now. Thank you so much for watching.